Essentially, what I'm saying is, when a game is going to be that long, I can't play the game fast enough. I'm too play, stupid. I don't know how to make that every stream entertaining. I would say the one exception to that rule was actually, um, what was it? Uh, uh Baldur's Gate Three. All right, here we go. I got it all sorted again. Baldur's Gate Three. The reason that that one worked, I feel, is because it was an experience that was unique. I've never really played a game like that long term before. I'd never played anything in the realm of D and D before. Correct. Okay, so when I sat down but you but I... you played their other game, which is very similar in the gameplay. The rules are different; they they play a little differently. But as far as like the just general mechanics, they're pretty much pretty much the same. The way it was game of the year last year, so everyone wanted to see me take a shot at it. I felt like this was a completely exactly. foreign idea. Stream, correct? It was like wow, completely unique, different from anything Phil would play, right? Great interaction with the audience because they're teaching him all about D and D lore, but also about the mechanics of the game. And that's why it worked. You had an invested audience that was like, oh, let's see Phil for the first time ever immerse himself in this universe. And for 140 hours, which I feel is way too long, it way was too still... long. Yo, if you ask me, I agree. Right. It was way for the too most long. Part, I mean, there were definitely some times that it that it hung, right? But for the most part, I think it was a really good playthrough. But then when you jump into any other game that's gonna be 60, 80, 100 hours, it's like, well, today we're gonna play for three hours. Like Probably like a guy. A bunch of enemies, maybe fight a mini boss, maybe there'll be some story development. It just doesn't feel that exciting, right? Yes, Like a Dragon was not interesting. It was not exciting because that's exactly how it felt every single day. Like you were just doing nonsense. I've never seen somebody make so little progress in a game. And that's coming from me. I never beat games, but I make progress in them. It doesn't. Again, if I were someone who sat here for a month only playing- This guy wants game, to beat and games and actively just meanders for no reason. And things to make that work because it's not going to be the most popular thing going what on What up, every day, Then it would be fine. But I'm I okay. I have to balance my content, okay? And when I balance my content, it makes it t takes too long to finish any of these RPGs. So I think that's what it is, is, you know, who's really excited for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? It's going to be like a 60-hour, 80-hour playthrough. And you know that any day that I play it, I'm barely making any progress. I would think in, with an RPG like that, what might happen is a bunch of people wait and then yeah. sit down later uh -huh. and play it all t or watch it all together. Right? Yeah, people love doing that to DSP's playthroughs. You guys know his uh, video on demand, uh, you know, demand. There we go. Hell yeah, two demands. Yeah, they're so high. People love watching back his VODs. It's super meaningful. Like his numbers are through the roof. Millions well, of views on these free, playlists. You every stream. Instead, you sat down and you watched it in, in big chunks because it was all there in a, in a playlist, right? Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. They're going to do that. You know, I get it. But at the same time, I my business which is my job and my hobby at the same time, I have to maintain it. I can't have streams that are dead, right? So that's really the challenge. We're we can't have streams that are dead unless the game is called Like a Dragon, and in which case we can have as many dead streams as we want because Baldur's Gate is doing so well. But also Baldur's Gate 3 is the reason that the channel is dying. Sounds good to me, dude. Fine, it's like, wait a minute. Literally Baldur's keeping Major both streams alive. RPGs, like Dragon's Dog with two but it's the reason it's dead. dead. Right? And people aren't showing up, they're not engaging, they're not supporting with the streams. But then I do a one-off night of a broken-ass multiplayer game, the Battlefront Collection. And we have an incredibly Nathan Coley fun has joined the two hours together. Skulls. Just sit Give us this day our daily book, you know, keeper around dot colon underscore bone hands, colon underscore crow, colon <laughs> underscore remember, colon underscore crush skull, colon underscore and Minecraft, colon underscore sandwich. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. You see the difference, right? And I think what it is, is I've just, this year again, it's a symptom of the games that are coming out. I've delved into too many of the lengthy RPG experiences for any of them to really feel meaningful anymore, right? So, too many RPGs for them yeah, to feel I meaningful. Feel like RPGs ban world, buddy. Sorry, I, a spoiler, I guess. RPGs are dead, so. Can't be playing them no more. People hate RPGs. I don't get it. Like, we're in a situation where I could mess around with other games, and they don't have to be serious playthroughs, and they're probably going to do well, as opposed to me sitting here and committing to playing an incredibly long RPG, that's just not going to do well. So. Little sip. Hell yeah. That being said. Hey, shout out. Yo, the sip that being said combo. You love to see it, huh? I've come to a determination. I have. Okay? Are you ready with this? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for this? I'm gonna start playing Fortnite. No, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm no, 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 no. I'm uh, not Don't take that seriously. <laughs> I'm only like five years late on that bandwagon. Okay, okay, okay. Doing that, right? That's a joke. Okay. <clears throat> what I want to do 
is I want to freshen up the schedule. All right, and, and the truth is we need to freshen up the schedule anyway because Alone in the Dark is a shorter game. We're going to beat it in like two streams. Today and one more stream is probably done. So here's the deal. Number one, we are going to get some variety. This is just schedule segment. I don't have anything to add. I'm going to be honest with you. Like with like actually just this is it. This, this is the content, dude. People love this. Pay me money. People love the schedule. Thank it's a classic, dude. My wife dude. and I are going to do a co-op on Beyond Two Souls. Okay, that's coming. Yo, it's not be frequent. It'll maybe be like Beyond one Two Ghouls. I'm a big fan. <laughs> a Love that game. And big ups, Turtle Game Kingdom for the two Australian. Uh, he doesn't do this for the money. Remember? Oh, of course not, dude. How could he? Why would he? This is his passion. He loves video games. Night, like maybe like a Tuesday or a Wednesday night, and it'll be like you know late night co-op with the with the Burnell family. It'll be fun. Burnell family. And it'll be interesting. The cat, the cow, the horse. Never played it, doesn't know the story. There's a slash in between those. Like, you know what I meant. You know, 12 years, 11 years, <laughs> whenever it came out. So it's going to be a good one. I think people will really enjoy it, especially if you like her, you know, when she came to the Q&A stuff and the, the little bit of Dondoko Island stuff. I think it's going to be fun. We're going to both be engaged and having a good time with the game while also interacting with you guys. So that's You said the same thing. Yo, he said the same thing about Dondoko Island, though, didn't he? That's how he advertised it. We're going to be engaged. We're going to be talking back and forth. And then you, we watched it. We watched what the stream looked like. There, there was no engagement. There was no involvement. We sat there like two sacks of potatoes. I, I gouging the chat. I, you know what I meant? There's a lot of those. Anyway, yeah, the Dent Doko stream that he hyped up just like this. It, don't do that. I hate the hype up. Each of the streams coming up. But I want to do some more different stuff. Different stuff. I do. I want to try some things. I want to go outside the box perhaps. I've got two big polls to see, coming you up. Know, how things perform and see if truly if what people have been talking about is, is going to be good. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Friday night, I'm bringing back Friday Night Fights. And Street Fighter Six is returning to the rotation. Hell I'm not yeah. It's going to be like tons of time, maybe once, twice a week. But I think Friday Night Fights is something that has worked well. Not tons of time, maybe once, twice a week. Like the, this guy who can't beat games at a reasonable pace, this guy who's constantly talking about, I don't have time to play all of these games that are coming out, is sacrificing one or two streams a week to play Street Fighter Six casuals. Sounds good, dude. And if I'm going to go back to fighting games, I'm going to go back to Street Fighter 6 because that's the one that I have investment in. I played a ton of it last year. He has investment in Street Fighter 6. No investment in uh, in Tekken. Well, I guess he did buy the game twice, so that would be that was actual monetary investment, I guess. All right. And people want to see me play more of it. They've been craving it. The whole time I was playing Tekken 8, people yelled at me, why aren't I playing Street Fighter 6? When Ed came out, people yelled at me, why aren't I playing Okay. <clears throat> But they said the same thing about Tekken 8 when the DLC character came out or whatever, didn't they? Am I misremembering? So it doesn't matter what fighting game you go back to. I, I wanted to go back to Tekken 8, I'm not gonna lie. I at least uh, know what a Tekken 8 is. So that's gonna come back into the rotation at least for Fridays and maybe another time during the week. We'll, we'll see, okay? But just to, to forewarn everyone, I'm going- uh, Yes, Auspicious Angel, he did buy the Ultimate Edition for Street Fighter 6 on both consoles. I believe. I believe that's the lore. If I'm wrong, somebody let me know. But that's that's what my memory says. I'm going in, you know, hey, morning, on, on a softer scale. Yo, Cobalt Wrangler with the five. Heading into the eye of the Snortex today, dudes. Hell yeah, it's his birthday. Day Let's time go. go. Uh, shout out everybody who's restreaming the birthday style stream. It, it ain't is gonna... it time go. Oh yeah. And uh, for the birthday stream, welcome everybody, by the way. For the birthday stream, we have the uh, wonderful 40th anniversary Covering up half my chat, which I will have to change, obviously, uh, because disaster stream. you got to have a disaster stream, man. That's just how it works. Um, fuck it. Let me change the layering real quick. Uh, fuck it. Where are you at, chat style? There we go. That's better. So now you can kind of see it better. Anyway, what's up? I, uh, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember who it was. I can look it up to give them actual proper shout out if they want. Uh, but yeah, I, I was, had no idea as to what I wanted to, uh, to do this stream and, uh, that I was told, Hey, it's his birthday coming up. And I was like, Hey, you know what it is? Let me, let me go, let me go look at his 41st. Well, his 41st birthday has been lost to, uh, the fucking internet. Like it's, I can't believe I, I can't find it unless it's like a restream restream where somebody would like comment like me on it. And I, I don't know if I would. Be very good at commenting over somebody else commenting over uh, a stream. So, but there's no like 
original stream. So I was like, fuck it. I turned 40 recently. No, I'm not going to tell you when. Although, if you really looked hard enough, there is a way to find out. But, uh, yeah. Not not on this stream. I don't mean on this stream. I just mean in general in some of my content. Um, but, uh, yeah, it uh, made me think, well, Phil turned 40 a couple of years ago. I just turned 40. So... I don't know. Let's compare behavior, right? Like I always feel like I'm 10 year by 10 years behind my peers. It's a thing I have. Uh, Pazuzu. Yes. Uh, but anyone else's wife or whatnot, not understand why people watch miss making me. <sighs> Let me finish my thought Azadi, And then I will totally touch on that. But, um, I thought to myself, you know, I, I, I don't feel normal many times cause I'm not cause look, I mean, look, I fucking stream about some dude who doesn't matter. And for some reason I get enjoyment out of it. I'm obviously not normal, but, uh, I still wanted to see how he acted. I wanted to act how and see how he acted on his 40th, 40th birthday. I need to know that somehow I'm better than Phil because I am petty and all consumingly, um, stupid, but, uh, no. So as anyone anyone's wife or whatnot, not understand why we watch people make fun of Phil. Um, I told my, my girlfriend about this. I was like, look, I'm, I'm actually getting some success with this. Uh, it's fucking weird. Uh, people seem to, to like my content. She's like, what do you talk about? So I, <laughs> there's no way to explain Phil or detractors or be a detractor without sounding like a complete psychopath. Uh, so it's, it's, it's so bad. I, I, so I explained it to her. I'm like, so I comment on him, I call him out on his bullshit, and she goes, so you're just a professional Karen for this guy. I'm like, fuck you, god damn it, because yes, but fuck you, Jesus, that that was that was unnecessarily brutal. But yeah, the 40th Free Street Podcast, so that's what we're doing today. Um, it was going to be a guaranteed like quick stream, because uh, my girlfriend uh, is going to... Uh, um, what you call it? Oh shit. That's actually a region. I don't want you to know where we don't live very close to Costco's and she's making a, a trip to a town about two hours away to go to Costco. So we can, you know, resupply up dude. You know, we have, she has errands to run. It's our day off, you know? Um, and I thought I was going to be going with her after the stream, but she's like, no, we got too much shit to do tonight. I got to go to now. I got to go now. So I was going to make sure I cut off hard at noon. Who knows? We may go longer. So be spinning up ideas of shit you want me to look at. Um, like for instance, last time we did the whole where he said he was better than, than all the detractor bullshit. That was too good. But today it's the pre-stream podcast, uh, and true disaster stream format. I don't even have it loaded up to when he first starts talking, which, oh, look at that. It's actually pretty close. How weird. I was not expecting that actually. So, um, yeah, I think it time go and, uh, let's. He actually had this unironically in his shit, didn't he? So, that's that's a thing. That happened. Fuck it. Um, since this is different than um, YouTube, I actually downloaded this because I only wanted to give Phil the one time of, uh, you know, revenue or whatever because I didn't want to... I didn't want to be streaming and get ads and shit like that because you know how aggressively he'll run those. Um... I downloaded it, so I'm playing it on my media player. So if the volume's fucked, please let me know. Uh, very quickly, because I want to get that adjusted right out the gate. But, uh, yeah, it time go. Let's see how terrible Phil is. Uh, are you wearing a mature person tie? You know, if we hit the, uh, the, the tier four tips goal of, uh, zero dollars, and I'll let you know when that happens, I will, uh, I'll, I'll consider, I'll consider putting on the tie and then I'll tell you it's too hot in my office to wear a tie, but thanks for the tip dummy. Uh, so yeah, let's fucking go. Oh my. Really? Why? What the hell? Okay, we definitely need more volume. Well, good morning. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh. What the hell is a 40 year old man doing? Sitting here in an office slash recording studio. Okay, how's the volume before I let him keep going? Because I have a feeling this is going to be fucking terrible. Sounds good to me. Hey, by the way, Cat agrees. All right, well, Cat agrees with you that it sounds good, so let's fucking go. 
in front of two partially deflated balloons. I'm just going to max it. I've maxed it out. I've maxed it out. This is everything I have. Hundreds of people all over the world. What is going on here? I'm going to check another couple of things, but uh, I, I think this is everything. Immediately, and someone better explain to me what the hell's going on around here. Dude, you're what cringe. Shut the fuck shit, up. Right? Anyway, guys. <clears throat> Welcome. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today is April 6, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, today is my 40th birthday. Are you fucking kidding me? As little as two years ago, he was using that fucking sound box. Wait, no, uh, I, I meant to push this. Are you... You know what? I feel better about my life. I've been stressed recently. I have been having shit go on left and right. I thought I've been failing left and right. I thought I'd been weird. I thought I've overshared with some friends on some shit. And in one minute and no, 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 no. One minute and 29 seconds. I feel better about my life. We need to bump this speed up. Thank God that this has 1.5 mode. Yes. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <clears throat> better than you. I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone is in a good positive mood today and ready for some fun here on stream. Um, it is actually my 40th birthday today. Indeed, I have turned 40 years old. And I have a lot to say about that this morning. A lot of reminiscence. Hey, Farrell, welcome. Things to talk about uh, to put some stuff into perspective. What's up, Fell Sandwich? Um, based on that milestone. Because being 40 years old is a milestone. Uh, you know, a lot of people... What, do they die, Phil? Is basically what they call over the hill. Which means that when you turn 40 years old, you're essentially more than halfway done with your life. And everything else is downhill from here. <laughs> All your good years are behind you, right? There's nothing good to be had in the second half. It's the first half was the... Okay, so this is actually accurate thus far for him because um, I, he's been a train wreck ever since. El Sandwich, I may have arrived at a bad time if personal stuff is involved. If so, I apologize for your awkwardness. No, no, no. No personal stuff is involved. Uh, you're good. Phil's been downhill for a while. I was just saying that uh, he makes me feel normal. That's all I was saying. Uh, and besides, you know what, uh, I, I, I understand people don't typically want to put their shit out here on the internet and stuff like that, but I mean, I, have, I haven't seen anybody in my chats be full fucking uh, evil or psychotic in terms of like, you know, talking with other people about their stuff, or if other people talk about their stuff, by the way, we're going to move this because it's bothering me. Um, but uh, in the event that you, uh, do you need to like chat about something, let us know something happened just because you want to, uh, feel free. Because, um, yeah, man, my chat's a safe space. I'm not going to tell you to go quit fucked. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that you're king be bitch or anything like that. Yeah. Dump it in my chat. If I can respond to it, I will. Let's fucking go. Uh, neck reverse. Men actually reach their peak of desirability at 49 if they were a card, which obviously doesn't apply to Dave. I am busting my ass to try to get there, neck reverse. I have, uh. And I'm falling off the wagon a lot. I, uh, I eat it. Yeah. Uh, I fall off the wagon a lot in terms of like my motivation. Fuck. If you're a member of the, the gym rat tractor squad, I was firing out my, my lift videos daily. And then week two hit and my body fucking rebelled like so fucking hard. Uh, it was like, Hey, guess what? You've been going too fucking hard. I'm like, I know, please God make it stop. So anyway, let's keep going. The good, the good part, right? But, uh, you know, I, unlike a lot of people out there, I feel like perhaps I'm the polar opposite of that. And I'm very happy about that. But I want to give some perspective, a little bit of insight in regards to my history. I actually remember a particular... Goddamn, Dave B., uh, that's bad. A particular milestone birthday, one of my family members, and how I thought about it back then when I was much younger versus today. Okay? <clears throat> so, today, ladies and gentlemen, is my 40th birthday bash marathon event. And obviously, I welcome you all here to the event. Um, this is going to be a very different style of stream than what I usually do, although a lot of the content may be very similar. Uh, there's going to be a party-like atmosphere. There's going to be special things interjected into the marathon stream that we don't normally do on my regular gameplay streams. Uh, oh, and I'm that's... Very happy to be able so to this is, by the way, this is just the pre-stream fuck cast, uh, piss cast, whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah, El Sandwich and uh, Soul217. Good Lord, this hurts. <laughs> this man-child is damn near the same age as me. Yeah, how do, how do you think I feel? He, he's turning 42 today. I'm 40. Um... You know, it's like, yeah, he's decaying live. He's, I, I'm 44 and died. Uh, El Sandwich, he says he'd give him 15 or 20 more years at best. Yeah, just the pre-stream is fine. Here okay, today. Lackey. As you know, the last week was very annoying and stressful for me, having to take quite a lot of time away from my regular The pre-stream piss cast, yeah. Um, oh, he had taxes. Oh, yeah. Chilling with you guys, and this is a great thing. I'm really excited 
to be able to just be here and interact and show with you guys and uh, Again, not be all stressed out about it. Do you think it's like a, a, a verbal tick? Like almost like Tourette's that he has to enunciate? It's excited. What? I don't know. Stuff crappily happening behind the scenes, right? Um, yes, good. Lacky Bracky. And, thank uh, you. It's so, Saturday morning, event. says well, Michael A before E. You know what that means. Y'all are hanging out with me for some fucking reason. I don't know why, but fuck um, it. I'm happy you're here. Oh, boy, landscapers. That fucking detractor. Okay. Fucking detractor and landscapers, man. Do they not know it's Phil's birthday? Them fucking pieces of shit. It's Phil's birthday. They should know. Okay, so, today is the marathon event. First of all, today we're going to be ordering ordering food. Oh, what a surprise. For the event. And I want to just get this out of the way right now. Because we had a poll going over the course of the last week. First, it was what style of cuisine did you want to see me try today? It's not cuisine. You you aren't walking into a five star fucking restaurant with fucking Bobby Flay and 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 and, and Gordon Ramsay and having exquisite cuisine. You're, you're having you're having somebody who probably has a meth addiction delivering you McDonald's. Like, oh my god, I don't know. I guess BSP is the good ending of DSP from a parallel universe. So that's the that's actually the uh, that's actually for those who don't know, uh, that is actually what I was going for. Uh, I wanted to be I want to be the personification of filth. That's why that's why my avatar wears the platinum vest. You know, because he's awesome like that. Live for feasting with the king, and the options were Thai cuisine, Vietnamese cuisine, and a barbecue. You guys voted for barbecue, but I said you know what barbecue is really broad. So what I will do is narrow. No, it's not. Barbecue's not... Bar you get the barbecue of the region. There's Kansas City. There's Texas. There's... Uh, uh, well, what was it? What was it? Carolina. Uh, uh, there's there's Deep South. You know, there, there's like four or five. And it, it, yeah, yeah, there's different styles, but it's not broad. Went down to types of barbecue. And types. Of the ones that were viable around here, there were basically three. American traditional comfort food style, Korean barbecue, and Hawaiian barbecue. But Korean barbecue, sadly, is something meant to be had and experienced inside the restaurant, cooked right there, fresh in front of you. Oh, my with God. You're there with. I didn't feel like I could replicate that experience if I ordered food to be pre-cooked and delivered. So I wrote... Unirage! Um, What's up, girl? I ain't seen you in a hot minute. Also, I shit my pants doing a deadlift. Spanrag! Excellent. I'm glad you're here. Um, now I've got to actually bring up my fucking chat menu because y'all are fucking chatting too fast. I mean, I'm playing a game here. You guys can't be, like, wanting to talk to me while I'm playing a game. Like, seriously, I cannot believe that's his fucking, his fucking shit. Uh, am I okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm never okay. Spanrag, I'm not okay. Uh, holy cow, I forgot he's how secluded and tell statements like that. Barbecue in Manchester is England burnt bacon. Like, y'all, if you, I don't know how many of y'all from, are from overseas. I hear that, you know, a few of you are. Um, yeah, barbecue is barbecue. What style? Exactly. Um, but I tell you what, you, you ain't going to find uh, a lover of Kansas City barbecue more than me. And, uh, I tell you, I, I travel a lot. I'll go to California over on the, uh, the West coast, you know, Oregon, Washington. Like, oh yeah, we're barbecue. And I'm like, no shit. And they, they bring out patties of fucking just like pre smashed burger patties and, and hot dogs. I'm like, what, are, what are you barbecue? And they're like, oh, you know, we're going to barbecue some dogs and some, 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 some burgers. You're gonna barbecue. You mean grill? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. They're like, isn't that the same thing? I'm like, no, no. I'm gonna be a barbecue snob here. Uh, no, that is not the same thing at all. Uh, that is a bur burger. That is uh, burgers and dogs, and that is called grilling. And uh, if you don't need to spend at least like two to f two to twelve hours babysitting a smoker, I don't think you're barbecuing right. In regards to, uh. Hawaiian barbecue, it's actually something pretty unique around here because Washington State is actually the travel hub to come to and from the United States from Hawaii, which is, you know, island out in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, uh, so a lot of uh, Hawaii... Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. ...to come to and from the United I, I, I it, It's subtle, but the ridiculousness of this is so good. Hold on. ...states from Hawaii, which is, you know, island out in the Pacific Ocean. Did anybody not know that Hawaii... Yes, Sean Gonzalez got it. He picked it up. Did anybody not know that Hawaii is is a fucking island in the Pacific Ocean? Azadi404, you could have picked that shit out from... Azadi404 says, now I know you're from a flyover state. You could have picked that shit out from one of my first streams. I, I told y'all, I'm from the Midwest, baby. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm from the Midwest, so I, I live in the Midwest. Fuck, I'm in the Central Time Zone. I mean, unless the only one that's not technically a flyover state, I think, is fucking Texas. 
Uh, so a lot of uh, Hawaiian people actually live here and have started businesses and restaurants and things. Um, it's, it's actually a demand here, Hawaiian food. So that's unique. And of course, there's actually a lot of American style comfort food places around here too that, that I, I really like. So the poll has been running. Now for three days. Jasper, so for Big Rups, days, Midwest. The poll overwhelmingly was for Hawaiian. It was like at one point over 60% for Hawaiian, okay? That's overwhelmingly for Hawaii. Oh, because he had three options. Or did he only put up the two? It doesn't matter. So I go to sleep. I wake up this morning. The poll somehow has skewed 1% towards comfort food barbecue. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that. It's obvious that for some odd reason, I don't understand why, there was some kind of a troll rally movement to try to skew the poll. It doesn't make any What? So because people wanted you to have fucking, you, you said it was 60% and then it skewed 1%. Does he mean like it went from 60% to 49% or does he mean it went from 60% to 59%? Let's back it up. I think, I, I think he's saying that like it's, I'm thinking he's saying a whole bunch of people said, hey, go get regular American barbecue and it skewed the poll from 60% down to 49%. 60% for Hawaiian. Okay. So I go to sleep. I wake up this morning, the poll somehow has skewed 1% towards comfort food barbecue. Yeah. I'm okay, so yeah, he's saying that comfort food barbecue actually won. Don't bullshit on that. It's obvious that for some odd reason, I don't understand why, there was some kind of a troll rally movement to try to skew the poll. It doesn't make any sense because neither option really matters. They're both good. However, I was already planning this out. Okay, so he, he got the vote. He, he thought, oh yeah, it's definitely going to be. He didn't close the poll. A whole bunch of people came in, said, you know what? No, fuck Hawaiian. Let's see him. Let's see him eat fucking regular barbecue, right? Whether or not they're trolls, I don't give a damn, right? But somebody came in and said, hey, let, let's give him regular fucking barbecue. They did regular fucking barbecue. And now he's like, no, that's trolls. Fuck that. I'm going to do Hawaiian because that's what I had planned. Last night with Kat, my wife. And I said, well, I want to do Hawaiian. Exactly, I've Drax. I've only ordered like once or twice from Hawaiian. I've never ordered the traditional Hawaiian dishes from there. And I wanted to do that. So it's my birthday. I can do whatever the hell I want. And we're going to order Hawaiian barbecue this morning. All right. Fucking, we're actually go what a fucking entitled little shit, man. And again, this is at 40. I can do what I want. Through a menu. We're going to talk about it here live on the pre-stream. And we're going to determine, you know, what to order together for a meal later today. People have already asked, well, what time will Feasting with the King be? Uh, usually it's between 4 and 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, it depends on when it gets delivered. Because delivery can be real quick. Or it can take a while. Also, sometimes the restaurants take longer to make the food. Depends on the day. Uh, it's only a Wednesday. So I really El Sandwich, exactly. El Sandwich says, what was the point of the, what was even the point of the fucking troll, or of the fucking poll? Be too long, it's not like a weekend or anything. Um, King of hate. So, it should be good. Um, and I, I'm excited. There is some cool traditional dishes that we can pick from. One of them I absolutely know I want to try, but outside of that, I'm not sure what else to get. We'll talk about it here uh, live on the pre-stream and make that determination Dude, in order together. Necroverse says uh, he's such All a right, teenage girl, but I think, I think teenage girls have redeeming qualities. I don't know of any redeeming qualities Phil has. It's one thing happening today that's out of the ordinary. But also, instead of just being a set stream of, say, one game, this is a marathon stream. That means that this stream is going to be running from now all the way to the end of my stream, which will be around 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. Usually, I only do a stream till around 4 p.m., then there's a break for dinner. I come back between, like, 6.37 p.m., and I run... I smell a sneak bag coming. Pause game on point. ...for another two, three hours, but we're doing one continuous... Stream. Oh, no, 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 that was at 41, Lackey Bracky. That was now, at 41. for our discussions over the course of the week, we determined that I should be doing continuations of all the games that I've already been playing. Because sadly, I hate to say it, there's been so many games going on in the last two months, I'm already backlogged on them. The ones that I like, I'm, I'm playing as much... Motherfucker, I hate, I hate it when he says backlog. Pause game on point. So I, uh, I work in an industry that, uh, that works with uh, mobile phone forensics, cellular phone forensics. And um, what, what that basically means is, is that there are uh, law enforcement agencies all over the country that, that use uh, different types of software to uh, get data out of phones, right? That's a backlog, right? When, when, when Apple announces a new fucking uh, OS patch, security patch, when, when Android, Andro uh, you, hey, we got new hardware fucking encryption, we got this, we got that, um, you know, that causes a backlog because they have to wait for one of the companies to figure out how to crack into that, right? And so that creates a backlog. And that, a glowy, I haven't heard of a glowy, says uh, President Tanaka. That's a backlog. That is, I've got, I've got, you know, uh, 150 phones waiting to be ripped, you know, um, to, 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 which is preventing movement on cases, which is preventing justice from being served. That's a backlog. That's a fucking backlog. There are so many games to play. So don't, don't play them. I mean, you know, more games are coming. Just play those. You know, and eventually, if the as a matter of fact, that's almost like a rating system in and of itself. Because if you skip a game that is absolutely baller as fuck, because you don't have time for it, e.g., Baldur's Gate three, even though you had time for it and you were just being a fucking pussy. Uh, but if you don't, 
if you don't have the time for it, you skip it, and people are like, oh my god, you fucking missed it, you have to play this game, That that's like a, you can do that if during the quote-unquote slow season, or maybe during RPG overload, it's like, exactly, now he suffers from RPG overload, see, Lacky Bracky, we, we on the same wavelength, my dude, or my gal, or whatever, I don't know, tough to tell, um, but yeah, by the way, I, I want to say I heard him say, did he already uh, did he already wage quit or or he doesn't want to play because, you know, he has to engage with humans. Did he already rage quit Helldivers? Is he done with Helldivers? I hate this fucking delay. My taxes are due equals we. That's true. That's true. Actually, no, he's going to play it more. Okay, okay. I swore I heard... He he was done with it, but okay. I I hope I hope I see him in game. I really do because I'm gonna team kill the fuck out of him. Uh, the Saint zero three one three. By the way, that's me in Helldivers. Just I can, but I haven't really gotten as far as maybe I would have liked in some of these games, including Elden Ring. Right. In addition, uh, there's new games that have come out that I'm very interested in trying, but I can't until I beat these other games. So that being said, it made more sense to focus in on the games that I've already been playing and get further in them. In fact, one of the games that looks like we're going to beat today, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. Um. <clears throat> Did to do something else. You know, we were talking about Game Pass and going to play Game Pass games, which, by the way, would have been cool if we did it. But at the same time, do I really want to set myself back even further, especially when I didn't do three streams last week because of my tax stuff? Obviously, I got to do the thing that's best for everything, you know, factoring in all the different... The tax stuff, the tax stuff, the tax stuff. What the fuck? Million credit bounty can still be claimed, my patriotic brothers and sisters. I don't know about that one, El Sandwich. I only get to play, like, around maybe two a day. So I'm, like, level 15, and I picked it up, like, three weeks ago. So I don't know about the million credit bounty. Teresa Lemke, morning dark side Phil. Oh, and then she says, sorry, wrong bro side Phil. God damn, like, I, Teresa Lemke is my most recent fucking uh, member, and I now I feel like she just, like, shanked me. Like, oh, God, I got to process. I got to process this. That means that I'm going to go away, and you're going to get chair host now. Um, ouch, man, ouch. That, that was painful. Just god damn. <sighs> Woman can HRT. Situations, factors, input, everything's going on. It's a lot, a lot of moving parts here to figure out what to do to make sense. So it's going to be fun today. So what are we doing? Oh uh, yeah, actually, that's what I should be doing if I'm if I'm being you know true to life, uh, bro side, bro, sorry, dark side film. I'm being true to life, dark side film. How how dare you lie? How dare you lie about me, Teresa? You know you try that shit again, and you know things will happen. Yeah, I, I, I can't lean in because I don't turn my camera on. You guys wouldn't know. Band, 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 band. I really like that game. It's the end of the game. We're in the, the final side quest line. Basically, the game said you can beat it right now. Where there's one interesting wait, wait, side wait. quest line you have to complete before you beat. I may, I missed something. I'm gonna back it up 30 seconds. Lucky Brock says DSP says scams rights. Let's back that up. Uh, I didn't hear that. This thing is best for everything. You know, factoring in all the different. Uh, if, Situations, factors, input, everything's going on. It's a lot, a lot of moving parts here to figure out what to do to make sense. So, it's going to be fun today. So, what are we doing? The first game we'll be playing today is Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, before everyone collectively groans and says, man, we don't really like that game, it's the end of the game. We're in the, the final side quest line. Okay. Basically, the game said, you could beat it right now, or there's one interesting side quest line you have to do. Oh, play. okay. Exactly. Okay. Because it doesn't work anymore. So, I said, oh, right, let's okay. Do the side quest line. That's what we're doing right now. We're in the midst of the side quest line. Maybe it'll take, you know, 20 minutes, a half an hour tops. When we're done with that, we finish the game. Done. The end of Ghostwire Tokyo. I can even do my little mini review and everything live here on the marathon. I never right. played Ghostwire Tokyo. What is it? Is it like just? Uh, is it, it sounds like action art? It sounds like an action RPG. But I mean, I could look it up. But I'm being, I'm letting my chat do my work for me. I know some of you don't like the game. You find it kind of repetitive. Fine, it ends today. You could rejoice seeing this game end and be out of the rotation. <laughs> Okay. And Ghost hunting is, sandbox. Oh, okay. No okay. I don't have to finish it exactly in an hour and, 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 or an hour and a half. We can go a little long. We need two hours. We can go slightly longer and go two hours, and that's okay. Slave right. labor chat. That's right. Go oh, Mixidious. I have. I downloaded Bolt Gun same day. I started fucking around with it. I am loving it. You know, blood for the blood god. Good. Okay. <laughs> then after that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some Skyrim Anniversary Edition chill fun. Oh boy, Skyrim. Who would have thought? Where we interact is more about us kind of chilling and talking than anything else. Although the Skyrim playthrough has been super fun. I have no idea what we even do. We haven't played it in a week. We didn't play it because I was so busy last week with the tax stuff. I don't even remember where we left off, quite frankly. Hey, Teresa, I really appreciate that. That's awesome. I can't wait for some chill Skyrim fun. Then depending on the time, uh, we may have these with the king. We may not. It depends on what time it is. Okay? Then Nerd Brew, let's be clear here. Yes, I am old. Fuck you. It's going to be uh, <laughs> Elden Ring. And for those who have been following the playthrough, you already know where I am, but maybe some of you don't. We did a ginormous... Smokey, a puppy or a kitty? underground dungeon that was hidden underneath Langdale Capital City. 
all right? So now, I'm not sure. I think there's more to do. Like, I think there's one other direction to go there to figure out some other stuff. And then I think if we go and talk to the dung eater guy back at the hub, he gives us a key and we go to another optional underground area. So we can do all that today. And then, depending on how long that goes, all right? So I don't know enough about the lore, Drax, then, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying it. Um, but the underground stuff is very, very, very lengthy and distracting, but seems to be worthwhile, pretty challenging too, right? So it should be fun. It should be a fun session of Elden Ring. And then, to complete... Behold, I am a benevolent god, as I have just skipped the ne next batch of ads. I love you all. Today's marathon event. The final game to be played will be Kirby in the Forgotten Land. A nice chill session. Now, facial. Play Kirby. I play it for two. Facial excavating. Oh fuck yeah, Lion Cod. I forgot about that. Yeah. If if you're if you're new to the track traverse, if you're new to 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 any of this, and you just turned on here because you love my buttery, silky smooth, chocolatey voice. Two puppies. Oh okay. Oh King Crimson. Oh my. Uh, back. You guys fucking are terrible for my ADD. I swear to God. But yeah, facial excavations. Watch this dude, man. He will pick at his face. And I, I've got a bad habit about picking at my, my skin and stuff. You know, if I, if I have like a, a, a loose hair or, or something like that, you know, peanut butter complexion voice. Fuck you and your ADD people. My God. Okay. Um, but yeah, he, he will fucking dig everywhere on his face, like full in full view of camera. Like, it, And he's looking at himself on the screen, watching him dig. Anyway, let, let's continue. Two-hour segments, and we beat an entire world. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think we'll be playing it for two hours tonight. I think it's probably going to be between an hour, an hour and a half, and so we probably will not be an entire world. But still, Kirby's a lot of chill fun. A lot of people who actually like the Kirby playthrough told me they couldn't show up until later tonight. <laughs> the Kirby played the Kirby Dark Souls, baby. So they would be happy if I could do it last. I said, I'd be more than happy to accommodate that. I like the people who have been regulars to those streams, and I want them to be here for the progression. So that's how we're doing it. Now, at the tail end of the stream, okay. yes, it is yes, a chill, way, Wonder, interactive bond. Like Boston Kirby, save it for the next stream because it's very lengthy. Thank you. Someone actually told me that when I was playing Kirby last time as well. And thank you for the reminder. Right. I don't want to lie. Oh, my God. Giant segment that I yeah. Finish. When he goes into the earwax <laughs> shit, it's okay. so disgusting. Now, at the very end of the stream, when we adjourn from all gameplay, the last thing we're going to do is a closing thoughts segment. Where hey, I Blake and Ryan with the $1.99. Keep up the great content. No noodle alarms. I'd flex for you, but I don't turn on a camera. It'll pop up here saying that we love you. Thank you for the super chat. Love you. You're awesome of my homemade birthday cake that Kat made for me last night. I actually helped her with this. I'm going to talk about this because we're going to talk about my day off in just a moment here on the podcast. And I cannot wait to try this cake. I'm super stoked and excited to try this cake. Excited. It's insane. To, to say it mildly, it's insane what's in this cake. We'll talk about that, okay? So, I'm not Michael A before E. Yep. Up, so, recap. Pre-stream podcast right now. We're going to talk about my day off yesterday. We're going to talk a little bit about me talking about becoming 40 years old and my thoughts. And also, we're going to order food live for the live feasting with the king later today. We're going to order food live. Like... What does that even mean? I mean, he's gonna he's gonna have it, you know, delivered live, sure. But we're gonna order food live. Like, who gets who gets their rocks off by watching somebody order on an app or call the fucking place and be like, oh uh, yeah, hi, can I get a uh, uh, order of the uh, uh, bibim bop bop beep bop bop beep bop bop and. Uh, the cream of some young guy. Day. Then it's going to be the conclusion of Ghostwire Tokyo. It's going to be some Hey, Teresa. Edition. Go We're play Go play Elden Ring. Thanks reading. for stopping by. Elden Ring. We're Love all of you. Forgotten land. I'm going to have a piece of my birthday cake for the first time and kind of reminisce on everything that happened over the day at the end of the day. And the landscapers are going to drown me out on the microphone. You're not going to be able to hear me talk. <clears throat> there you go. Does he not? Does he not actually understand that it, it basically just sounds like a fan kicking on and that his obnoxious fucking voice is, is just going to keep going through? Oh, good night, Teresa. Good night, Derek. If you're going to call me, you called me Dark Side Phil. I'm going to call you Derek. No, nah, but seriously, have a good day. <laughs> okay, so, El Sandwich. Day, right. well, before we keep God, I know I'm pausing a whole bunch, but tough shit. Get over it. You'd be surprised, bro. I caught my wife watching Kitchen Organizing ASMR the other day. I first read that as I watched, I caught my wife watching Kitchen Orgasming ASMR the other day, and I, I was about ready to ask, what the fuck does that even mean, and how good was the sex afterwards? But I uh, need that money. I really do. there it goes. There it is. To pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Thank you, Blake. Okay, we went ahead and, and, and changed it from uh, Goku going into Super Saiyan God and transitioned that into the turn, which is which is far more powerful than uh, than Goku going Super Saiyan God. Of course, I just accidentally jumped it God knows how far. Anybody remember where I was? Because I sure as fuck don't. Your mind, thinking about runs that are going to be profitable and shit. Now, here's the thing. Do you want to see a vest or do you want to see a football for it? Although, admittedly, oh, I know there will be people complaining, saying, oh, it's... Totally different. You'll have Hyper Street Fighter 2 in there, which is different from the Super Turbo version. No, nope, maybe not. Uh, you know, House of Dark. 
your career and play it for a while. All right. Now, I don't know how long. Dude, somebody back it up for Pavor because I can't back up my own shit. And uh, tell me, I was at the part where the booty begs and melts. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody, because I think I had the, the screen up. I think I had the, the, the little time code there. Tell me where I accidentally went fucking stupid. Closing thoughts segment where I'm going to have a piece of my homemade birthday cake that Kat made for me last night. I actually helped her with this. I'm going to talk about this because we're going to talk about my day off in just a moment here. Fucking on the disaster and stream. I I'm sorry. This cake. I'm super stoked and excited to try this. There cake. we go. That was it's close enough. That's close enough. To say it mildly, it's insane. What's in this cake? We'll talk about that. Okay. So 1347. Thank up. you. So, thank you. Recap. Thank you. Let's, let's jump it forward. There's 1329. That is good enough. Thank you, President Tanaka. And the landscapers are going to drown me out. I'm and... not going to be able to hear me talk. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> President Tanaka, if I could give a direct gifted membership, I would. Hey, so, as a matter of fact, new month, new month, new month. We got to see. We got to see. Come on. Where is it? Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Uh, no, that ain't it. That ain't it. What the fuck? Engage with my audience. No, close. Uh, uh, maybe. Let, let's find out. Super chat. Clo no. How the fuck? God damn it. I fucking hate this shit sometimes. I'm trying to figure out if I can gift y'all memberships. Show my support. For bro side Phil. Super chat. Super sticker. Nope. It's just going to be an asshole. Start a poll. You know what? No one likes you, fucking uh, uh, YouTube. Maybe I need to... Oh, I can pop the chat out, maybe. Hold on. Let me pop the chat. I'm trying to find out if I can uh, get you all some fucking memberships here. Pop out the chat. There we go. All right. So now I've popped out the chat. There we go. Membership. Membership gifting. <sighs> oh, children. Guess who has 10 subs to give away? This is Jim Rat Tractor Squad subs now it's only one i only get to do this once a, once a month so I'll, I'll go ahead let me take a poll here real quick all 10 now or should i space them out all right so let's start a poll there we go all 10 i wish linda had swallowed and i want my claws back jasper the cat <laughs> oh shit that's good. All 10. You greedy motherfuckers. You greedy sons of bitches. I cannot believe. Okay, so here's what you do because it took me forever. Um, on the chat, first of all, pop it out if you can't see it. So pop out your chat. And um, there's a little dollar or there's a little uh, dollar bill thing right next to the emoji button. You click that and uh, membership gifting will pop up. Now for me, when it does, because I'm obviously the channel owner. Duh. Uh, it will tell me you have 10 memberships to gift this month, and it will say gift five now. So here in a second, we're going to end the poll because it's uh, one, two-thirds for yes and one-third for no. Uh, we're going to give out 10 memberships, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, we'll start with five now. And we'll wait to see. Uh, we'll wait to see if we hit the the level ninety three tips goal. I'm counting on it. Okay, I need you guys to hit the level ninety three tips goal. Uh, if you if you do, we'll, we'll we'll revisit that here in say an hour or so. We'll maybe gift some more out. But here we go. Cross your lucky fingers. Cross your dicks. Cross your feet. Cross your toes. Cross everything. Let's see who gets the five. Let's fucking go. Lackey Bracky, Greedy Piggy, Soul217, Nerd Brew, and Arc Legendary. Welcome to the Gem Rat Tractor Squad. You now have access to some of my lifting videos. And we get to go through this this shit. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But and there's still five more, children. There's still five more. Push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I did 25 real push-ups. Yeah, we're gonna let this keep going. Did. We're just gonna let this I burn. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But yeah, Tanaka, that was my first video, baby. That was my very first video. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But welcome, welcome to the Gym Rat Tractor Squad. I need that money. I really do. I need that what money. What the hell? To pay my bills, the electric bill. Oh, Jasper the, the cat. Bill. Yeah. So Jasper the cat. It, I don't know why it didn't pop up for you. Maybe because my my shit when I gifted them out closed over it. But it says uh, I wish Linda had swallowed and I want my claws back. 
So Jasper the Cat with two. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, that 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 brings us at least to the level 37 tips goal. So like I said, we, we got to get to the to the level 90, 94. Um, and then when we get to level 93 of the tip skull, that's when I'll let you know that 94 is not enough when we get to, we need to get to level, uh, uh, 612, um, because I'm Phil, don't you know? Let's move it on. What a day. All right. Now, welcome to the Jim Rat Tractor Squad. I hope you all enjoy. Scheduled streaming. All right. And so, hey, hurrah. Thank you for the service. Neva is the red for the schedule. Tomorrow it's going to be Elden Ring on the main stream and Kirby in the Forgotten Land on the late stream. Okay, this coming Friday, April 8th. Now, this is exciting. New oh, game. no. Yes, El new Sandwich, game, that's, friend, that's, that's bad. Friday. Now, what will it be? I'm going to narrow it down to two choices. I'd like your feedback over the next 24 to 48 hours on what you would like to see. But the two choices are as follows. Okay? <clears throat> Number one, WWE 2K22. And what we WWE, what game, a surprise. Showcase mode, I guess, is around three hours long. <laughs> then we would switch over to the My Career slash whatever they're calling it mode, because I think it has a different name in this one, and basically create a wrestler and go through a simulated career and play it for a while, all right? Now, I don't know how long that could go on and be entertaining before it gets boring. I really don't know. Um, but that would be the plan. Now, eventually, I would like to do simulated fantasy matches in the game oh. using the creative wrestlers that have been uploaded online in the last month or so. I may I have, have an really idea. To do it just on the fly or wait for a holiday or something. We'll see, okay? Now, the other option is something that actually is panning out to be a very good option, a viable option. Lego... Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. This game was released yesterday. People are saying it's the best Lego game ever made. It covers all nine mainstream uh, Star Wars movies, but it retells their stories. Even though in, you know, many years ago there were Lego Star Wars right. games, this is remade from the ground. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something here. I need to move some things real quick, so we're going to move that right there. I need to switch back to my time tell, and I'm going to copy my timer here. We're going to copy that. We're going to go into Bro Sideville, and where's my paste? There's my paste. Where'd it go, though? Timer. There you is. There it is. For those of you that... For those of you who don't know... I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Or I'll put it right there. That's when the next five are coming out. That's when the next five are coming out. So let me let me make a text window here. Again, I fucking suck with OBS. This is a disaster stream. Shut the fuck up. Get over it. Uh, create new text. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, create new. And... Oh, that's really, really big. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I fucking hate OBS sometimes. Text, Arial, select font. Yeah, I have select... Oh, there. Now I can bring it down to normal size. Normal C of some type. We'll do... Sure, 36 sounds fine. Uh, okay, maybe a little bit lar larger than that. And let's make it just a little bit larger. Giggity. Bring it up to 72. Say, okay, there we go. Yeah. Timer is when DSP will get a job. Well, in that case, I need to change that to uh, about a millennia from now. So, there we go. Now you guys have incentive to be here, okay? Besides watching my dumb ass. Now let's keep going up a new graphical engine great gameplay mechanics even though it is kind of on easy side it's not meant to be a hard game people are saying it's actually one of the more entertaining games coming out that came out recently and the reviews are quite good so for me i look at both games and i see positives i see hey, hey i'll say which i'm trying i'm trying, trying to maintain the base there, been waiting for it although admittedly it might get boring <laughs> after a week or two, it's still something different and fun to do for variety's sake on the other side i haven't done anything star wars related in many years you guys i think the last thing was uh was it star wars what was the name of the game i can't remember what it was the one where it had the guy who was the surprise jedi or whatever um and it was a really good game, and then they basically said they were never going to make a sequel, but now it looks like they may. I forgot what it was called. It was a really good game. It kind of played like a, a Dark Souls Light, remember? Oh, uh, he's talking about Jedi, uh, not Jedi Outcast. Jedi Survivor, I think is what it was. Or the gameplay mechanics. Um, but that was many years ago. And now here we are, you know, a full-on game covering. And the thing that I think would really be good about that game, it's nostalgic. What I mean by that is I watched the original Star Wars trilogy back when I was a kid. I was there in the theaters to see the, the, the prequel trilogy, right? And to relive those movies in a gaming setting all in one game from start to finish would be really cool, I feel, and give me kind of like those nostalgic Star Wars vibes that we can all enjoy together. You know, I think a lot of my viewing audience is likely a fan of Star Wars. Um, but at the same time, I know there will be people complaining, saying, oh, it's not challenging, or, or you know, oh, that's, that's meant to be a kid's game. Like, all fucking video games aren't meant to be played by kids, right? Like, most of them are. But, jeez. Jedi Fallen Order. Thank you, guys. Quite a few people here just said Jedi Fallen Order was the last one that I played years ago. Okay. So that being said... I threw a sneak bag in the chat. Um, Yeah, I think either game would be a great option to start up on Friday, okay? Let's see what people think over the course of the week, but I will make my decision and basically get one of the new games, uh, likely Thursday, and then on Friday, we'll start playing one of the new games, all right? Cool. So that's going to be in the rotation, and it'll be the daytime streams will be alternating between whatever the new game is. Hey, lifting in the boat shoes. Let's uh, fucking go. Get your lift on. Skyrim, 
and Kirby until Kirby finishes, and I don't know how much longer Kirby has, quite frankly, but we can figure that out. Uh, and there will be Street Fighter returning this week on Friday Big night. Big City, so me too. Big City and says, what I mean by that winds him up so much. It does me too. Until the new collection comes out in June, which will be totally, totally different. You'll have Hyper Street Fighter 2 in there, which is different from the Super Turbo version I play every week. It'll be, you know, I also have Darkstalkers in there, which will be really neat. So, cool, right? It'll be really neat. I'm very excited for that. Um, so that's kind of the rotation moving forward. Now, okay. Hold on. Somebody give me the context here. He, I, I know he said something fucking terrible about Kobe, uh, Kobe Bryant, but I, I forget what it was. So somebody, somebody refresh my memory. He's done. Yes. There's opportunity for you. Oh, to and yes. Shout out to that being out. said, Lackey Bracky. Which is brand new on Game Pass this week. We can do that for a chill stream. We can take something off of Game Pass that we've already started and put that in as a night stream. There's so many options and opportunities for stuff. This month is a dead month for game releases. There's nothing going on in April, which gives us tons of time to focus on the stuff that I basically missed out on. So, Sean Gonzalez says, Phil has a ton of filler words and expressions just to be able to talk more. You are absolutely right, and don't get me wrong, I know I talk quite a bit, but then again, it is my, it's my stream, guys. Okay. No, but I've been listening to an audiobook when I've been walking uh, on discipline, and one of the big things that they're going over now is uh, the Spartan ideal, that uh, they would not speak. They would not, unless they thought that um, there would be disastrous consequence to them not speaking. It didn't matter how much, how much they offended them or how much it was, you know, it hurt their pride. They would not speak unless it was absolutely necessary. Uh, I'm trying to adapt that ideal. I know I'm failing. Man, what's been a terrible day. First Kobe Bryant passed away. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry for your ears, people who are wearing it, uh, headphones. My God, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. And then he was like, no, 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 I wasn't comparing it. I was just saying, you know, how, how bad is this day because Kobe Bryant died. And then also, not saying they're the same, but then also, but it's like, my, my dude, you got to know your fucking audience. You know, know your audience. The last few months is I was focusing primarily on Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West, okay? So I'm definitely excited. And I hope that you guys are too. It's good stuff coming up. Okay, right, now, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. West. Okay. He can be normal. He can be normal. Okay, he's going to tell you about his emotions. Listen carefully. Okay. So I'm definitely excited. That was normal. And I hope that you guys are too. There's good stuff coming up. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today is my only streaming day of the, of the week. All right. Oh, my Excuse God. My only, boy, that was really bad. Let's try this again. Today is my only stream for today. I said it completely wrong. So one thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the traditional leaderboard. I'm going to leave it saying what it says. However, oh please my understand God. that this is my only stream for today. It'll be running all day long, though. If... You'll like my content. If you like the fact that I do special things for holidays like this, if you just have a good time with my stuff and you want to support it, there's many ways you can do so. You can become a channel member. You can do a super chat. You can do a super sticker. You can tip me. All this stuff helps. Now, today, there's only one stream. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Last week, because I missed out on three streams, yeah, uh, it was definitely not as good of a week as a normal week for me. You're losing out on that much opportunity to be streaming for you guys. So, <clears throat> it would be great if you guys are feeling festive. If you would like to contribute today, by all means, I'd be very appreciative. I'll give you a shout-out if you do. We do. That's not... That's not a reward. That's that's something you have to do by, like, your own fucking law. Yeah, a wake up three-level bag. That's right. He's going to be honest. I, so, Ryan Camaro, I, Camaro I, I see Camaro, and I think Camaro, but I know that's Camaro. Um, Ryan Camaro, this has always bugged me, right? Like, and Because I, I was watching back one of my videos. To, uh, sorry. Drop something. Have to pick it up. All right, got it. I was watching back one of my videos, saying to myself, self, um... There are some videos that you have that have like 3K views. You have some that have 2K views. And you're, 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 you're floating right now around the 1K mark, which is about right. Because I when I was getting the 2K, 3K views, I was jacking them out. Yeah, you know what? We'll just keep it. I'm bro side Phil. That's close enough to dark side Phil. We'll leave the jacking reference. I was pumping them out uh, like two a day. Sometimes, you know, well, one every day, one every, sometimes two a day. So one and a half a day, we'll say. And um, that was... That, that's that's what I think got me a lot of views on like the front page if you had you know, DSP detractor content on your stuff. So that increased my stuff. But I was watching it. And uh, I was watching the, the King Be Cruel one where he, he looks at the camera and he goes off on a tirade, right? And I know a lot of public speakers. I've done some public speaking. You feed off the energy of the crowd, right? So um, it's why, you know, the man in the brown shirt with the weird fucking mustache, you know, was such a good public speaker, you know, I'm, I'm sure, or he, he was able to speak so well as he rolled because, you know, the crowd was, you know, probably by law responding to him positively. But Phil just stares at a fucking camera. It's, and I can't, I fucking hate Zoom calls. I, c I couldn't imagine talking to the abyss and, and not even having a guest. You know, it, it, it's nice to even be able to like see Otter's little avatar and see his, 
see that when he talks, you know, you know, shit starts, you know, jumping up and down for him. It's like, oh yeah, if Otter's here and he's talking, uh, or, or Meester or whoever. Um, but it's, it's, it's just so fucking weird that his entire life is spent looking at a screen. It's, it's really fucking weird. Let's continue. We have goals in effect, and the goals that we have in effect for tips are exactly the same as usual. At $50, gunner glasses. At $100, you pick a hat for me to wear. And at $150, <clears throat> we're going to have a double choice. Oh, dear the God. The first choice is do you want to see a vest or do you want to see a football jersey? Because I have both, okay? And Oh, picking. Pick that. Yep, it's the landscapers. Oh, your grandfather met the naughty man. No kidding, Mick. Okay, let's try that again. I think that oh my would be a special God. day because this is a big marathon event. Okay? What we could do is when we hit the initial $150 tips, if we hit that, which I hope we do, then you guys can vote. Do you want to see a vest or do you want to see a, a uh, football jersey? Then, <clears throat> based on what wins that poll, you can say, okay, what color of vest or what color of football jersey? And then what we could do oh my God. is in addition to that, when we hit, say... I don't know, two hundred fifty dollars in tips. What? And you guys the, have a second poll for a hat switch. What the shit? Everything from fifty, and then you go a hundred, then you go one hundred and fifty. What's the next logical closure point? The next logical closure point should be two hundred dollars. But fuck that noise. I want two hundred and fifty. And fuck. And you know what? I bet you he gets it too. I bet you he gets it. I don't know. I I subscribed to your channel a while back after checking out your content before watching. Chad's bingo a while back. Well, Mr. Pika fan, I appreciate your sub. Uh, always welcome here. But I, 250 bucks, $250. When there was a, a stream, two, three streams ago, y'all went fucking buck wild. I'm not suggesting that that needs to happen anytime ever. Um, but you guys went fucking buck wild in total before taxes. It was like uh, with, with uh, the super chats and the fucking... Uh, the gifted memberships and all that, it was like $75. I walked around my house fucking doing backflips all day. I was like, I cannot believe this. Uh, this is fucking amazing. Uh, I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, baby, I don't, I don't know what happened. It was fucking amazing. These people are fucking insane. I love all of them. You know, she's like, wow, these people are fucking crazy. They, they gave you money while you're talking. I was like, thanks baby. I love you so much. Um, She's Korean, by the way, uh, and she's very blunt. But again, that's 75 bucks. This dude takes, he's going to get 150 bucks. I guarantee he's going to get the 150 bucks. And then, then he thinks that's enough value, uh, another hundred dollars to put on. If he doesn't put on the hat and he puts on a jersey, then he'll put on a hat. But if he doesn't, if he gets the hat and he gets another hundred dollars, then he'll put on a jersey. It's walking to a closet, grabbing a piece of clothing and putting it on. Like, <sighs> moving on. So we'll have the initial hat we'll wear for a certain amount of time. And then if we hit 250, we can do a hat switch somewhere during the course of the stream, which I get the feeling, you know, uh, would make sense. Maybe it'll happen later on in the stream. And then we can have a wardrobe change, essentially. And then if we hit a full $300 chair. in tips, which is actually what I what aim the? for every day. Remember, each day I do double stream, and each stream is $150 in tips, of course. It's a stretch. We almost never hit that much in one day. But if we do hit the full $300 in tips, then we could do a swap. Or let's say I was wearing a football jersey first. Okay, now we'll, we'll do a vest switch. You put on a vest, and we'll have a vest swapping out, all right? Now I know people are not really going to be contributing to see the reward. I know that. It's just something silly that we do for some fun. Scout, you are a broside-filled dent, and I love you. With the 10. But you know what? Being a broside-filled dent actually means that you probably are swole as fuck. So... Love you, bro. One variety. It breaks up the streams. It makes it feel a little bit more, you know, exciting when there's a reward when we hit a milestone. So listen, I understand. Not everyone's going to be going crazy over it. It's not a big deal. But it's something nice to do. I love how people sit here and say, "Oh, take it, pay money, take it." El sandwich, yeah, two fifty, then three hundred. It's not serious reward. No one's going to sit here and say, "Oh, I'm seriously going to get full hundred bucks today because I want to see that goddamn red vest." What are you stupid? Yeah. You yeah, and you want people to. <sighs> that is exactly what he wants. He wants the stupid people to fucking give him a hundred dollars. Okay. If you could. As an example of how much I totally need this, right? North Scout, you just gave me 10 bucks, which again, you'll get your thing popped up here in a second, I am sure. I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you very much. If you had to hit me up next day and said, I am really sorry. I thought I was going to have 30 extra dollars in my account and I don't have it. And is there any way you could send me my 10 bucks back? I'm going to send you your 10 bucks back. Because again, don't really need it. So, I I don't know. I just... 
I need those. That that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill. Why is it not coming up the bill. way I want it to, fucker? Norse Count has just donated $10 through Super Chat. Wee woo, wee woo, I'm insane. <laughs> you are, you are in fact insane. I'm actually going to run a test here real quick. I apologize because that was supposed to have uh, text with it as well. I feel like you got shafted. Let me save the settings and run a test here real quick. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. That's how it was supposed bills, to come in. The electric bill, the internet bill. Broside Phil donated $31 through Super Chat. I didn't actually. This is a test Super Chat alert for $31. I'm going to disable this one. Apparently, I had a variation in there. I've disabled it. Hopefully, that will now save correctly. And we can... Hey! Ryan Camaro, it's my off week. I promise I'll do better next time. You fucking insane man. With the fiver. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No text. I'm a charge back. Norse Scout, charge it back. Charge it back. You deserve your fucking shit. I apologize. I will try to do better. I apologize for the disaster stream. I still love you. You are. That's what you say. Okay. So, no, no, no. You're not JK, JK. You're for real, for real. That's why we're doing it today. Now, obviously, it would be great to hit all the goals. If we don't, it's not the end of the world, but man, it would help out. Especially try to make up for last week where I did have a decrease in what I made because there were three effing streams where I couldn't be here for you guys, which sucks. I like being here. Double streams every day. It is what it is. At least for now, it's over. And like I told you guys, I can't have I need those, that money. I really do. Yeah, I need that money. Week, I might not pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. Ryan Camaro donated $5 through Super Chat. It's my off week, I promise he'll do better next time. It's fur fur. It's fur fur. <laughs> it's it's fur 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 fur. Fur 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 fur. Salt, full salt 217 with the five for just to evoke your ADHD, your attention deficit. Hey, donuts! And cause I have more letters I can type and I want my money's worth. Salt 217 with the five for. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. I love you. It might happen. Oh, for by the way, I do have a bias just because the dude has been absolutely cutting me up in my chat every time he comes in here. I'm going to be honest. In 51 minutes and 47 seconds, Mixidious, I hope you get one of the gifted subs. Now, you know, all the information is submitted and I'm just playing a waiting game. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Cool. All right. Now, a couple segments today. First segment I'd like to do, Phil's Day Off. Oh, my God. <laughs> I I don't know much about OBS. I don't know much about fucking streaming software. I mean, I figured out how to do the the super chat thing. I figured out how to... Is it not as easy as, like, I could put a fucking, like, little screen or a web page that has little buttons on my on my, my, my bullshit? That, I need th that money. God, I really it. do. I need that money to pay my bills. Oh, the skip the bill, ads. Skip... No! Bill. Fuck. Sal217 donated $5 through super chat. Just to invoke your ADHD, your attention deficit, hey donuts. And cause I have more letters I can type and I want my money's worth. Well, children, I apologize. Uh, Lacky Bracky just reminded me with skip, skip, skip. And, and by the way, if you guys get a warning that says, hey, an ad is coming and, you know, we're like balls deep into something and you're like, hey, I, I really don't want this to happen. Do that. Just say skip, skip, skip or, hey, ads are coming. I'll try to get to them and, uh, and, and bypass them. So, uh, Broside May 1st style event win. Um, so, I don't have an OnlyFans yet, Jasper the Cat, but, I mean, depending on the buy-in, you know, um, it'll be a little bit more uh, detailed. Uh, so, you yeah, know, not for us, but for Phil's fucking day off segment. Oh, well, Lacky Bracky. It just so happened that when you did that, I actually switched back to my, my fucking dashboard, and my dashboard was like, in five seconds... Ads are going to roll, and then it disappeared right as I tried to skip them. So, sorry about that to anybody who got ads. But I'm not sorry at the same time. It, Yeah. I still love y'all. Let us talk about my day off yesterday. All right? So, yesterday... Was he went to the grocery store. I to celebrate my birthday with my wife, because I knew that today I would be here live on stream all day. All right? So, what did we do? Well, we did have to do a bunch of errands and things. It was my day off, after all. Things like grocery shopping and the like. When I went grocery shopping, I bought all these ingredients. Hey, Greedy Piggy, thank you for that. Because that so means that I you have, uh, well, that means you either are smart enough with the whole ad bro blocker thing. Greedy Piggy says, I don't get ads, so it's fine. Uh, but that means he either has uh, uh, an ad blocker or he uh, is a YouTube premium member, which that apparently pays me more for ads anyway. So, Norse Scout, 
I wrote a haiku about being a ripped attractor. Clickbait title rage, but my core's ripped. My mind's clear. Weak content exposed. That's fucking good. That's... Dude. And again, that's like 20 from you today. Slow the fuck down. Like, I, I don't have any rewards that I can, like... I can't put on hats. I can't put on gutter glasses. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I was going to be making that was a really good. Yeah, <laughs> Nor Scout is my um, is my dent whale. Very happy because, like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit. We actually made the cake together, which was really nice. Um, so we went out and about. We did a few shopping things here or there. No giant deal or anything like that. Um, Leanna yeah, was, was hotter. Later. Yeah. But um, about halfway through the day, we came home and just started relaxing. And uh, I remember what, what specifically were we doing? Nothing. Well, we're actually we're watching. Like I told you guys, we've been watching quite a few people play Elden Ring. And what? the game is so long, it's funny because I'm over 80 hours in. It's very easy to watch other people play as long as you don't get too far ahead. You really uh, can't spoil yourself. The game's so damn long. Skipping that you know, ads. Ha ha ha. Most people who we've been watching haven't even reached the areas that I'm in yet. Um, so it was pretty fun watching these people. Although, admittedly, now here's what's happening. All right. We're getting to the point where people are starting, farting, uh, starting to play the game. Um, like Mimic Mimictear before it was nerfed. And everyone had told me, dude, the summons are crazy. Like the Mimic here is broken. Mimic is awesome, man. I, I love Mimic. By the time I got it, you know, I already apparently had been nerfed. And well, Mighty Mike, I could put on Zelda jammies for everybody, but it's not like I could like show you because I don't, I, I don't want to do a full face reveal yet. Maybe someday, but not, not right now. And I also don't own a pair of Zelda jammies because I'm forty. I, I feel like Phil shouldn't own a pair of Zelda jammies either, or if he does own a pair of Zelda jammies, it should be you know just like normal. He wears them to bed and tells nobody about them. Hey, Teresa Lemke. I did real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But Pajama pants reveal. I this. need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Thank you. Norse Scout donated $10 through Super Chat. Norse Scout Man, just got ripped off I again. I wrote a haiku about being a ripped detractor. Wheelchair symbol. Clickbait titles rage, but my core is ripped. My mind's clear. Weak content exposed. Door Scout, I don't understand how you can get fucking rooked two times in a row. Or was that was that you that got rooked the first time? Wee 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 woo, I'm insane. Let's go crazy here. No t Yep, yep, Door Scout got rooked two times in a row. I And I can't make it back up to him. I'm so sorry, my dude. Rooked, you got screwed over because it you you yeah it it read it out, but you didn't get your pop up, my dude. Personally, I wasn't summoning, as you know, during my Elder Ring playthrough. I am not summoning for bosses unless it's like a steamroll boss where there's no way he's going to beat me anyway, or with absolutely like something. But Teeling T Soldier says you don't need a face reveal for Zelda jammies, and that's true. But I, I don't know. I'm I'm afraid like if you know too many of my my female my female people see my booty. That, you know, I'm going to have, I'm going to, I need to protect my family. Okay. I need to protect my family. I'm sorry, Norse Cal. I really am. I, I, I swear to God, I will try to figure out why the fuck it is not flying up because it has, it has to be the overwrite. Like, uh, Teresa gifted the, the membership that one popped and it overwrote your, I don't know. I feel terrible. I'm so sorry. You know, a reason why I feel like doing it, but it's been like almost never. I think I, I summoned once early on, didn't even beat the boss doing it, so then I beat him legit. And then I one boss, it was like some really crappy necromancer. I was gonna beat him in like four hits anyway, so I summoned the mimic here, and I was like, wow, this is pretty good. So now what we're seeing is there's more than one person. Norse Scout, don't send anything. Don't don't fucking send anything if you were thinking about it, because Teresa just sent another another membership out. Teeling Soldier got I had it. Twenty five real pushups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But By the way, Nev is the red if you didn't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Who was it that got it? Old King. Old King got it. Old King got the previous one. Teeling Soldier got this one. 44 minutes. Five more people are going to get them. Let's fucking go. Welcome to the Gym Rat Tractor Squad. Y'all have access to my lifting videos now, in which case you could actually probably make out my whole face because I don't actually edit it out that well. But um, yeah, get swole, bitches. Um who leveled up their Mimic tier and basically kept summoning them. Now, here's the thing, all right? If you're playing Elden Ring... I hope, I'm hoping balls, Mick gets right? one. If you've never played a FromSoft game before and you're not good at them and you just want to try to get through it and this is your crutch, then fine, use summons, right? 
But if you're someone who's played all the FromSoft games before, if you're a fucking content creator who literally has made tons of money playing FromSoft games before, Wait. if you're known for being a content creator who plays FromSoft games, why the fuck are you using Mimic here? Really? Like, the isn't this the guy who said, um, "What was what game was he playing?" And he was like getting absolutely butt hurt about um, uh, people saying that he was playing on easy, and he was like, "No, I'm playing on normal, and I can play any way I want because blah 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 blah." And if it's if I I'm not I'm not fucking I'm not a fucking you know try hard that has to get it. And now he's saying, "Why are you?" You said five real pushups on my floor. I actually did. Mighty Mike. I actually did do them, but. There's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. Mighty Mike just became a member of the Gym Newbies. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully you like uh, like the icons and all that jazz. You're going to get your little piggy icon. Uh, welcome. The first time you summon it, you realize it breaks the game. It takes all the aggro off of you. And the bosses are being so distracted. God of War Ragnarok. That's right, Drax. Turns around to hit you. Um, Mimic tier so was fucking baller, game, Teresa. I, under, I will agree with those of you who have said... Constant summoning and using mimic here is broken. Now yeah, exactly, it, Tanaka. You don't get to this. brag if you In their cheese. Original first supposed to be honest playthroughs firsthand. Now that I've seen it happen over and over, I'm like, wow, that actually is pretty broken. And again, I'm not against anyone playing however they want. Hey, Pope some Bengal. I've never time. played. Not, I, I, I do want to play it at some point. Who's a content creator who literally is saying, well, I don't want to have any challenge. I just want to fucking steamroll the game. Well, is it? But I just want to steamroll the game, and now he's talking about I just want to come home and relax. I'm not trying to be a tryhard, unless it's of course Street Fighter Six or Tekken Eight. And really just get through and see it all and not really have any intentional boss fights or whatever. Because I've seen a couple people do that. Hey, hey, hey greedy it. piggy. Now, the thing is, when I Enjoy the icons. Eight, Enjoy you know, the remember, icons. The was nerfed about a week and a half after the release of Elden Ring. And I'm curious. Spam jump R2. Yep. And now they, these people who use it as a crush for a long time, now they can't. Dude, uh, his ego is his horcrux. If he lets his ego die, he dies. Get any further in the game? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see. But I just, I, I definitely see. I went with the, uh, so Teresa said, Bleed Arcane, Great Stars, my favorite build. I went with the black, uh, what's it called? Is it black magic? Dark magic? Uh, with the sword that he actually uses. He uses the sword, but I went full dark magic build. Uh, I could fucking three shot some of the, the lower tier bosses. Like, not the actual mega bosses that, like, uh, what, what's her name? Melania. Can't three shot her, obviously. But, like, some of the, like, world bosses, you could three shot them bitches. Uh, with just three, uh, you have to position yourself right, and that fucking wind up took forever. But it fucking dropped them. I loved it. Dark Sea Death Low in the house. We got one of the fucking detractor celebrities in here. Welcome, my brother. Always good to have you in here. Let's keep it going. It being broken. It's hilarious because pe some people in the stream chat right now are like, ah, oh, you yelled at us. Crucible build. I don't know what that I one. Is, people are allowed to play this game however they want. Anyone who is just a, a normal person who bought the game can use any means necessary to be successful in the game, okay? In my personal playthrough, what have I done? I have tried not to summon. I only did it, what, twice? And once it was for a steamroll boss. It didn't even matter. Um, I'm personally trying to use different weapons. Just think over the course of my playthrough. I started off with the regular straight sword. went to the curved sword I got from the Bloodhound Knight. Then I went to the Golden Halberd. Then I realized the Golden Halberd is so OP that I purposely nerfed myself by using other weapons, like the Magma Worm Sword for a while, right? Then I ended up switching over to the spear, the big tree spear, which I've been using quite a lot. Then I switch over to that special flame sword every once in a while. Um... You know, I'm trying to do variety. I even told you guys at the end of the last stream, I'm strongly considering boosting another weapon because I have the materials to do it, and I want to have, like, another weapon to go to besides the halberd. So, yeah, so what I'm thinking of is doing variety. You know, that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, And that's what I've been trying to do with my playthrough. If I'm going to fight a boss... Sean Gonzalez, this this dude repeats himself. He says, how many times is he going to repeat himself? He repeats himself more than a fucking record with a broken needle. Now, for those of you who are young and don't know... Uh, everyone has a crush on you here, the prettiest, prettiest girl at school, because he's such a saint, says Lacky Bracky. Oh, fuck. I'm absolutely going to give it an honest try and try to beat it head up fair. I'm not going to be summoning right away to just get through it quickly and keep going with the game. Even though I know, hey, most people beat this game like three weeks ago. I want to do a nice, legit playthrough for you guys. And most of the feedback I've been getting is, thank you for not summoning. Thank you for using a variety of weapons. Your playthrough is more entertaining because of it. And, and again, that's this is that's where, where he has to be entertaining. He has to be entertaining by doing like niche shit with his fucking runs. He can't be just entertaining as a as a person. He's just a piece of shit. Lacky Bracky, I am always happy to beg for you. Uh, did I see him try and kiss Comet Azure Electo in Elden Ring? She took him out and like, well, he was one shot like three times. Yeah, I did. Uh, he. Uh, it, it, was that during his magic build, Teresa, where he, he went full magic and he was like, I'm going to get her. And then she just fucking Kamehameha his ass straight into oblivion. I'm happy about that. I'm watching these people play the game and this is their first playthrough of the game and they're summoning all the time. And they've, some of them are using the same fucking weapon the entire game that I really don't understand. 
Like the whole point of a game like this, when you're constantly getting, I haven't. I'll have to take a look to at try it. Try new things and find things that are better than what you're doing. I see people who literally have been playing this game for 30, 40 hours and they haven't switched a weapon yet. And I'm like, dude, you want to talk about boring? And people complain about my playthrough. <laughs> my playthrough. You tell me my playthrough is boring. There's people out there making content that has, by the way, 20, 30 times the viewership I get, and it's fucking the same weapon the whole playthrough. Like, geez, go go right. That's told them the wrong you know? way. So anyway, uh, it's funny because people say now nah, you're seeing the light. No, no, no. Story. Again, allow me to explain. Okay? Hogan. Please allow me to explain myself and elaborate on this. Anyone is allowed to play Elden Ring in any way they want if they're doing their own playthrough for themselves. Unless it's a content creator, in which case you are you owe your 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 fucking audience a pure run because you are a content creator. And fuck you if you can get an audience without a pure run. Here comes the yeah snort snort coke drip yeah. Here uh, here comes the cope session by the way. Okay, no one's here to tell you cannot use a summon. You cannot use a fucking mimic here. No, bad. You could anyone can play it however they want. All right. But oh, there's okay. a combination factor here that if you are making content for the audience, Told right, you. it has to be semi-enjoyable, all right? No, you're not allowed to dictate every single thing that a content creator does in their playthrough. That's incredibly entitled. At the same time, I feel that if a content creator is trying to make a buck putting out content, they should try to put in some effort into doing variety of content and try to entertain you in a way that's challenging. Yes, if you found a method to cheese the entirety of the game, all right, with little to no challenge because you realize, geez, the summoning is really breaking everything, and then you continue to do it, you're basically saying, I don't care about the entertainment factor of the game. I just want to get through it quick. No, you're not. You're saying that... <laughs> The game is 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 secondary to to the to the to the entertainer. Like people watch different local news channels. You know they have a preference. You know we have we have uh, well, we'll say five local news stations around my area, right? People get the same amount of news from they like the fucking anchor. They like the fucking graphics or something. You know the content's the same. They like the person. You're just an unlikable piece of shit. Like, how is this hard? And I hate to say it. That's why I think what a lot of these content creators are doing. That's what she said, by the way. More than one run of this game. What I've noticed is they're only halfway through the game and they can't stop talking about their second run. Oh, I cannot wait for my second run when I'm going to do this or this or that. Dude, you haven't seen half the game yet. You're already so ahead of yourself in your mind. Okay. Think about runs that are going to be profitable. Okay, that's not that's not fair, North Scout. North Scout says the hot weather Latina chick. Uh, that is sex sells. Now, Phil is trying to go down that route. To hear me out. Hear me out. He's growing his tits. And one day he's going to come on in a push-up bra and be like, see what I've done for you? Do you see what I've done? Now, give me more tips. Like the hot Latina uh, weather lady. That you're not even thinking about what you're doing now. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of annoying to me because these are people who are, I'll be honest, much bigger than me. Much more popular than me. They're making money hand over fist. These are Some of these guys that I'm watching are people who are known that all they do is play FromSoft style game, gameplay stuff. Okay. Dude, have you guys seen, he has his own jiggle phys uh, physics. He was wearing that fucking like Hawaiian shirt and he was moving so much like his core would would just jiggle back and forth. Ryan Camaro, if you don't like me talking about uh, DSP tits, I mean, I think you've come to the wrong place. I mean, I am. I am toxically jealous of his massive man cans. Let me tell you. Okay. <clears throat> and it just doesn't make any sense to me that to them, just the enjoyment of the game and exploring isn't even a big deal. I just can't wait to get through this first run so I can get to my, my fucking special cheese run or challenge run or whatever, which is the next run. <laughs> exactly. Why? Just enjoy the game, right? Like, why can't you just honestly enjoy the game? Oh, that's, that like, shirt was so bad, El Sandwich. The one that bulged. Long, that yeah, that was it. bad. They were playing over 10 straight hours a day for a fucking week. Yeah, I, I, I was going to make a meme that said, all I want is a relationship as strong as the buttons on Phil's shirt. How can you not get burnt up, burnt up, burnt out on a game? After you play it over 10 hours a day for over a week straight, and then you're going right back into the game to play it again. Oh, I'll be honest, I'm very glad. I'm very glad that I'm the... <laughs> his buttons make his shirt a fucking walking claymore. Variety content creator. I feel like I'm enjoying Elder Ring because I'm taking my time with it. If I didn't, oh my god. If I was playing it the way that they're playing it, I'd be like, forget it. I, I don't think I get any enjoyment out of it. You know, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't envy that. I don't envy that lifestyle. That, oh, Elden Ring is out, and I have to just play it straight for five months. Every different kind of variable, every challenge run. You yeah, flare run, up. All boss run, the skip past. Front boss towards run, enemy. Run, run, with, my, with my fists run, you know. That's oh right, God. I'll say it. You know. No. <laughs> that is not, definitely, that is not for me, okay? Let me open my window now, because the landscapers are gone. It's already getting stuck in here. Chair host! Yay, chair host. The most entertaining host. You provide more content oh, yeah. and happiness than Phil. So, Boo! Like, the talking about Bad host, back. Because, um, you know, it's obviously because I was watching it yesterday. My wife, we were relaxing. We were watching various different playthroughs of Elden Ring and seeing some people employ these strategies. I'm like, dude, I can't believe they did that. Like, that's a way to really cheap your way out of a legitimate first experience of the game. Um, cheap yourself out. not be entertaining for your viewing audience, but not terrible because you're so big. I couldn't believe some of the stuff I was seeing from multiple content creators. So, uh, yeah, and, and these multiple content creators, they make how much more money than you? I forget. Can you remind me, Phil? And they're what uh, what would be classified as successful. So maybe shut the fuck up and take a, take, take a hint. 
take a hint, hint, a hint, hint, hint from these people. It is what it is, but they won't be able to do that moving forward simply because it doesn't exist anymore. Like I said, that tier was nerfed, and even people are still saying it's still broken, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, I'm happy I'm not doing that. Dude, Mr. No, not only was he talking about when he went to the gym and stuff, there was a time, I, I want to do a video on it, but I don't think there's enough content, it's uh, like enough of a subject matter, I'll have to find it and kind of inject it as a filler. Um, oh, you think he'd play BG3 again? I, I think he's going to. But anyway, uh, 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 Unirage, if she's still in the chat, uh, she found two or three or four clips of Phil talking about uh, when he was bench pressing, uh, he, it was a really, it was a whole lot of fucking weight. It was so heavy. It was near my max. What was your max? I don't remember. Shut the fuck up. Uh, but that he felt something burst in his brain. I'm like, that's called a fucking aneurysm. You should be dead. Right. But that's how heavy he was lifting guys. That's when he knew he, he needed to stop taking pre-workout shit like that. I'm like, dude, unless you are mainlining free base cocaine or you're taking six scoops of pre a day, pre ain't going Pre ain't going to do shit. Pre is not going to make that happen. Yeah, you're going to get amped the fucked up. You are. But it's not going to cause a fucking aneurysm. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, creatine. Yeah, I, I don't get me wrong. I run creatine. I run creatine. I run fucking uh, protein. Uh, I run a pre-workout. I run all that shit. But I call my, my pre-workout legal methamphetamine. Because basically that's, I swear to God, what it feels like sometimes. But uh, yeah. I really am. I'm happy I'm not doing that. I'm happy that I'm having a good time with the game and not cheesing it. Um, although there's really no way to avoid being overleveled. There's just not. The way that they built the game, you can't. Unless you skip 90% of the content of the game, you're not going to fucking end up being... Dude, he's so super strong, okay. fucking greedy piggy. Uh, you don't even it. know. <laughs> and I can't wait for more. Today should be fun. Okay. Gout <laughs> shakes. All right. Um, anyway, so we chilled. Dark sea. God damn it. We had a nice uh, dinner. We actually ordered out... What did we order? We ordered um, oh Mediterranean food. Oh, what a surprise. They ordered out. Who would have thought? Um, and we actually ordered... This is interesting. We ordered from a place <clears throat> where... So, North Scout, back in the day, I don't remember. Do you remember Jack 3D before it got banned? That shit hit like a goddamn mule. We basically used to order from this place pre-COVID, okay? Them arms, you know, Rach, you don't understand. He's a bodybuilder, okay? It's because he's not flexed that you can't see, uh, you, you, you can't see his biceps or any muscle or striations or he's, he's, it's actually kind of psychotic. Um, I know my, 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 200 pound bench press. Fuck yeah. Personal best. Darwinning. Keep that shit up. 315 going to be coming. I already know. Gray Fox. Do I think his increasing back issues are due to a sedentary lifestyle, poor choice of chair setup or being so poorly optimized? Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's mostly his sedentary lifestyle because he's hunched several times. Um. The DoorDash birthday bash, that's right. Uh, he's hunched over a lot. That's going to be terrible. He doesn't really, he doesn't have good posture. Um, hey, who's popping? Ready? Or uh, uh, welcome. I said ready. I don't know why. Welcome. Ready. Whatever. Um, but I think it's it's really his, his hunched posture. The fact he's sedentary. The fact he doesn't move. The fact that, the, if he had a fucking uh, uh, pedometer, that's pedometer, not pedometer. That, that goes to Derek. Um, if he had a pedometer, I'd be surprised if he clocked in over 2000 steps a day. Um, and again, yeah, Sean Gonzalez makes a great point, says they're not real. That's just something for him to play the victim, uh, uh, victim about built like a bag of milk. That's correct. Um, see, I think, see dark sea, I think Phil's bodybuilding routine is a load of shit. I think, I think he was probably an ego lifter. Well, fuck, hold on. Let's, let's jump back to my. My time till, which has the wrong thing here. I can't, I got to move the chat off the, God damn it. That's the wrong one. Where's my chat? There we go. This is him in his bodybuilder days on the left corner here. This is, this is him swole as fuck, right? This is just him as an absolute monster, right? So, I mean, don't get me wrong. He, he definitely looks like he has less weight. He's carrying less weight in his, in his chin for sure. Um, yeah, so ego lifter, if you guys, if, for guys that don't know, right, an ego lifter is a person who sacrifices form for number, right? So it's somebody who has a completely round back when they deadlift. It's somebody who, who half squats as opposed to full squats. It's somebody who doesn't make chest contact with the bar when they bench just so they can throw up bigger, uh, bigger numbers. Yes. Now, what do I mean by this, Lacky Bracky? Uh, yeah, no muscle development whatsoever. This is him and his, I think this is his peak male physique. Otherwise, why the fuck would he be wearing a, sh uh, a sleeveless shirt? Lenny squats. I've never heard this term Lenny squats before. Um, 
Let's see, ego lifters are cancer and they don't believe in the full range of motion. Getting hurt is their mantra. That is correct. Hey, Nocturnal L, welcome, welcome. Uh, I can smell that pig. <laughs> who can't smell that pig at this point? Honestly, who can't smell it? It's It fucking smells disgusting. But the, the one that we used to order from closed because of COVID. They went out of business. And since then, we didn't think that we could order from there because they're closed. But apparently they had another branch. Oh boy, they have another like branch. Five minute drive. We never thought that they would deliver that far. They did. So we actually ordered and we ended up getting some really good food. What, you know what? Mediterranean food, one of the things I like about it is that they definitely do things differently than other cultures when it comes to seasoning and the way that they cook meat. So I'll be, I'll be honest, so, I don't really like white meat chicken that much. I think that white meat chicken is dry and basically lacking a flavor. Now, there's ways you can prepare it that make it taste better. But in general, hold on real quick. Let me, let me good. pause I this. Dark meat chicken so white meat chicken. I need, you know, Rach, I need, I need your, your, your crazy skills here real quick. I am, uh, I recently did on Friday, it was one of my weakest lifts. Uh, but it was definitely out of, uh, post, post, uh, my 40th birthday, but I recently did a lift and, uh, I want to, I want the grossest fucking comparison that we can make. I want to see what he looked like when he was 40. I'll, I'll keep trying to, to find it myself, but if I can find an image of him with his arm, where you can actually see his arms when he's 40, I can do a comparison and, uh, I'll throw that up on the screen. That'll be that'll be the thank you guys for however much Nor Scout. That's that's what your twenty dollars gets. It gets you a comparison photo. How about that? that that's 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 what I can get you. Okay. Well, in regards to Mediterranean, food, Jason Genova. Okay, I'll look it up. It. And yeah, he's he's thirty percent body fat for sure. And I'm not exactly sure what the spice is. Um, basically, what it is. That the, Bye, the, X Machina. Thanks for stopping by. Color, Good night, Derek. Like Turmeric or something like that, because that's the spice that definitely dyes things really intensely. Um, <laughs> Getting love you, bud. But what's unique about this is. Is that it also has this like citrusy flavor to it? So you think maybe lemon, lemon zest or lemon juice or something could be involved in it, but then it has a salty flavor to it. But it's unique as hell. I've never had chicken like this anywhere but like a Mediterranean restaurant. I think whatever. Only fan like, style, meal, yeah. And man, is it good! I really, really like it. So yeah, I ended up getting uh, they call it like a chicken kebab dinner. So what it is is two skewers of white meat chicken, but it's this marinated. How did we uh, get on this? Insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking good. And they give you this dipping sauce. <clears throat> That's, uh, it's like made of, I guess it's yogurt, but it's garlic infused dipping sauce. It complements the flavor perfectly. And it's so weird because it's nothing like any other cuisine. It really isn't. It, How? I can't even tell you another cuisine that tastes like that, but it's, it's so good. Cuisine. And, you know, what I like about Mediterranean cuisine. Is you, get, you get such a good variety of stuff. Like I got, so it came with hummus and pitas. You dip the pitas in the hummus and that was delicious. It came with their rice, which is the seasoned rice that just tastes, again, it tastes kind of different from other cultural, other cultural rices. It has peas and carrots, but it's also got. It was tangy and, and robust, and, dude. And it was also, tangy and, side, and robust. Like lettuce, tomato, onion, <laughs> Okay. Olives, what else? There's something else in there too, and then their unique dressing, which is like this tangy vinaigrette, but also has. I don't, tangy it's and good. robust. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, Dude, I, I, Steve Beef, I, I would be surprised if he's if he's crested 200 in his fucking test. I would be. Hey, Daft 909, welcome. I don't know why people bash Phil. He's been a bodybuilder, a PC building specialist, best Street Fighter player in North America. He has a business degree, and given his Italian and Polish genetics, the man could cook. This is another one of his addictions, dude. This is all he has is addictions. I swear to God. Food. You know, last time when I did one for Feasting with the King last year, I tried falafel and other things. This time around, I wanted to go more back to like traditional stuff that I usually ordered. And, oh my God, you hit the spot. It's just so freaking good, you know. Um, so I loved it. I, it was good. I was happy because this is a place we used to order from in the past, or we went there in person in the past, and then they went out of business during COVID. And now here we are, two years later, and we found another one that we can order from. It's I'm so place. Italian. It's I'm food fucking food stupid. Here, they still delivered. It was, it was really, really good. So we we're very pleased with that. Okay. So. Good stuff, okay? Um, in that regard, it was a very, very good meal. Regarded, then, yes. You are, in fact, regarded. By the way, guys, you may have noticed there were no pop-ups. It's because I unclicked it. Are you serious? Yeah. You may have been watching the pre-stream podcast, and you're like, oh, is no one contributing today? Uh, no, actually, there's been quite a few tips, and I accidentally unclicked the fucking pop-up. Oh, dear Please. God. Okay, so I did not uh, unclick a pop-up, nor I, Scout. You just have been getting fucking scammed, and I'm really, really very sorry about that. Uh, Daft909, going to stream later. Got to beat Valkyrie Elysium. Ah, okay. Renaissance man. And yes, he's a valedictorian. You've got to remember that. Uh, and and Phil 100% needs testosterone. Phil 1000% needs test. He needs a heavy dose of that shit. Like, and not only that, he needs a hit of vitamin D. He needs to be taking a fuck ton of vitamin D. There's one, two, three, four, five different people who tipped this morning and none of you got pop-ups because I unclicked it apparently by accident. Well, that's a good way to start my, my uh, birthday event. Huh? So, Soul217 asks, Broside Phil, which do I think is worth his old style sex jokes or his current style scat jokes? Uh, I'm going to go with the sex jokes, hands down. Um, some of the stuff that he... It, it, go watch the intro to Dragon's Dogma 1. Just watch the intro. When the dragon comes in and either blesses or curses the, the lady in it. The amount of struggle snuggle jokes that he makes is horrifying um it's it's bad bad right um 
Yeah, it's it's bad. Steve Beeb, don't worry. I take it too. I'm I'm not natty. I I tested low. Uh, my my position that I'm in is extremely high travel. It's also extremely high stress, and uh, just fuck, man. I'm forty. What do you want me to tell you? You know. I'm being stupid. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm forty years old now, so I'm extra stupid. <laughs> okay, my apologies. Don't worry, yes, you, guys you have to be there the whole day, says Rye Drake. My fault. Okay. All right. Now. <clears throat> You know, I put I would put uh, Darwin asks was the real question is does Phil have more testosterone than the Try Guys? I firmly believe he's on par with the Try Guys. I really do. Um, I think he's yeah hitting three fifteen at thirty six. North Scout, you know, you're you're right there with me, bud. I'm I'm having I'm having a rough time getting past uh, around the three thirty five three fifty mark on press. Uh, I'm squatting heavier. I'm squatting heavier now. I'm I'm to the four plates of doom right now. So uh, and then I'm deadlifting a lot heavier than I than I had been. But my bench, my bench is dropping off uh, like a bad habit. It's 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 kind of it's kind of bad. But uh, you know what can you do, right? So fuck it. Let's let's go. Remember when Phil said I can't do night shift because of my age? He was 35 at the time. Dude, night shift is the fucking greatest. I don't I don't care what anybody says. I love night shift. It's quiet. No one fucking bothers you. You can just have your fucking headphones in and be in your fucking zone. I loved night shift when I was on uh, patrol. That being said, okay. Big shout out to that being said. Gotta love it. Idiots here. <laughs> okay. That yeah, that, that's what he is. He's low T God. During my day off. Well, <laughs> My wife and I made my birthday cake together, and it was really nice because, you know, usually I don't help my wife cook, just being honest. Usually she cooks earlier, like when I'm streaming, she'll cook, and I go down, there's time for dinner, we have it together. Um, and definitely with baking, I don't think I've ever <laughs> witnessed her do the baking or anything like that. And she was like, you know, we're both off today. Why don't we make the cake together, do something special? You know, we feel like, like something nice to do together. And I said, you know, I can't really help you with the baking. I don't know that much about it, right? But what I can do is I can help as much as I can, so I hope to get the ingredients out. You know, I mean, Damn it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry about that. Sorry for uh, 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 headphones, you know, headphone like users. Sorry about that. It's a hand electric mixer. It's cheap, but, you know, it's been sitting around. I'm going to use it very often. She's like, oh, God, I totally forgot we have it. Pull it out. We cleaned it off. We used it. Made it 20 times easier to with the frosting, okay? So, first of all, this is made by hand, meaning this was not a cake mix that was bought in the store. She actually found a recipe online to make your own cake batter, make your own frosting. As of, uh, forgive me, I'm old. I did like the... Yep. Okay. Um... So we made the batter together, which was, I made a mess, got all over the countertop, but it was good. And the batter is a, a real chocolate so, batter using real... So, hold on, I'll explain. Okay. And... So that was actually an intro to a video. Um, I found an image of DSP flexing. It's actually one of my old uh, one of my old ones. Uh, I could probably actually just bring up the original. But I found one and I went to go save the... Fu- <laughs> I went to go save the image and I actually, I clicked the video and it started auto-playing it. And I was like, shit, and I apologize, sorry for your ears. Using semi-sweet chocolate pieces in the batter semi-sweet uh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate pieces with the chocolate it's gonna be chocolate chocolate cake okay <laughs> then the, the uh frosting i fucking hate this guy peanut butter frosting God, why the mm. sugar mixed with a lot of peanut butter and a few other ingredients whipped together to be a lighter frosting okay put on top everything is fine that, everything um, is wonderful there's uh Reese's peanut butter cups like minis we got those you cut them up and just covered the entire top of Reese's peanut butter cups so this is crazy decadent. There's no way I can eat decadent. a piece of this thing. I'll, Jesus. I'll, you know, I'm 40 years old. I'm not supposed to be eating crazy shit. So if I have a piece, this has to be like one small piece a day. Okay? <laughs> now, the funny part about this was um, we make the cake, and it's like, oh, I can't wait. This is going to be great. Right? And then we look. And by the way, thank you, Thomas McDonald, for the right. giant tip. I appreciate that. And the animation worked this time. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. What, um, what, what was his giant tip? So we, we're making I got, the cake. I missed it. Baked. I missed it. What okay. was his giant tip? Giant tip. Um, we make the cake, and it's like, oh, I can't wait. This shit 40 to 40. Fuck <laughs> Nor Scout, don't. Oh, wait, this is going to be great, right? And then we look. And by the way, thank you, Thomas. That is, for that is fucking that. insane. That. The animation worked this time. Awesome. Thank you, man. Um, so uh, we, we make the cake, and it's baked. Okay. It's frosted. Put all the candy. Put it in the fridge. And I, I realized, I said, wait a minute. We baked that in the nice Pyrex baking pan. And I looked at the meals we were doing, and so it was like, like. All right, so Teresa asks, sorry, what's the chances of Capcom adding punishments for plugging Phil plugged during Street Fighter Six last night? I don't know. Um, I all I know is that he, he's just a piece of shit in terms of um, having of of doing that. You know, calling out people. Be, oh, I can't believe you'd plug. Then doing it himself uh, is absolutely infuriating. I fucking hate him uh, with a burning passion for doing this shit. But god damn it, there we go. Move that off to the side. I'm I'm trying to trying to 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 to, to be be honest, not honest, but uh, do 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 the good things here. For uh, Mr. Mr. Norscout, since I fucking rooked him or screwed him out of uh, all his all his fucking what you call it? Um, God damn it! Why can I not move this where I want to? Sorry, 
of his uh, notifications. I'm trying to... Okay, so, there we go. Rules for thee, but not for me. That is correct. So, let me keep this paused and make sure that the chat's to, well, the chat was going. Okay, thanks. Not when you're sedentary. Yep, he plugged last night. Blocked and blocked people because they trashed. I wonder what right, he would do. Real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. Hey, welcome to the Jim Retractor Squad, Darwinny. There's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But... All right. So, let me save the image here real quick. Save as. And sure. And now it's saved. And now i got to go figure out where the fuck I put it. Uh, have you ever heard of BPC-157? Sorry for the derail. What's what? I do not know what BPC-157. He was eating, flipping out about eating hamburger helper, but he didn't realize it was so complex. It's not complex. And Darwinny, again, thank you for a uh, full-fledged member of the Gym Rat Tractor Squad. I will take a look at it here in just a few minutes. I am desperately trying to figure out where the fuck I put this so I can actually show it to you. Disaster stream, everybody. Disaster stream. Um... Forgive the disaster stream. I love you all. And there it is. Okay. And perfect or better. And now I need to create a new thingy, which will go on top of everything else. So we'll make that a window capture. Say just okay to the window capture. And yep, photos. Is that it? Photo app photos. Hopefully that's the right one. Snag it editor. Nope, photo app photos. Say okay. And is that all? That must be all the way on the bottom. So we'll bring it to the front. Or we won't because it just fucking doesn't work. God hates me. So we'll delete that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apparently fucking suck with OBS. Uh, but don't worry. In 17 minutes, new fucking... New, so you're going to get five new members. Okay. So just everything's going to be okay. Oh, there we go. Image. That's all I have to do is just say, give me an image. And BSP. Yep. Yep. Where are you, sweetheart? I know you're in here. Come here. Where are you, baby? I know you're in here. 20... Why is this not in here? This is pissing me off. I hate, I, I fucking hate life right now. Um, pictures, BSP... Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. Where the fuck is it? It's a JPEG. It is 2024. It's not in thumbnails. There it is. Okay. So now we'll say okay. There it is. Finally. All right, so... On the left, God damn it! I just canceled it. <laughs> Disaster stream, ladies and gentlemen. What can I tell you? I fucking suck. Um, browse, find it again. Because fucking reasons. There we go. And then say okay instead of fucking cancel. There we go. So on the left we have good old Philbert. I want to say this is him being uh, over forty years of age. This has got to be him forty one, forty two because he the angle of how he is. Uh, and on the, on the right is me at 40. Um, so I fucking hate DSP because of this, because he says, Oh, I'm a bodybuilder. Oh, I have this. Oh, I have that. I, I was uh, all that jazz. Uh, this is why I fucking hate him. This is why I make fun of his fucking noodle arms. This is why it just fucking pisses me off. And, um, yeah, that is now to be fair, I am running a, I am on a, what is known as an arm blaster. So what is going on right now is my tricep is actually pushed forward. So because my tricep is pushed forward, my arms look about two times bigger than what they actually are. So this is straight up a lie. Straight up. By in, by in terms of, oh, do, are his arms this big? Technically, yes, but in the actual grand scheme of things, no, they are not. So now let's watch some noodle arms. <laughs> Every dinner this week we're using the Pyrex baking pan. Oh, oops. Now, dude, there's no way I can eat this fast. You know, I, must, I can't be eating giant pieces of this cake every day. I, I will, I'm willing to bet that Joe, Joe G says that's the jerk arm. Got to keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm willing to bet his jerk arm is massive. Um, so, what we're going to do is later tonight, I'm going to cut my first piece of cake. Yes, I have candles for it and everything. We're going to eat it live, lasting on stream today. We're going to blow out the candles, have the cake, and then tonight I have to cut it into small pieces and basically separate it all, put it into like containers and put it into the, 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 the fridge like that so that basically we can use the Pyrex container for the rest of the week for, for meals. It's fucking... This is fucking... You, you have to put things away. Oh! Life is terrible for Filbert. How terrible. Now rush to get it out of the pan. Which is frustrating. It's nice, it's nice to just leave it in the pan and cut it as you eat it, but can't do that this year. Anyway, it was really good. It was really good to do that with her. And I actually said to her last night, I said, thank you for, for having that idea. Because actually spending the time together making the cake was nice. We joked around. You know, we had fun with it. And I really enjoyed doing that. That's a memory. That <laughs> Soul 217. Like, Legend says like, Phil's oh, arms still you know, jiggle to this day from the first time he raised it in the air. Okay. 
So that was really my day off. Was anything old same thing. Yeah. Same North Scout. North Scout says the, the numbers in the background piss him off. 16-year-old girls do that. It's becoming more popular now, but at 40, at, unless somebody else is doing it for you, you know he bought those by himself. No. And by the way, idiots who are so materialistic will say, Phil, what are you getting for your birthday? <clears throat> Nothing. No, no physical items. No physical presents are needed. All right? I had a nice day with my wife yesterday. She baked me a delicious cake that I'm going to be eating for like a week or more. You know, I'm gonna have a nice day today with you guys, having a chill day with games. By the way, I'm super happy to be here all day today playing games with you guys. After that week I just had. You know, Rach, exactly. Uh, she says, yes, we're gonna cut the cake. We got candles for the cake. We're using candles to cut the cake. Good job. I feel like he he could tell, he was like, okay, so today on the stream, we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the controller. Here's what I have to go, do, you guys, correct? Okay? I have to pick up the controller. I then have to go to the console. I have to turn it on, okay? So that involves me getting up away from my desk. I, I work so hard. Getting up away from my desk, I have to turn on the console then i have to come in and i have to make sure right because you've got the trolls at comcast i've got to make sure the network connectivity is good because trolls are you know they unjustly and unfairly fuck with me so i have to make sure the internet connection is good once that i have to press the x button to launch well actually no let me take that back i have to make sure that my my selector right so if you don't know there's a selector on the screen and it, it tells you what you're on i have to take the left analog stick, not the right one, because there's two analog sticks, if you don't know. And I have I could keep this going for 45 minutes, straight up. Straight up, I could keep doing this for 45 fucking minutes. And that's, I swear, how he pads his podcast. Where I was spending three nights doing the tax stuff, and each night was over three hours of bullshit grinding with numbers and stuff. I was getting headaches and stuff. This is nice. This is a nice way. To basically chill and have a good time with games with you guys today, all right? That's all I need, man. I don't need nothing. I'm 40 years old. You think I fucking need Yeah, it's, you're right, Lacky Bracky. It's not a podcast. I, 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 I apologize. Toy? No, I don't care about that shit anymore. I don't. I just I just like having good times in my life, seriously. Wait, wait, wait. Let's back that up. What am I, seven? Do I still need to chill and have a good time with games with you guys today, all right? That's all I need, man. I don't need nothing. I'm 40 years old. You think I fucking need anything? A physical present? What am I, seven? Says the man with the 40 year old balloons behind him and the goal of reaching $350. Oh no, I sound exactly like him. Make it stop. <laughs> Do I still need the Wolverine toy? No. I don't care about that shit anymore. <laughs> Lacky Bracky, yes. Life, seriously. Speaking of which. I got the Wolverine toy. No. Podcast, reminiscing about being 40 years old now because, you know, my whole life, I was always told that being 40 is, is an actual huge milestone in your life. That when you're 40 years old, that's your middle life and you're supposed to look around you at everything you have and, you know, is this where you wanted to be? Yeah, I actually did that on my 40th. I, I live in a... I live in an enormous house. Now, I live in the Midwest, so my cost of living is low. I'm probably very average by anybody who lives on the coasts, right? Uh, I I live in a house about the same value as what Phil purchased his con not his condo, his, what, what you call it for, um, his, his uh, uh, townhouse, his townhouse for. Um, but it's enormous from where I, where I, where I sit. I have uh, two dogs. I got two cats. Actually, I have three dogs because my stepson is living with us right now, and he brought his uh, his his purebred German Shepherd Finn Rear here. Um, all I got was a fib and no tips, Michael A before E. Hey, I didn't get tips, but I've gotten a whole bunch of fucking super chats. And again, shout out to anybody who has. Again, I love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, talking heads during this fortieth. I did not. I did not play the talking heads. Um, but I've got. I've got everything I could want and then some. I've got a very stable career. I've got a very stable position. Got money in the bank. Got a good 401k. Got a woman who loves me for some fucking reason. I do not know why she loves me because I'm a piece of shit. Um, and stepdaughter who is great. Two dogs that are going absolutely batshit crazy protecting me from the mailman right now. And uh, if that's too much of a distraction, let me know and I'll go shut them up. But for right now, I really just don't give a shit. So they're just going to keep barking. Um, Phil. Phil gets to reminisce about um, his tax debt that he's in, the bankruptcy that he has, the fact that he probably can't open a credit card, can't refinance his house, uh, his mo wife, who's in the basement, and his cat Jap Jasper. Uh, yeah, Tevin is actually outside, guys, and there, and he's here. He's threatening to uh, to expose me for my WWE champions addiction. I I cannot wait to hear what he says here about how happy he is. Uh, yeah, that is the one thing he has. He has jerked off, and, and people have seen, millions have now seen him jerk off, uh, not live, but uh, they he, have seen him jerk off. So he's he's kind of, he kind of has the same build or the same accomplishments as an OnlyFans model. Is this where you pictured yourself at 40? Um, 
You know what I mean? And what, I'm going to give you a little bit of a perspective here. I think it would be interesting. Yes, but I do have a nine question, to five. This is where I thought I would be at 40. Let's... Well, first of all, let me pause before I let him answer that bullshit question. Do I have a nine to five job? Technically, yes, but also no. Uh, do I operate a household? Yes, I operate a household. My nine to five is anything, but I, I typically work anywhere between, obviously 40 is the minimum, but anywhere between 40 and 70 hours a week. And that's actual work, which includes travel. So travel is technically time on the clock because uh, it's time away from the fam. Um, but you know, if you take away the travel, I'm still working anywhere between 50 and 60 hours. So think about it. it's tough. Did I think that when I was turning 40 years old, I'd be sitting now, what do I mean by this? Over yeah. 500 people and climbing on the internet with two big helium balloons and whatever the fuck this thing is. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not dissing only fans. I'm not dissing only fans. I'm saying he has a notch in his belt that on other only fans content creators have that I don't have. I am in no way dissing only fans. Get your fucking money on, get the bag if you got a whole bunch of simps that are wanting to pony up money to see your titties, girl, get it. I'm happy for you. Don't let nobody tell you not to do that. Do you. You do you. Is next to me, about to play a variety of video games where I'm going to exercise Shibuya Tokyo with a bunch of demons, fight dragons and kill undead death lords, smash a bunch of monsters, creatures, and tarnish... I gotta hear the full context of this. We're backing up. Hold on. With two big helium... You know what I mean? And what, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a perspective here. Is this where you wanted to be? Here we go. You pictured yourself at 40. Um, you know what I mean? And what, I'm going to give you a little bit of a perspective here. I think it'll be an interesting take. But to, to answer the first question, is this where I thought I would be at 40? Let's think about this. Did I think that when I was turning 40 years old, I'd be sitting in front of a camera talking to over 500 people and climbing on the internet with two big helium balloons and whatever the fuck this thing is next to me about to play a variety of video games where I'm going to exercise Shibuya Tokyo with a bunch of demons, fight dragons and kill undead death lords, Smash a bunch of monsters, creatures, and tarnished while getting pounded into living paste all over fucking Langdale, capital city, and then sucking and blowing inside of a volcano for the... Uh, I'm sorry, sucking and wetting. But let's continue. The last few hours of the stream in Kirby. Did I ever think this would be my 40th birthday? Oh, dear God, don't do it. Don't fuck... God yes, damn it. That's exactly how I pictured it. I don't know how I figured it out, but I knew somehow that on my 40th birthday, this is exactly what I would be doing. If I ever fucking put one of these things up, if I put one of these goddamn, uh, 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 zoomy, blah, 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 on my fucking stream, uh, you have my permission to uh, unalive me. Not funny. Didn't laugh. <laughs> no, of course not. Who the fuck would ever say something like that? You know what I mean? Like, but this is my life. This is my life. It's crazy. It's fun, though. That's the thing. My life is crazy. Uh, sorry, I was trying to. combination that's successful, you know. Chaos, but it'll, but also it'll be fine. Fun, controlled chaos that to some extent, you know, it's, things work out and end up being entertaining and cool. I love being a variety streamer, all right? Again, if I were one of the guys, if all I did was play fighting games and all I was doing was playing Street Fighter today, I probably would be upset. If all I did was play FromSoft and I had to play Elden Ring all day today, I'd probably be upset. I get to do a fun variety of stuff. Hey, Flutter Dark, together, welcome. It's going to be so neat. I really absolutely love that. I do. I, yes, I we can talk about nothing for us. Yeah, he, he, he should have been a politician, Drax. In my life, live in front of a viewing audience of people all around the world is really neat. And no, I never, ever, ever predicted that. You know, him getting the 500 viewers, that is kind of nice. And unless Atlas bombs me, I'm always around the 50 to, to 90 mark, and I'm fine with that. I love the 50 and 90 of you that come in here. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to gift all of you enough, uh, 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 at least get you guys all at least one time through the gifted subs. So that way y'all have access at least for a month to the videos that I'm making for, for the members only. But yeah, 50 to 70? Okay, or 70 to 90? Okay. I have 69 right now. <laughs> That's the sex number. Nice. But he's got 500 viewers, peep, and most of them are people who are LARPing or who fucking hate him. I'm, no thank you. Yeah, like I said, the last few years of my life. Yeah, collecting styrofoam takeout boxes, Joe, exactly. I was on one course of my life that really was, in my opinion, gold. If I get 100 uh, 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 people to consecutively watch my stream, I will... Uh, I don't know. I, I'll have to... I'm trying to gauge it right now. I think the best I could do is fart. That's about... That's that's about as close to a celebratory bubble blow as I can do. See? Scat humor. I can do it too, greedy piggy. Going nowhere, and then kind of 2017 was the reset button where, boom, everything changed, right? The content I was putting out, the kind of person I was, my personal relationships, meeting the love of my life and everything, like, everything changed for the better. And since then, I feel like it's almost like my second life has started in 2017, and it's kind of been a wild ride since then. Um... I pushed the absolute living shit out of my fucking triceps yesterday. I could try, but I'm not turning a camera on. Oh my god, spin yeah, in my I'm chair. Very, I, I am very Next excited uh, for the future. All right? Now, I want to give you guys some perspective here about turning 40. All right? Oh, dear God. It's a story that I can tell you. Oh, it's story time with Phil. From when I was growing up, and I... 
attended my godmother's 40th birthday party. This this stands out for me in my mind. Now, give you a little bit of background. Hey, hey Lucky Bracky, Skittles are my fucking like bane of my existence. I love Skittles. I cannot have them in the house. I will I will down a whole fucking share size bag in five minutes. Godparents are basically my mom's cousin's family. My mom's cousin is my godfather. And so his family, you know, we always hung out with them. On I could give away like, empty like, game boxes. Oh, yes, Greyborn. Um, and by the way, they had way more money than us. They had a giant house with a huge yard. And they lived out in Connecticut in a nice area. And so every holiday we went out to their house. They ain't coming over ours. We went to their house to hang out <laughs> and have a good time. Um, and so this was a regular occurrence, whether it was birthdays, uh, Christmas in particular, we would always visit them. But sometimes it would be during the summer, like in the middle of the summer. Hey, Louis Garcia, go, go clean outside. Out Enjoy there. listening to I me rant. I remember the, how I got into WWE, which was WWF back in the day, is that my, my godfather used to watch the pay-per-views. He liked pro wrestling and used to buy the pay-per-views and play them when we went over to visit. And we would kind of watch with him. How the fuck does this have anything to do with him turning 40? And it got me into pro wrestling. It really did. That's how I got introduced. Isn't it funny? My uncle introduced me to video games and my godfather introduced me to pro wrestling. And both of those things became a part of my life for like the longest time and still are to this day. It's pretty interesting. Anyway. <clears throat> Huh, six million. That's an interesting number. So, that being said, um Yes, he sneaked this disparage, Nev. Was my godmother's fortieth anniversary birthday. All right. Forty fortieth anniversary birthday? Is that not redundant? Never mind. Anniversary birthday. Her fortieth birthday. Now normally we wouldn't actually go to their home for like the godparents' birthday. We would go over there because they had three daughters and they were all like my second cousin. Oh no. They went over there because they had three dollars and they're his second cousin. He hit on them. I'm calling it now. He hit on them and tried to hook up with them. So whenever they had a birthday, yeah, we would go to the house. It would be their birthday. You bring gifts. You have to play games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the parents. Yeah, they would want to play doctor. Why would we go there for the godparents' birthday? Usually it's not a big deal. But in particular, when it was my godmother's 40th, that's, again, supposed to be like a milestone in your life. You're over the hill and yeah, yeah. So I didn't even know that's why this was a special birthday party. I was like, hey, we're going over there. I guess we're going over there, right? Um. And I remember I was, I'm Louis Garcia. Exactly. He, uh, he's, he's 40. You're 39 in two months. Happy birthday in two months, by the way. Uh, I just turned 40. He sniffed the laundry basket. Mixed idiots. Yes, he probably did. Uh, I don't, I don't know how old I would put him at, at this picture. Like if you introduced this picture to me and said, Hey, how old is this guy? But yeah, it's over 40 for sure. Uh, he looks at least 45. Pretty sure. I'm trying to remember my exact age. But I'm pretty sure I was in my early to mid-teens. Oh, oh shit. Early to mid-teens. Three daughters. This is... This is going to be evidence in a future fucking lawsuit. Or a, a future criminal case. At the time. Um, so not quite, you know, an adult yet. But I was definitely at the age where I was into video games and playing Street Fighter and stuff like that. Um, and so I remember going over there. And I just remember, you know, the whole day everyone was teasing my godmother about getting older. Yeah, it's part of being 40. You get teased. It ha I tell you what, Phil, why don't you go ahead and uh, go ahead and contact ALT and mention about teasing people for being old and see how he feels and see if he tells you to shut the fuck up. And she was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, everyone's giving her a hard time, all the daughters and everything. Of course and they are. Time. That's love. Dinner, it was time for gift giving and cake and everything. And so finally. 42. He turns 42, Drax. Cards and stuff. And I just remember it stood out to me because I had never heard of the term over the hill before. In my life, I didn't even understand what that term meant. Of course not. Card, birthday card. Of course not. He's he's in his teens. He's never heard the term over the hill because, of course, he fucking hasn't. Valedictorian, people. It was over the hill, and it shows a person climbing up a hill, and basically they're there, and they open the card. The person tumbles over the hill. is now tumbling down the hill at rapid speed. It's supposed to be a joke card. You know, and again, the joke is when you hit 40 years old, you reach the top of the good things in your life. Sweet home Alabama, Nev the Red. No, 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 no. It's dueling banjos. Bada bing, ging, 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 ging. And basically, you're halfway done, or more than halfway done with your life. And now you're all downhill from there, right? You can't possibly be as good as your first half because now you're old. So here you go, you're tumbling down to the end, okay? Now, in a lot of ways. That is Phil's life through and through. I can understand this, this comparison. Because it's you. Here's why. When I was younger, time went by slow as shit. Oh my god, he's going to start sp talking about relativity and time. Yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, all of my people who are here that are about the same age as me... If you're younger than us, yes, time is going to seem like it's much, much slower when you're younger than it does when you're older. Surprise, spoiler, you know, you've been spoiled, hooray, you now know, now you don't have to make a stream about it when you turn 40. Really, I swear to God, when I was young, it felt like time was moving at a snail's pace. And why is that? Because when you're young, you don't have freedom. You no, you don't have context of time, you fucking idiot. It's not that you don't have freedom. It, it, it's that it, it, the first five years of your life is the entirety of your life, so... When you're five years old, you're like, oh my God, 10 is half of my life away. That's why it feels so long. You don't have money. You don't have transportation. You can't do whatever you want. You have all the time in the world because you're young. You don't have a job. You don't have responsibilities or obligations. Yeah, that's how he wants life to be. You have nothing to do with that time because you're a kid, right? So you sit around with your thumb up your butt. Roar. Scat man. 
you try to find creative ways to entertain yourself, play with your toys, and, you know, engagement here or there, all kinds of different things. But that's the thing. When you're young, you just don't have that freedom. When you're an adult, okay, now, well, I can do whatever I want with my time, right? My pro Except, no, you can't. Well, Phil thinks that. Phil thinks, oh, okay, now I can do whatever I want with my time. It... It took me, so I was a piece of shit from about the age of 18 to about the age of 23. It took me about five years, not two, four years. I was 22 when I started pulling my head out of my ass. Uh, so, so before I was like, wow, this is not, this is not what I want my life to be about. And I realized it's not, oh, I am free to do whatever I want. It's there is, I, I need to, to take care of this. You know, I need to do this. Hey, I am surprised nobody has brought it up yet, but uh, fuck it. I'm going to see how long it takes y'all to figure it out. Problem is... I can't because now I gotta work to make money. So now I have no freedom of my time there. Oh, <clears throat> now that money has to go to all these financial obligations and things that I have in life. Now I can't exactly. He's I stuck it. So it's kind of like when you're young, you have all the time in the world, but you don't have the resources. When you're an adult, you have more time. TSP sucks. Well, at least there's that. But now all that time's taken up by obligations. Oh, he blows them off. Of, yeah, so let me get this I straight. See. When you're a kid, you can't do what you want. Fuck it, Darwinning. You, yeah, you figured it out. Fuck you. I'm joking with you. It makes me laugh in his head because he's dropping wisdom on the little dense. Except for the fact that all his all his fucking viewing, viewing audience is his age or, or older. No, no, unless it's it's uh, 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 Derek or fucking the mentally handicapped, which still pisses me off to this day. Now, let's see who gets some memberships. I think that would be fun. Now. Before I do this, okay, if you wanted to gift memberships beforehand, uh, all right, you could, um, I'm joking. All right, let's see who gets them. Five memberships. Mick, I am, I'm, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you, Mick Sidious. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. Who gets them? Who gets them? Who gets them? Steven Long, Garrett Anderson, Mick Sidious, Drax, and I'm Space Lord Mother. Welcome to the Gym Rat Tractor Squad. 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I did 25 real and we're going to get to hear floor. all five did. of these fuckers. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. Six but Star Hogan for Mick City. Yes. Push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. Now, wait but, a minute. There, there was... Oh, I did fuck. I 25 real push-ups um, on my floor. I actually did. Hold on. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But, I, was afraid of a, but, but. I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But... I'm trying to think of who it was that said I'm sticking around because I want to get my 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 membership and I can't remember who it was because I don't think he got the membership and I feel bad. Uh, shit, who was it? Did they get the membership? Is my question. Because he was like, "Hey, I'm staying around. This is a great way to keep people on the fucking on the fucking stream." And I don't I don't think he got it. Fuck. Snort. Yes, snort. Congratulations, though, to all. Real put. Yeah, he did 25 real push ups as opposed to 25 fake push ups. Now, let's keep going. When you're an adult, you can't do what you want to do. What have we done with life, human life, exactly? That all the, all the entire time we exist, we don't do what we want to do. It doesn't make any sense. Like, well, how, do we, how do we create this as, as. Was it snort gaming? No. The dream of what Was we want it? to do doesn't make any sense, right? <clears throat> anyway, all that being said, um, by the way, thank you, guys. Tips are coming in. I really appreciate this. And yes, we will we'll all get shout outs and everything uh, at the end of the podcast, as usual. All right. So, at the I end remember of the podcast, specifically Jesus Christ. sitting there and seeing my second cousin. Should, that being said, yep. About being older now. She hit 40 years old, right? Oh. And I witnessed it, and they're playing it off like sarcastic, like it's a joke. Because it is. To be honest, I sat there and I was like, man, that's kind of mean. Like, oh my I God. Wanted, and I thought about this probably one of the first times. Like, He's, this is this is a preemptive strike of don't make fun of me because I'm old. Self -old, big self -old. By the way, make fun of me if I'm old if I'm old, I am old. You can make fun of me because I'm old. It's fine. Awareness in life because I was a younger teenager and I'm like, you know, I really wonder if she likes her life. Does she enjoy her family? Does she enjoy what she does? Sean Gonzalez. Sean Gonzalez. Philosophy style Phil talks about life while having no life experience. I brought this up in one of my videos. I want to go into it a little bit more depth here. What have you done with human life and who the fuck says that? Exactly. Um, I, I've got, I've got fucking war stories from my time in law enforcement. I've got war stories from a fucking divorced relationship. I've got, uh, I've got fucking, you know, I, I did competitions of, uh, in, in, uh, uh, fuck it. What do you call it? Powerlifting. I've done powerlifting competitions. Uh, I've done all this, this wonderful things that I can talk about and tell people about. And I, I love that fact. Um, 
I don't, I don't rightly know what the fuck Phil has done besides I played video games one time in 2004. I, I really, I really don't know. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually saying this shit. He's actually saying this shit. We're going to back it up uh, 20 seconds so I can get full context again. I stick like it's a joke, but I'm, I'll be honest. I sat there and I was like, man, that's kind of mean. Like, eh. I wonder, and I thought about this probably one of the first times, like self, big self-awareness in life. Self-awareness. Like, you know, I really wonder if she likes her life. Does she enjoy her family? Does she enjoy what she does here for her work and, and, you know, everything she does with her daughters? Is this what she envisioned in her life when she was getting older? Because obviously this is what her life took her. But this is like a moment of self-reflection, right? To look back on everything you've done in your life and say, wow, you know, look at me and here's what I'm doing. And, you know, is this, is it, you know, are you, ha are you truly happy, right? I think when you hit 40 is really when you need to sit down and actually take a look at your life and everything around you. And Don't give a shit. I want to give big tits can feed me and my pudding after my wife. Did. Yep, there you go. And say, are you truly happy with how everything's going? Oh, you picked that one up too, Darwinning. Darwinning says this is the sixth time he's mentioned the daughters. Yeah, he um, there's some unrepre there's some repression there. If you are great, right? But maybe some people aren't. I don't know. Um, and I wondered, I wondered, geez, is this a really a happy family here, or is it not? I don't know. Um, I you know, Dev like, is I the red. First time he had a moment of self realization was as a teen. Like that explains a lot. Yeah. Hit forty. I wonder what my life will be like. Now, when I was a teenager, do you think that I said, "Oh, here we go"? When I'm forty, I'll be in front of a camera being broadcast across the internet, which wasn't even prominent oh, at the time. Oh, oh, and I'll be oh, oh. Life will be like. Now, when I was a teenager, do you think that I said, "Oh, here we go"? When I'm forty, I'll be in front of. A there we go. Leave that right there. Oh, did I? I did I lose it? I lost it. Timer, auto viewer. Blah 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 blah. That's fine. But like, let's look at them arms, baby. Let's look at them arms. They're actually the size of the sleeve. That means he's wearing an extra schmedium. Um, I, there is absolutely no depth to his bicep whatsoever. There's nothing. I got to turn on the fucking capture cursor. God damn it. Uh, live vid yet. Properties. Capture cursor. Okay. Uh, here we go. We can see now. No. Yes. Now we can see. There is nothing right in here. That is what I am looking for. You can see the indent of the elbow, but there is nothing right here. There is nothing right here. There is no muscle. That is just skin and fat. And it's just fucking terrible. Um, Pokes and Bengal. The first free um, lifting with the bro actually shows my, my pre-workout. I don't have it next to me. Otherwise, I would tell you right off the top of my head, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's this is just... This is... This is Oh, and we got the uh, the double chin under the gout tee, which, yeah, fun times. A camera being broadcast across the internet, which wasn't even prominent at the time. And I'll be talking to hundreds of people, and we'll have a conversation, and I'll be having fucking games and shit. No, I don't know what was going to happen, you know. Again, I was never one of those people who tried to plan out a plot for my life. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people do that. Well, here's my life. What I want to do is, by, by the time I'm 23, I want to have a career. Oh, my and God. I want to have a family by 25. I'd love to have one, one daughter and one son. Why is he making fun of people who have a plan in their life? Like, why? What, what, what's so bad about having to plan? And I'd like to do this, oh my god. Like, we want to talk about crooked crazy, that, to me that's nuts. Because life doesn't work like that, at least it never has for me. For me, life is always a series of ups and downs, and you never know when the ups are coming or when the downs are coming. That's because you don't plan, you fucking piece Oh my god. All you have to do is understand that life is going to fuck you up. Uh, Ten-year plans are cringe. I... Uh, I know you're being sarcastic, Lackey Rack. Ten-year plans are cringe. If I tried it and failed, you're crazy if you plan ahead. I can't do a ten-year plan. I, I just can't um, because I don't know where I'm going to be career-wise uh, because I do have... Oh, oh, hello. Red GJ just subscribed. Welcome and good Lord, that's loud. I'll see if I can't drop that volume just a touch. Welcome, Red GJ. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I... Ten-year plans, I can't do a ten-year plan. Five-year plan, I don't even have that. I have five-year idea. I have an idea where I would like to be in five years. But right now, my plan is save like a motherfucker. That's that's my plan. Save. And the rainy day fund, Flutter Dark. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, that, that's like just money you spend when it's raining. Because you can't do things outside. I mean, the best way to approach it is ride the ups and enjoy them. And do your best to stay sane during the downs. Because eventually the downs will turn around and you'll get some more ups again. Or you could try to prevent the downs by planning. But that's just what's kind of happened in my life. And, you know, just the whole YouTube thing and content creation thing has just exacerbated all of that to the point where it's gotten ridiculous, you know. Um, Be in India the next week in Kansas. Yeah. But essentially looking at that, how could I have ever planned anything? I didn't know what was going to happen with my life. How could you? 
he's gonna turn in. The, the, the he's gonna he's gonna activate my fucking rage from. mode. I working can tell. At Circuit City, an electronics store, working at a bank for a year to find out that the bank was actually a predatory lender and everything there was corrupt and fucked up, and I had to leave. A predatory lender? What bank isn't a predatory lender? They, they you, what? What? He found out the bank was a predatory lender and had to leave. What? I... <sighs> Moving on. Then I ended up working at Best Buy for a year just to find out that Best Buy was also fucked up and corrupt and they basically... Phil, if every place you go is corrupt after you show up, that, that might be a you-don't-understand-life problem, not a they're-corrupt problem. Yes, that is how he described a rainy day fund. He thought a rainy day fund was, uh, that's money you put aside to spend on a rainy day because you can't do anything outside. Oh, I, I get that that's what he meant, that he targets low-income people with high loans, blah, 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 blah. I, I get that. But they're a bank. They're, they're going to advertise for their services. They're going to do this, they're going to do that. And if they have... If they have bad loan practices, they'll end up either getting shut down or people will stop using them or whatever. But it's not, he didn't, I guarantee you, he did not have a moral conundrum of, oh, they're doing predatory things. I must go. He completely destroyed the entire idea of a business team that I was working for within a year and I left there. Then I yes, the vet is great. I stayed out for four and a half years. Oh boy, we're back to the helicopter company. Pause game on point. Just to find out that they mistreat their employees and they overused me, underpaid me and laid me off when they didn't fucking need me anymore. You know what I mean? Like it's a pattern of... <clears throat> It's a pattern of what, Phil? That you're a victim? Are you constantly a victim? Do you have a victim complex? Do you think you're the main character? Is everybody supposed to suck your dick, pat your ass, and tell you you're a good boy? Is that what the fucking trend is? Because that's what it's sounding like. It's not like anything I could have ever planned out and said, this is how what I can do with my life in four or five years. I've never had that opportunity. Yeah, because you don't plan for the... You don't... You think everything's supposed to go well. You need to assume everything is going to go fucked up. And you need to plan based on that. I've never had that... Privilege. I guess I would say that's a privilege. Oh, eat my ass. So stable and so dependable and doesn't fluctuate and everything works out for you. That's actually like a privilege from what I've seen. I fucking I don't hate think this, man. That in real life, but some people just think they do, especially those who are, I hate to say it, filthy rich. Those who are born into money, they live in that life. Oh, eat my fuck. I busted my ass for this. I fucking busted my ass for what I have. It's style of, oh, look what I got to do. I got to plan everything out and it's so nice. Like, who, else, who the hell else gets to do that exactly? I do. I sacrificed years to be able to be where I am. Right? None of my friends ever got to do that, plan out an entire fucking life. You know, we didn't live in that privileged lifestyle. And that's kind of the same for me. Like, I never knew what was going to happen with my life. If, it, if YouTube hadn't happened, if I hadn't started to become a YouTuber... You would be in a fucking Denny sucking dick for crack. Back when I did. I have no idea what I'd be doing with my life right now. Zero idea. I couldn't even tell you how things would have went. You know, who would have known, right? So, it's just crazy, like... Well, Michael, A before E, she asked what the fuck you were listening to because I'm going absolutely batshit crazier because Phil is an absolute piece of shit. That people have these thoughts about life and how it should be. By the time you're 40, you should have this and you should have this and that. All right? So I, I... Feral Gaming. Jesus Christ. Kobe Bryant had an old school Call of Duty map dedicated to him called Crash. Holy shit. Still to this day now. I'm 40 years old today. And I think back to the 40th birthday party of my great aunt. Or I called her my great aunt. She was, or not my great aunt. Or my godmother. Excuse me. I called her my aunt. But she wasn't. She was my godmother. It was weird. My family, we didn't like to say godfather, god, godmother. We said uncle and aunt for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, um, you know, it's to me, it's just like such a weird thing. Denny's is too high class her, for him. We're looking at her life and reminiscing and saying, so she had three daughters, right? Seventh time he's brought up the daughters. The job that she was working, the job that her husband, you know, my godfather was working. And they had a nice, by the way, nice house. Fucking really nice house that they lived in. Carfentanol. Anyone would be like, oh, they didn't do good there. They lived in a really nice place. Better than here, by the way. Better than the place that I live in today. Their house was fucking humongous. Giant yard. They had a pool. You know, that good stuff. You know, they did well for themselves. They should be proud of what they built uh, there with their careers and their family because not everyone gets to provide like that. Yeah, they do. They bust their ass and they get what they need and they get what they want and then they save like a motherfucker or they prepare. I, again, I've always, I've, I've said this, I don't I probably said it on every podcast. How's your 401k, Phil? For a family. And they did. They get to provide a really nice house and atmosphere and place for their family to grow up. You don't because you're a piece of shit. But, uh, but yeah, like I look back at that and I wonder how happy she was. I don't know. You know, it's, it's funny because you see the, the kids were razzing her all day. Like, Super oh, diarrhea. You're gonna be, you're gonna, you're yeah, gonna not a sad, podcast. You're going to you're going to do this. And they, all, they, they razzed her all day long about it. Of course it. they did. I wonder if it actually hurt her. You know, like, they, I mean, yeah, she's just brushing it off sarcastically. But how No, it didn't hurt her, Phil, because by the time you're 40, you're not supposed to have the fucking skin of fucking tracing paper. Okay? You're supposed to be more, you, more mature than that. You're actually supposed to be grown up. Okay? 
You're supposed to be like, oh, okay. Th- that is done in love, right? Darwinning says, fun fact that might be relevant with a cockroach touches a human, they will wash themselves. Similar to how we do after touching a pug, it might be relevant to the guy. How much of that did actually got to her? Maybe a lot of it did. Who knows? You know, you don't know. But anyway, um... I, Nev is the red. I, he says, whenever he goes off on this, I under, honestly wonder what his parents are like. Uh, based on the very flimsy pieces of information I have, I think I think his dad's actually look like, like a stand-up guy. Like, he's he's well-disciplined, and that Phil is just the absolute disappointment of disappointments. I take, I take a look at that, okay? And I kind of compare that now to, to, you know, to my life as I look at it. And I look and I'm like, well, my life is insanely different. And what, what my godparents were, were doing. Back he does back look back. like <laughs> off milk, Mick. Um, and I, look, I try to do like a comparison. Like, well, let me look at my life now, okay? I live in a nice place. I love where I live. If I could help it, I would like to never move. I'm serious about that, too. Like, I think this place is perfect. All right? Are there shortcomings? Of course there are. There's some things I like to improve and, and fix in the house or upgrade in the house. My backyard I really don't like. I would like to change my backyard and upgrade that for the better, okay? Upgrade the backyard. What does that even mean, Phil? You want to fucking add some dirt? You want to plant some grass? You want to make a garden? What does that even mean? Okay. Um, there's things here that I would like to change and improve, but I love this house. I love the neighborhood. I love the fact that anything that I need is within. I got, I got 10 bucks. that says all his fucking neighbors and the HOA hate him. A, a quick drive. I don't ever have, since I've moved here in 2014, I've never driven on the highway. I don't have to. There's no reason to. Yes, there is. It's called getting out, seeing the world and going and doing shit. Like there is, I, oh my God. Go talk to a shrink. Tell them you've never been on the highway. See how normal that seems to them. Everything is within reach. I can even drive to Seattle right now within 45 minutes and not have to drive on a highway. Highway driving has been eliminated from my life. I don't have to deal with that bullshit, that stressful nonsense anymore. Pretty cool. Um, you know, Stressful nonsense. The weather, weather here is much better than where I came from. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. There's problems with the weather and stuff. But man, I just have a lot of fun uh, with moderate weather and being able to enjoy what I... What I really? How do you have fun? What do you go do? Because you're not on the highway, so is literally everything on fucking surface streets... Is that what I I fucking hate life. I hate him. I hate him so goddamn much. I want to do my life and have to worry about, oh my God, today there's going to be a ginormous snowstorm that snows me in, or oh my God, we're going to have fucking giant hurricanes and shit. It just doesn't happen out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, you get yeah, wild I, fires. I look at my life now and I'm like, wow, my family. I have a loving wife, my love of my life. You know, we've, we've been together for a few, quite a few years now. We're, we've been married for a couple of years. Well, a few years. A few years. Jeez, time flies. Jesus Christ, I feel like we just got married in three years. Man, see what I mean about oh, getting old? Been married three years. Has two ties. Older time just goes by like this. Boop. Holy shit! But anyway, I, I seriously don't know how I could be happier besides getting more time to spend with my family. That's about it. Because the time I get to spend with my family, I really enjoy. Stop spending money on Hogan's. Uh, I wish we had more time because there's things we like to do. Like we keep saying we like to go to the zoo. We move, eventually, when Seattle finally stops being a fucking hotbed for crime, and they amp up their game to make it a nice touristy place again, which I feel will happen. It's gonna come eventually. They've fallen apart in the last two years, but I really feel that they will get back on their feet eventually. Okay. But anyway, once that happens, we'd like to go back there. All right. And eventually, we'd like to do other things together. Yeah, we'd like to spend just a day around the house and not have to worry about running out and running errands and grocery shopping and busy work and bullshit. We just have some time together, which we don't get. Well, imagine Phil if you weren't uh, so weak that. You know, the crime shouldn't matter because you could actually give a persona or, or a, an aura of I can handle myself, right? If you could give an aura out of um, I can go into Seattle, we can go to the zoo or we can go do this or we can go do that because I am not, I'm not a pushover. You couldn't rob me, not easily. But I'm sorry, your tubby fat ass just gives off the vibe of I'm going to get a free phone today. We don't. I, one day off a week, that's not enough time to do that stuff, okay? But all of that, essentially, okay, um, to me, I love my life. I'm absolutely loving my life. And I, I say that I can tell... Any man who must say I am the king is no true king. Say this to all of you, all of you out there, the 500 plus people watching live, the people who will be watching this on demand after, even those people who want to make fun of me constantly, I have something I really want to tell you. And I mean this. Every day of my life is the best day of my life. It is. Because I've been through a lot of shit in my past. I'm sorry. I'm pressing X to doubt but, here. Uh, not going anywhere. The big old X to doubt on this one. Fuck you, Phil. You know, I've been through bouts of depression. I've been through messed up things in my life. At times when I, I felt like I was in a dead end. Multiple times in my life I felt like I was in a dead end. I wasn't going anywhere. And it was you are in a dead end. You. Oh my God. Dude, I hope, I hope for the, for my own sake that you, 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 you don't lay out any bombs of laughter on me because I don't know how to pronounce 1791071999999. So I'm just going to call you 17. Actually, I'm just going to call you Android 17. That's 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 who you are now. There's no way out. Um, I am loved. Welcome, by the I way, 17. Happy. For the most part, I'm safe. And the reason I say that is because no one's really safe. At any moment, things can flip on their head and all your safety smashed, smashed and destroyed. But it's- I disagree. I think I'm very safe in my house. Please come kick my door down to find out. As safe as I could possibly be, you know, in real life. Um, 
Are there things that could be better? Yes. But every day I wake up, I'm like, wow, I woke up today genuinely excited for the day. I was like, I can't wait. I get to go on stream. I get to chill with all my viewers. I get to have a birthday cake, great food, great games, right? Later tonight, I get to spend time with my wife. This is great. This is a great day for me. I can't wait, you know? And I'll be honest with you, in the past, it wasn't like that. There were many times in my past. Lucky bracky, dark, but I understand where you're going with that. Oh, fuck. Did I just. It was like, oh, well, it's another day. It's not like okay, that. Okay, good. I didn't I skip it forward. It, man. And that's, if I'm 40 years old, and I'm supposed to be over the hill, I'm supposed to be having a midlife crisis, I'm supposed to be feeling so bad about everything, oh my god, I really pigeonholed myself into a, a dead end now, and I can't. Yeah, you did, you are pigeonholed into a dead end. I can't get out, now. things, obligations that I hate, and all, everything is back, no, it's not the case. All I need to do is stick in there, and I feel it over the next few years, alright? Things like this, my business, it will improve. Few years. Few is, what, it's greater than two, but under three, so, well, well it's greater than two, so, but three or four. So he's halfway through. Uh, does anybody thinking that he's getting out of this anytime soon? Proof. Here on DSP Gaming on YouTube, we can make this grow. We can make this get better. We can make this increase in size. It has seen that growth in the last few months. And if we can consistently get that to continue to happen, well, I think that we could do really well here. And it could to the point where it could exceed what I was doing on Twitch. Serious. So Flutterdark says, he's saying that like having a midlife crisis is a fucking requirement. He's not going to have a midlife crisis. By the way, pause game on point again. He's not going to have a midlife crisis because the midlife crisis is looking back and... And being like, I, I want, um, I want to go back and remember my younger years with fondness, right? That's why the guys buy the Ferrari or the fucking Lamborghini or the whatever. And Ryan Camaro, you fucking son of a bitch. I love you. Thank you so much. With the $2. Thank you so much. You are a fucking gentleman and a scholar. Actually, I don't know. You could be a depraved idiot, you know, depraved asshole, but, uh, for the $2, you are a gentleman and a scholar and I love you. Thank you. But he doesn't want to go back and relive his life. He doesn't want to go back and relive high school. He doesn't want to go back and relive the fucking Street Fighter days. Because as much as he says he loved playing Street Fighter, as much as he says he loved the fucking, you know, camaraderie and all that jazz, the FGC hated him because of who he is and his personality, right? He's, what's what's the arrest? Yeah, Mixidious, hit it. Arrested development. The man, I feel like I'm 10 years behind his my peers. He's got to be 25 years behind his peers. So he's 40 in this case, right? This is how, yeah, this is how uh, uh, 25 years. <laughs> yeah. I need oh. that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. He, every, every bit of it. He, he, he probably has the mind of a 15 to 20 year old right now. He probably has the mind of a 15 to 20 year old. And it, that's just, that's terrible. Mick, I, I kind of, I guess if you could call it a midlife crisis, it, it, it was just, there, it was for sale on Facebook message or on Facebook marketplace. It was in the winter and he was like, I'm getting ready to bump the price up a thousand dollars because it's getting ready to be the summer month. So I have a, I have a 2014, uh, iron 886 Harley Davidson that I bought like three or four years ago. So yeah, no, Phil is done. He won't even be a good lol cow by the time he hits 50. Like I, I'm, I'm rooting for divorce arc and aneurysms. That's, that's me, but, you know, I'm a terrible person, so. And it sucks because, basically, I really was hoping, all right, that we could do something, for example, um, have $200,000 money. Sorry. Really I really do. I need God damn it. My birthday. I didn't I mean to press test. The electric bill, subs, the, the internet bill, bill. Into a celebration bro side Phil donated $9. Sorry, 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 This is sorry. a test super chat alert for $9. I'm t changing the super chat uh, emblem. And I meant to press save and I pressed test. So please forgive me. Disaster stream. Let's keep going. It didn't happen. But that's okay. There was still tons of growth. Still more growth than I've seen on this channel in five plus years. Things are going good in that regard. You know what I mean? Um, Just got to stick it out. I feel like if I stay the course, I don't give up. I stay positive. I do whatever I can to hang in there and keep putting out the content I love to make. And you guys keep supporting it. And we have great times together. And you and guys keep supporting it. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Still more growth than I've seen on this channel in five plus years. Here we Things go. are going good in that regard. You know what I mean? Um, just got to stick it out. I feel like I've got to stick it out. Like if I stay the course, I don't get stay the course. Up, I stay positive. He stays positive. I do whatever I can to hang in there. He does what he can. He puts out the content of the mate and you guys keep supporting it and you guys keep supporting it. That shouldn't be a fucking necessity like that. You put out the content, you learn the trends, you be you, you be your personality, you do things. Maybe you change things up, whatever the support's supposed to be implied or it's supposed to be a bonus or it's supposed to, it's, <sighs> we have great times together every day on stream and I continue to have a good time with my family behind the scenes. Things are going to go good. Things are eventually going to get to a point where maybe I can have some more time to spend with my family. Fucking maybe this maybe guy. do some of those improvements to the house that I like to do. Fix some of the things that are broken. Change the backyard up a bit that I really don't like. You know what I mean? But I got to get there. I just got to tough it out a little bit. That's okay. I'm having a good time while I'm doing it. Again, when I say tough it out, all I mean is be patient. Patience is, is a tough thing, especially in life when you feel like a lot of your life you've been waiting 
for that. All um, life crisis. Iron Cast. Right? Iron Cast says his dad is a guitarist. Based on him, he's pretty sure buying guitars is an all life crisis. Yeah, I can see that. I I can see. It. Now, what do I mean by this, Lacky Bracky? I'm not looking for a payoff. I'm just looking to have slight improvements here and there. That's all I need. Because I'm having a great life. Really, I'm having a really great life, and I I, I I'm happy for that. I want to say thank you, obviously, to my family. Who make my family? I want to say thank you to my family. That's cat. What does Jasper do besides fucking puke, shit, need blood work, which you don't want to pay for? And that possible behind the scenes. But I want to say thank you to all of you, obviously, who are here live or watching on demand for making this happen as well. This, the fact that I'm 40 and happy is definitely has to do with the choices I made in my life, but also has a lot to do with you guys being here and supporting the streams. And, and not only do I mean financially, because every time I say support, idiots want to say, it's just money, 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 money. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Money is a big part of it. No, it's the only part of it. Not going to lie. I mean, everyone in life, you need money to get, to get by. Particularly, my finances have not been great. You guys know how messed up my life has been in the last 10 years with things, the bad choices that I made, the bankruptcy, the back taxes, all the bullshit. None of which you have learned from. At all. You know all about that, okay? But it's not just about that, right? It's about having a good time, having people who genuinely come here and tell me, Phil, I love what you do. We have a great time together. Nobody tells you that. Joshua is correct. Phil is a 42-year-old man, baby. There's meaning for me. I love interacting with you, the fun conversations we have, the things that are added to the quality of the content that I put out because of the interactions <laughs> that we have. The engagement. The last few months, you guys liking the stream, liking the videos, leaving comments. Those simple things that are free. Those things are meaningful as hell. Those things that are free. Please push me up the algorithm so I can make more money, guys. I fucking hate my life. I mean, just be honest, my dude. Just, just be honest. You fucking hate your life. That's okay. There are days I hate my life. There are days things are fucking terrible. So it'd be so meaningful, okay? And I want to say thanks for that. As much as you know, you'll always have the element of people out there who are jealous and upset. Jealous? You're doing well. Oh my God. Can you imagine, and can you imagine him labeling somebody like okay phil you get you get to label five people who are the five people that are absolutely jealous of you right and him labeling somebody like well he'll, he'll label rich at review tech usa that one's easy um uh he picks ltg ltg he ain't jealous of him he picks fucking one of the guys from from that being said those guys are fucking happy as shit they don't want to be phil and by the way that smug look is just fucking pause game on point yet again uh, who the fuck would be jealous of this guy? He's not free. He's bound to his house. He refuses to leave. He refuses to do anything that he thinks is going to get him out of this fucking house. Right? I'd be happier being a bum than being Phil. Like, <sighs> I don't think I'll ever shake that. Because if you haven't noticed, right? When If someone on the internet is down the dumps. Oh my God, I'm completely defeated. Everything's gone wrong for me. You get this, this group of people who revel. Oh yeah, I love it. I wallow in the misery of this person who I don't know. No, 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 no. You're missing a key component there. You're missing a key component. People don't revel in the fact that people fuck up. People revel in the fact when somebody gets their fucking comeuppance. They revel when sh when they get their schadenfreude. Uh, schadenfreude? Schadenfreude? Take a pick. Tickled. When it's, when it's like, oh, yes, finally. Finally, they're getting what, what's coming. The bill has come due. They are going to have to pay the price for their shitty fucking behavior. That is what people revel in, Phil. And you are shitty peep. You are a shitty person through and through. You're just a shitty person. And because of that, people revel in the fact that you get trolled. They revel in the fact that... You fucking uh, don't have money because you blow it on WWE champions. When somebody actually is able to fucking prove beyond a doubt, they get your phone somehow and show that you are down from the rafters, that will be the greatest day. Not because, you know, we, we like to see you fail. We like to see you fuck up, which don't get me wrong. I love to see him fail and fuck up. But finally, you will have to admit what you've been lying about. That's what people want, Phil. That's what they want have no personal attachment to, maybe I should seek fucking professional help, right? Right. But when you see someone like me, I'm like, hey, I'm having, I'm 40 and I'm happy. You're going to get the shitheads who have to come out. Exactly. Darwin. Don't pay any heed to those fucking people. They will be here all day on stream because they're so miserable. They can't do anything else. They can't find something better to do with their time because they're so stuck in their own wallow in misery. Don't let those people bring you down. Don't let them try to, to, to make you not feel good. Fuck them. Really. They need to fucking fuck off. And you're, it's just the internet's an open place. Where anyone can go anywhere they want. It's, it's just not possible. But I'm going to have a great time today. I know we are. I know we're going to have an absolute, positively great time on stream today. I'm not going to let these morons drag anything we do down today. Seriously, it's going to be a good day. A solid, positive, fun, chill day. Oh, it's a chill day. That means something's going off the rails. We, we, we talked about this on one of the live streams that I had reacted to. He was on a black bag shirt. And he was like, I just want to have a relaxing day. And went full toxic. 
you know. Uh, Nathan Coley says, at this point, I just want him to play WWE champions on stream. He'd make money. He'd make money if he finally owned up to it. Hypnotoad. Yo, all hail the Hypnotoad. <laughs> it's... I, I feel like I need uh, 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 animations for some of my constant people that show up. I just have Hypnotoad come on. Uh, the, the the future on the stream and the winner of the contest, the hypno toad. Everybody starts clapping in unison. That'd be great, but I don't understand why he never did. I don't understand why he never did. Like there are mobile content creators. Yeah, yeah, he could fucking be sponsored by WWE champions. He'd probably get a whole bunch of freebies. Of gaming, of food, of everything. Okay. Very nice. Mm. All right. And by the way, I will say this in advance. Thank you to my moderation staff. Oh, dear God. Really, I mean it. You guys have gone above and beyond in the last year since I went from Twitch back to YouTube full-time. Moderating on YouTube is no easy task at all in any way, shape, or form. Moderating on YouTube is very annoying. You don't have a lot of the tools and things that you... Hey, do you know how many moderators I have on my chat? Now, granted, I don't have 500 people in here. I have, uh, what, 70-ish? Yeah, 60, 67, whatever. I don't have any. Um, namely because I don't see anybody being a piece of shit. But whatever. You should have, and YouTube still has not implemented them. Although they promised them over six months ago, they haven't done anything. Okay. So thank you to the mod staff who's here. Uh, Michael, hold on real quick. Michael, I am really sorry about the DSP volume. This is jacked to the max. I I cannot turn it up any higher, unfortunately. Um, I am sorry. All right. They volunteer their own time to help out, and they are going to have a tremendous amount of work today with the trolls. Who are, you know we're going to try to come in here and derail this stream and be dickheads. But they're they're awesome. Yep. They're awesome people. We're going to be dickheads. They understand how much they help. This content only exists because I make it. You guys interact with it and support it, and the mods clean it up. And that's an awesome. Hey, thing. Okay. the FBI showed up. Welcome. Okay. All right. Forty-two Please, today. Yep. That's the pre-stream podcast. It's time for shoutouts. That's all I have to do. Today. Those are my segments. Well, let right? me tell you something, so we'll do brother. And then we're going to order food, and then we're going to get started. Okay. Let's do shoutouts first. Oh boy, shoutouts. And by the way, thank you to anyone who becomes a member today. As you know, we have a members goal of four hundred members. We're trying to hit it. <sighs> this was back in the day. I'm willing to bet that the members goal did nothing. Let's let's hear. I think we can hit it by the end of the month. I really feel positive about this. And the reward is so different and unprecedented. Oh, it is me reward. reacting to a video about me and my life from five years ago, a video with over six million views on YouTube. It went virally popular. It's the video that most people have seen about me and think is factually true about me. So this is back in the day when he actually was less of a piece of shit than he is now. So the member's goal being 400 members, there was a reward for that. Now, again, I joke around about how, you know, hey, if you wanted to gift a membership, that'd be awesome. But again, be, do not have any disillusions. I have nothing to offer, okay? That's why I don't harp on it that's why i don't and again i don't need it i was saying earlier in the stream uh, a north scout hooked me up with like 20 bucks across two donations and i said if he sent me an email days later and was like hey i really need that money back not a problem man it's yours here you go uh, now now he doesn't even have the goal it's just or well he's taking the goal down because of the argentinian shit but back before that it was just the mountain grew that's all Wait, are you that guy who turned 40 or are you watching somebody? I am the guy who turned 40. And I'm also watching a video of somebody who turned 40. I'm not Phil. I'm Broside Phil. This is Darkside Phil. Um, but yeah, he, he would go for, oh, we, got, we I want to get from 620 to 630 members. You get to 630 members. Oh my gosh, we made the goal. Now I want 640. It's like, that's not a goal. That's just, that's documentation. It, it's just it's a status check and to be honest a lot of it is i love to react to that video and either elaborate correct or do fun commentary yes make cities that is right give me money you get no benefits fuck off over it and i will do that if we hit our members goal for the month <laughs> fall down the rabbit hole dark side field by the way i will do that if we hit the members goal for the month that's big incentive to become a member so please consider becoming a member if you're not all right shout outs time <clears throat> we start off with cj extreme 98 who did a super chat and says happy birthday phil i've been watching you for over 10 years on and off you're the first youtuber that i watched back in the day with w hey w navy vet for life stuff. what up brother it is thank you very much Kazuya Kuzumaki did a super chat. Happy B-Day. Do you want a birthday hug or a moo? No, thank you. Kevin Bernstein is here today. <clears throat> Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Excuse me. <clears throat> he has a super chat and he says, Happy V-Day. Today's not Valentine's Day, but happy V-Day, Phil. Wishing you 40 more so I can enjoy streams for as long as you're around. May God bless you with more years and years of streaming. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And as I said, listen, I'm a realist. I don't think that I could do this forever, nor do I feel that I'll even be a full-time gamer forever. I cannot wait till he transitions out of gamings. Out of gaming. That's why I'm trying to transition out and do things like this pre stream. Blacky Bracky, the streak. Back when this. This was back when his goal mattered, isn't right, but it was more normal. Yeah. It was. It, there was actually incentive for it. 
right? My incentives that I that I give my members is uh, like my high tier members are my workout videos. Mid tier members they get the they get the video early, and then the hey here's a dollar you get a you get a you get a fucking have, go get a thing of coffee you get the icons you know. So I I don't have members goals. It's if you like those things become a member. If you don't, that's fine too. Enjoy, stay, watch. I love having you all here. It's fun podcast and other kinds of content so in the long term i can diversify my content and split it between gaming and other things as i get older aliander thank you so much aliander rainbow says happy birthday bsp phil you don't get a happy birthday uh we've had a, a number growth since i first mentioned it again this is today is not my birthday thank christ i do not share a birthday with this asshole um mine was back in march at some point uh but uh yeah big hey feral gaming big ups like be like big lifts hell yeah who doesn't like big lifts? If I can't game anymore, I'll have other things going on for me. All right? We've already started that diversification. DSB politics will get him shot, okay. and Sir nothing Sir of value Sir will be Sir lost, Sir says Nathan Coley. Thank you very much to Sir Saad. Europe Gaming has become a member for eight months in a row. Says happy birthday, seven months, let's go, all the best. Actually, technically, you're starting your eighth month, so it counts as eight. Thank you, Europe Gaming. Inmate Elvis became a channel member this morning. Thank you, Inmate Elvis. Try not to get banned this time. V did a super chat this morning. Thank you, V. Nathan Smith is here. He's re-upped his membership for eight months. Says happy birthday, I hope you have a great birthday. Thank you very much, Nathan. Okay, did a super chat. He says, dude. And, and remind me, he doesn't have, like, the pop-ups that mine have been fucking up on. Uh, he doesn't have those because uh, he can't use stream elements or he can't use stream labs because he got banned from those. Is that right? This is crazy. I still remember the walkthrough of Indigo Prophecy, and I feel like that was just yesterday. You know that Indigo Prophecy playthrough? Even though it did get, like, kind of, I, how can I say? It got, yes, like, politics, yeah. A cult following, but it never, it never got really the full viewership that I had gotten. In my big oh, you know, but... uh, Lucky Bracky says he got rid of the automatic pop-ups because trolls abused him, and yeah, I would have too. That happened, because... Stephen Long, thanks for heading, uh, thanks for stopping by. Good night, Derek. Have a good one. That was a playthrough that I had pre-recorded. Which I did, everything was pre-recorded back in the day. But I had pre-uploaded it to YouTube and scheduled it out to publish at a certain date. But back then, this is so long ago, that didn't work right on YouTube. When things published, they would show up on your oh, channel. Oh, Tony Cloud, yeah, he is totally an asshole. So, like, uh, Tony Tony says, uh, Tony Cloud says, I've tried to ask DSP questions, he would never answer, he's a huge asshole. Um, Atlas the Bookkeeper uh, said he burned, one, he burned his main account, he went in and he asked a very normal question and was immediately banned. So, you're not alone. The, the playthrough went live. It was supposed to be a special Halloween playthrough. It went live, and no one knew it went live. So oh, I no Profit of Ovon. Just subscribe. Thank you, Thank you so really much. And then people started watching it over time. And I tried to drop that volume. It apparently did not work. Because I worked hard on that playthrough. I actually pre-recorded it and rescheduled it, and I promoted it. I did a promo video for it and everything. And when people told me they couldn't find it, I was like, that pisses me off. But it is what it is. It's long, it's long history, right? Thank you, OK, for the ongoing viewership and support. Fat Samurai. I become a Samurai. channel member. Thank you to Fat Samurai for the channel membership. Carlos Hernandez became a channel member. Thank you, Carlos. Lord Shio Garaki did a super chat. So happy birthday, Philip Paul Burnell. What game is first? Ghostwire Tokyo. We're completing Ghostwire first. Okay. So before we switch oh over to tips, which looks like it's a significant amount this morning, and I really appreciate that, guys. What I would like to do oh, we got a significant temp, ladies and gentlemen. Nor Scout, you're going to be put to shame. Do is check on members because I think we already just saw a spike in memberships this morning, which would be tremendous. If, if today is the day when we get major progress with memberships and we can get a real foothold towards the goal of 400, that would be great. I, by the end of today, I would love to be so much closer, and that way we can, we can say, yeah, oh right my there, God. we can do it, right? So, members, which, by the way, it's all glitched out. We're Okay, yeah, we went up. We're at 361 and climbing, which is great. I think a lot of these were re-memberships. But yeah, we're at 361 and climbing. So let's get that, that leaderboard updated. I absolutely will be periodically checking on this today. How are you and climbing? Like, it's not like it's not like somebody is halfway becoming a member. Like there's some like fucking boss level he has to beat before he becomes a member. He's you're at 361. That's it. Okay, did another super chance. Sorry, happy birthday, but dude, no more drunken playthroughs. Oh, I haven't done drunken playthroughs in a million years. And there's various reasons why. First reason is you know. Oh yeah, Farrell, that'll stuff. It was nasty. Farrell, that'll get you banned in a heartbeat. He said, "I think I'm banned." When I was pointing out, he contradicted himself or not answering a question, but avoiding it by sidestepping it. Yeah, that's a perma ban. That's that's a perma ban. Not a job that I was planning on making money on. It was just me dicking around. Number two, I'm gonna be honest. You know, you, you get drunk. You might accidentally get goaded into saying something that gets you in trouble. It's the... happened before, and I can't risk all of this. You know what I'm saying? As silly as it would be for me to do drink and then play games. What if some asshole says something, I read it out, like, oh, I didn't realize what I said, and now, now, oh, get what, you're suspended, because you said it, you know? It's just not worth it. Sadly, with the amount of trolls that I have, having me on my toes all the time, I can't be fucking around with that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, thank you, Kay Styles. We re this membership for 11 months at the ultra Kevin supporter Styles. level. Really helps the channel. Thank you. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 wait. Now, ultra, over. hold up, 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 hold up. I gotta go see it, I gotta go see it, I gotta go see it, I gotta go see it. I don't have money to do it, I don't have money to do it, I don't have money to do it. Uh, that's DSP Gaming. I gotta know how much this is. At the ultra tier, right? That's what he is giving. All God right, everybody. Dear God, that's loud. I apologize. Uh, join. 
Ultra. Ult- what is up, every- Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Phil. Yep, Ultra Supporter, 20 bucks a month. Kevin gives him $20 a month. And here's, let me, let me, Standard Supporter. You get loyalty badges, okay? You get custom emojis, and you get a membership sh- shout-out. That is $3.99 a month, okay? That's a dollar less than what my, my Gem Rat Tractor Squad is. A Super Supporter for $9.99 a month. You get a membership shout-out. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't didn't you get that as a standard supporter? Oh, I guess you did. Okay. Well, ov- obviously, and again, that's nine ninety nine, right? So ten bucks a month. So from four dollars to ten dollars, you get uh, nothing new. But the ultra supporters at at twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine a month, you get all the stuff from four dollars and and ten dollars, which was icons and a shout out. But when you give twenty dollars, you also get a shout out. There's, there's no joke here. That is actually his membership tiers. And I, I have no words for that. We start off today with Rob on Wheels. The first tipper of the day with a $5 tip. And he says, happy birthday, Senpai. Thank you very much, Rob. It's good to see you here today. I'm happy that you're here to celebrate my birthday with me. Good variety of stuff. And here's a good thing about today. Even if you don't like half the games... There's still feasting with the king. There's still the other uh, game you probably will like. That's why I love being a variety streamer, man. Really. You can come back when, the, when uh, I'm swinging to a game that you like. I probably will tweet every time I switch games so people know what's going on. Okay. I, I Thank you, Rob, for the first tip of the day. Zombie. To me, a dollar 50 says, House of the Dead remake comes out tomorrow. We consider playing it. You know, I love House of the Dead 1. House of the Dead 1, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best. Li- Dude, Aleander, I would. Aleander Abel says, Phil, can you never say Senpai ever again? I would kill to, like, follow him around third person style with a drone, uh, with a mic on him. If he ever visited Japan, I would, I would, I would actually pay money for that. That would be a pay-per-view I would sign up for every single time because the second he started trying to act all fucking Japanese and, you know, culture matching the Japanese culture, uh, that would just be a cringe fest of fucking chef's kiss caliber. It would, it would be amazing. Like gun shooter ever made for arcades. I liked it so much back in the day that I mastered it. I could actually beat the game on one quarter. Okay, that's how much I played. I loved it that much. What game was this? Thank you, Rob, for the first tip of the day. Zombie. To me, a dollar fifty says House of the Dead remake comes out tomorrow. We consider playing it. House of the Dead. He could. You could beat House of the Dead with one quarter. How often did you stay in a fucking arcade? Oh my god. You know. I love House of the Dead 1. House of the Dead 1, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best light gun shooter ever made for arcades. I liked it so much back in the day that I mastered it. I could actually beat the game on one quarter. Okay. How long is House of the Dead 1? Like, from from zero to beating it, isn't it like, you know, 15, 20 minutes at minimum? Okay. That's how much I played. I loved it that much. Um, that being said, it's a short game. Shout out. That really being is. said. So you can beat that game in like 25 minutes, if that. Called um, it. With secrets and everything, it's a little bit longer than that. But to buy a home version of it, just to play through it like once or twice... Unless, unless they have significantly extended the length of it, which I don't think they did, I, I don't really see the value. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to play through it. That's, that's an ultimate quarter game. You go to the arcade, you put quarters, and you play it. That makes sense. It's a digestible experience. I don't know if it makes sense as a console purchase. Just being honest, I don't think it does. Oh my I used God. to own House of the Dead 1 and 2 collection back in the day, and that was good because it was at least two games for the price of one on PC. But this game, I don't even know if it's, if it's worth it, you know? I'm interested in it, absolutely. I'm just not interested in spending like 40, 50 bucks or maybe even 30 bucks on a game you're going to play once and see, and see it all, and you're done within like 20 minutes. I, I, okay? All right, Rob on Wheels did another tip. How do you master a fucking arcade game? How long? How do you? Dollar fifty. In his opinion, is Star Wars nothing but Star Wars? Star Wars. Fuck WWE. Can you just? He actually has a halfway decent vibrato, but I just can't stand his singing voice. There you go. I think we know what Rob would like me to play starting on Friday. He's interested in Star Wars, Lego Star Wars. The Skywalker Saga. Thank you very much. My God. Oh, and by the way, thank you for the lovely musical rendition that you did there. I can't believe how well you can sing. Uh, Harry Butthole. Has to WWE, yeah. That was the top tip of the day. Thanks, Norskat. Still, happy birthday, dude. I haven't been around much, but I hope that all is well with you. Well, thank you, Harry. Uh, yes, things are going good, for the most part. TJ McFlinty, holy I fuck. Always, always room for at the same time, I'm enjoying life. TJ McFlinty, out of left field, hasn't said anything all stream, at least that I have seen you say, comes out of left field, <laughs> fucking just blasts a kidney shot of, Cat better be careful, I think they eat whale in Japan. Just <laughs> fucking hell. We're having a good time. Thank you. For the very generous tip. Godzilla's giant dino dick. Tip me $10. Says, if you consider a new tip goal, you strip naked if you get to $500. No, because I'm not a complete fucking idiot. Bruh. Uh, I, I, I might actually, I, I might have to go buy a ski mask, but 
I don't know. If somebody said, here, I'll give you 500 bucks to fucking strip down naked, I might put a ski mask on to avoid the face reveal and go take the payday. Phil, what the fuck are you doing? But thank you for the tip. Project Xeno just give me five dollars. Happy birthday. Thank you to Project Xenome for that. I appreciate that. But how do you have enough how do you think you have that much value that you would turn that down? Thomas McDonald just give me forty dollars and says happy fortieth birthday. And with that, obviously that's the biggest tip of the day. Oh my god. And that jumps us all the way up to eighty two dollars in tips so far. Oh my god. Which means it's going to glasses time. And now let's do some horn blows. That's it. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I'm done. Um, we're, this is, but I, this man is, this man is 40 years old. This man is 40 years old. I want to say it one more time. This man is 40 years old when he's doing this. When he, yeah, well, he's 42 now, but I, let's back it up 10 seconds and get the full dose of cringe. And Navy, you should know better than to say that. You're, we're in the military. That's like saying the, uh, it rhymes with glow, but starts with S. Which means it's going to glasses time. And now let's do some horn blows. <laughs> Thing always fucking falls. Thank God, no more of this after today. <laughs> Do I what go back to normal? Fuck no more is... shit falling all over me. What the fuck is that thing? What is it? Very nice. Thank you very much. Thomas McDonald with a very generous tip. All right, it's going to glasses time. All right, let's continue on. Mixidious, that's the only time something's blown in his house. I mean, you're not wrong. Ryuno Mastermind, tip $4.20. Happy birthday, Phil. I love you and your content. I can't attend the whole celebration, but I wish you the best. It's all good, man. That's why I'm happy you can be here whenever you can. And you can always watch On Demand afterward because of the way that I split up my videos and upload them, it's easy. Joshua, straight up, not only is it incel energy, I, I, Navy vet, I feel the same way. I'm about ready to go for pour a fucking bourbon. I swear to God. It's 1130 here, so it's a little bit more forgivable. Um, but I, incel energy, I've always said, Joshua, that he has um, uh, re repressed offender vibes, uh, re repressed situational offender vibes that, uh, because he's repressed, because he's not equal to his peers uh, in mental state, no no woman of standard intelligence or of his age would give him the time of day. But he's also a horny old dude, or he was a horny guy back in his day. So he, he definitely needs to get his dick wet. So what's the next best thing you do? Well, in the first saga, you groom someone. That's Panda. Luckily, she grew out of that, thankfully. After that, you find somebody who, and I've heard that she is psychologically damaged. Uh, that's the Pazuzu uh, joke that is constantly thrown around. I do feel bad for her. That sounds like a fucking terrible upbringing. But I, 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 I believe Kat is not 100. She's probably 80% there in terms of normalcy. But that 20% is a big, big 20% that the, she, this is the best she thinks she can do, honestly. I think is why she's still with him. And uh, yeah, but he's, he's, he's helped dent her, man. Sean Gonzalez says cat is dented. I think she started out halfway decent or halfway normal. And then as he just fucking beat her down with his condescending conversations and talk and, and basically just made her feel like a piece of shit that now she's just, she's drank the Kool-Aid so much. She doesn't know anything else. And it's really sad. And it's, I fucking, I, that's why I don't like him. That's why I don't like him. There's a number of reasons why I don't like Phil. This is just one of them. To figure out yes, PNW Night Horse. Phil did dollars. this. Happy birthday, Phil. Thank you so much, Tarantula. Appreciate that. Harry Butt holded another $10 tip and says the following. Um, you were around 30 when I started watching you. Your own reminiscing is making me do it now. As a young team back then, my life's totally different. But hey, it's nice that you're still doing your thing and I have time to keep up with it. So to be clear, I'm going to rephrase that out of the pignosis that that guy had. He was a teenager. He has actually progressed in 10 years and uh, Phil has not. What's funny about that Harry Butthole, if you take a look... With the exception of the fact that he named himself Harry Butthole. Look, it was actually Darziak who posted up a comparison picture on, on uh, Twitter. Josh, you're right. She needs to see a fucking therapist. Of me during a vlog in 2012, and an actual screen grab of me doing the pre-stream podcast. That is probably one of my favorite uh, times of, of, of uh, Phil's life, is when he said, uh, I get laid by my wife. 
because my, I've been with my girlfriend. I've said, I said this in a video. I said, I've been with my girlfriend now for seven plus years. I don't get laid. We fuck. Uh, that's just how it happens. I don't know many people who say they get laid by their wife. Today in 2022. And outside of the fact that my beard is completely gray down here, I look exactly the same. My, uh, shocking enough to me, my... It's also patchy. I think, I think he has, uh, I think he has a mild form of trichotillomania, compulsive hair pulling, and he pulls hairs out of his beard. Hairline is the same. It's exactly the same. I thought that I had lost a lot of hair in the last decade. My hair was always bad. Hold up. We gotta go back. Uh, where is he? Uh, bah, Phil body build. Let's copy. Back to bro side Phil. Let's paste. You know, I, I'm going to go ahead and say no, you don't have the same hairline. That your hair is running away from the corners as fast as humanly fucking possible. I, I don't think that that is the same hairline. Perhaps I am wrong. I'm not, but perhaps I am. I. Yeah. Moving on. My hairline was bad a decade ago. It really was. And I'm looking at myself like, damn, my face looks the same in the last decade. Oh, God damn My it. hair was always bad. <laughs> my hairline was bad a decade ago. It really was. And I'm looking at myself like, damn, my face looks the same. I don't even look like I have extra wrinkles. I look like this. Do I really need to say anything here? Like, honestly, do I do I really need to say much of fucking it? Fucking, fucking damn it, I fucking hate my alt key. My alt key's my mute key. This is this is the same. What we're looking at right now, he looks exactly the same, huh? This is this is the same. Same guy, except my hair is all yeah, um, nope, moving on. Well, gray now. So, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I mean, you could argue, well, he doesn't look any older besides the gray. We could also argue, damn, he looked old as shit. Oh, he God damn it. So, I don't know what the argument is. Got the wrong is. one. Thank okay. God I didn't fucking... Hitler. That's the lighting. That's totally the lighting. Right now, I could change the, the camera lighting, and I would look way more yellow. The lighting back in Connecticut was completely different when I used to film. Oh, shit. Oleander, yeah. yeah, he does kind of look like fucking Timothy McVeigh in that okay. picture. It's hilarious. Yeah, I didn't age much, but I look bad to begin with, so it doesn't really matter, right? When you start off looking like a bloated dead fish, it doesn't really matter if then you still look like a bloated dead fish dead fish 10 years later. <laughs> okay, then. So, think, so, what tip was that? That was Harry Butthole, and that was the $10 tip. So, let's do a poll for a hat before I get ahead of myself. Oh my which, god. Which shit? Which hat is 40th birthday best? Which vest is podcast best? I, I don't I don't get it. He's been on he's been on according to this uh an hour and 22 minutes. Would it be the cowboy hat? Would it yeah, be he's making 50 the Viking hat? He's making 50 bucks an hour here. Would it be I'm trying to think about the hats that aren't intrusive. Oh, God. The See, hat. Night go. Horse, I wish I could show you I actually have a Widow's Peak, and it's a symmetrical Widow's Peak. Um, I wish I could actually show what that looks like, but I don't want to do a full face reveal, and I don't want to take the time to crop out, you know, my whole face and all that jazz, but... Or we could do... Oh, uh, shit. See, we did Pikachu a lot recently, so I kind of don't want to do Pikachu right away, but like I told you guys, later on, maybe halfway through the stream, we'll do a hat swap. Or we'll Let me see. Hats, okay? No one ever votes for the Deadpool. No one likes you. All right, fuck it. We'll do Pikachu. Fuck it. Cowboy, Viking, the fake hair hat, and the Pikachu hat. Those will be our four hats to start. Okay? Okay. Atlas Telemon. Tips $10. Is happy birthday, Phil. Welcome to the 40s. I've been here for a few years, and it's awesome. Hope the marathon will be royal. Long live the king. Thank you very much, Atlas, for the kind words. Thank you for the support. Let's get that on the leaderboard. God damn this dude. Murdoch is here. It took twenty dollars. It says happy birthday, Phil. Welcome to the forties club. It sounds like a lot of my viewers are actually in their forties. You wanna know the truth? I'm not surprised. Oh wait a minute. I whoa, 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 whoa. All the time to read my analytics and everything. If you actually A lot of his viewers are over forty, I don't think so. If you actually go over to the analytics and you go to the demographics, okay, of my audience, what you'll find might actually shock you. Alright, listen to this. This is very interesting. One point one percent of my audience is between the years of thirteen and seventeen years old. That's it. That's it. A lot of people, oh, all kids watch film. No, 1% oh, of my sorry. audience. Okay, that's fine. 13 to 17, 1% watch you. Not a problem. I can understand that. God damn it. Yes, replace. No, don't replace it. Uh, sorry. I am I actually did the thing I said I wasn't going to do. I'm uh, bringing up my, my wonderful, what you call it, uh, hairline. But 1%, 13 to 17, fine. What's the next one? What's, what's, what's 18 to whatever? 24% of my audience... 
is between the ages of 18 and 24, so young, young adults. Mm -hmm. A whopping 49% of my audience ranges from the ages of 25 to 34. Uh, which are mostly LARPers. That's huge, okay? 18% of my audience, still a very sizable chunk, is between the ages of 35 to 44. That'd be me and Detractor. Okay, then... 5% of my audience is from the ages of 45 to 54, and then as we go upwards, it's just like negligible, 1% again. So the vast majority of people who watch me are between the ages of 18 and 44. Okay, so hold on. Let me get his angle Adults. right. There we go. No, nope, no, nope, a little bit more. Adult content. Come on, hold on. Thankfully, it's not adult rate. There we go. That's good enough. So that's Phil's hairline. He has a widow's peak, according to him. That's, that's what a widow's peak looks like. Image 2, blah, 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 browse. Now I got to find it. Uh, it, the finding game is just always so much fun for me, let me tell you. I love it. It's always my favorite thing to do. And again, I've got to figure out where the fuck I put it. I fucking hate my life sometimes. Not really. I, I, I love my life. But sometimes I hate it. But sometimes I love it. God damn it. Disaster stream. Fucking disaster streams. That's all I do is I put out disaster streams. Uh, yeah, it should just be in pictures. That's where I am. So, where is it? right it should be in the threes okay stand by i'm almost there i prop there it is finally jesus christ that's a widow's peak fucking damn it the mute button i fucking hate mute Anyway, what I was saying, um, I do have greasy hair here, namely because it's hot out. This was in the summer months and I am running a product that gave me a little bit more shine. I fucking hated it. I got off it, but that's a fucking widow's peak. That's a widow's peak. Not what the fuck he has. I fucking hate him. Say, oh yeah, I have this widow's peak. He makes himself out to be like a Greek fucking God. And it, I, I fucking hate it. Content, but it's adult content. Absolutely. No one based on those, uh, based on those statistics could ever try to argue and say dumb shit about me and my content, which is good. <laughs> I like Yeah, we could. I like that. So thank you, Murdoch, thank you, Alice, both men in their 40s. Well, I should say both people in their 40s. Let's not gender incorrectly and get in trouble. Oh, dear fucking Christ. Thank you for the support. Elski has tipped me $10. He says, happy birthday, Phil. I'm not on streams much these days, but I always catch up with your videos. And again, that's what it's all about. That's why I continue to put out the on-demand videos. Thank you, Elski, for just swinging by and thank you for the support. Um, Darziak tipped me $52. What the fuck, man? And 69 cents. That is currently the top tip of the day. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. What did, what do they get out of this? I mean, does he does he really provide that much value for these fuckers? And that's going to propel us to one hundred and ninety eight dollars in tips, which definitely means there will also be a, a either because you're going to get to pick between a vest or a football jersey, and then you get to pick the color. All right, I'm going to let you guys vote on the hat a little longer, so please keep voting. And oh, it's wow, it's neck and neck between Cowboy and Pikachu. We're right there between like one two percent. So I'll let it go a tiny bit more to determine the first hat for the day. By the way, as I told you guys, what we'll likely do since it's a marathon, halfway through the marathon. Homo erotic findom. I'm gonna have to look that one up. We will repoll and switch things. Switch the hat, switch whatever I'm wearing, whether it's a vest or a jersey. Okay? All right. Thank you, Darzy. Actually, that guarantees we're gonna have either a vest or a jersey. Big Papa Pump, give me two dollars. Thank you, Big Papa Pump. He says, Happy birthday, Phil. Thank you for all of your years of videos. Looking forward to feasting. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, that worth two hundred dollars. Uh, okay, then, not findom, find dumb. It's financial dominant, uh, domin uh, financial dominatrix. Gentlemen, I didn't even see this happen. I missed it. I must have been doing other shout outs. K Styles, nineteen ninety eight, with a one hundred dollar. Fucking Kevin, God. I can't deal. I can't. I can't. I fucking can't. Can't. Oh my god. I If you are an audio style listener, I'm backing it up 10 seconds. Pull your fucking phone out of your pocket. You are required by Broside Phil Law to experience this cringe with me. I missed it. I must have been doing another shot. <sighs> K Styles 1998 with a $100 tip. Wow. There was a series of synapses that fired in DSP's brain that made him think this was a good idea. And I, I'm not sure how to feel about that fact. Thank you so much, Case Styles, for the insanely generous tip. It's actually been a, a while since I had a tip that large. 
It's been a while since Cats had a tip that large, too. The largest tip I ever had, if I remember correctly. I'm not kidding. I think it was $2,000. That was so many years ago. Um, I thought he said he never remembers how much his tips are. And that's, not, that's a crazy, you know, exception. Uh, I can't... Defective detective, go home. Your day is over. You call in sick. You're done. Hey, Aleander, you know what? Guess what? Everybody gets to experience the cringe again. Yeah, you did. We're backing it up a few seconds here. Miles, for the insanely generous for the feasting, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you very much. I'm uh, sorry, y'all. Thank you very much, Big Papa Pump. With that, we're up to $200. Aleander does, does not get to miss this. I didn't see this happen. I missed it. I must have been doing another shout-out. K-Styles 1998 with a $100 tip. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, K-Styles. For the insanely generous tip, it's actually been a, a while since I had a tip that large. You know what? You know what, Louis? Louis? Louis what? Garcia makes a fantastic point. I, don't, again, don't have any, hey, I'll be right back uh, things. So this is a group effort now. If you're at home, it, well, and if you're at work, you can do this too. But what you're going to do is you're going to go, uh, depending on the socially acceptable thing to do, and obviously if you're 21 or over, but you're going to go grab uh, your uh, alcoholic beverage of choice uh, to uh, assist you in getting through this stream. Uh, I'll be back in probably under two minutes. So I'll be right back. I love you all. Please don't go nowhere. See you in a minute. Hello, children. I have returned. Okay. So, let's see. Had had steak tips. Well, I imagine going through life. Bring out the alcohol. I'll tell my boss I watched Phil blow a party whistle like an energetic schoolgirl. She will understand. Let's bring out the wine. Cadence, the anime girl. Girl, you have my soul in, in spirit. I brought out the Woodford Reserve. Uh, Aleander Rainbow. Oh, Uncle Jameson. Fucking A. You, that, mm -hmm. We going the right way here. Play it again. I need to... And slow it to half speed, says Feral Gaming. Fuck it. Let's go. They won hun uh, let's all subject ourselves to it. Dollar tip. Not a children's entertainer. Not a children's entertainer. And what's great is that he just got done telling us that he wasn't a, a children's entertainer, too. There's, 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 you can't make this shit up. Okay, so knowing how this is going, normally what I would do is I would go downstairs, take, you know, get some ice, get some water, pour some whiskey in it, come back upstairs. Uh, given how this is going, I brought the fucking bottle. Let's continue. Wow. Thank you so much, Case Dials, for the insanely generous tip. It's actually been a, a while since I had a tip that large. The largest tip I ever had, if I remember correctly, I'm not kidding. I think it was $2,000. That was so many years ago. Um, and that's, that's, that's a crazy, you know, exception. Prophet of Ovon uh, has really to book a trip to the mind really cleanser. Insane. Thank you guys. Thank you, K-Styles. $100 tip, man. Thank you so much. So with that, I'm going to lock it in. Yes, we'll do. Halfway through oh, I know, switch. Greedy Piggy. I, I noticed that too. The shoulders. All right. Um, we'll do a switch where I'll switch hats and I'll switch whatever I'm wearing. So it'll be different. Okay, cool. Lord Shield Garage just did a $10 tip. He says, happy birthday, Philly Paul, Paul, Dave, Dave King Burnell. None of that makes any sense, but I appreciate the tip. Thank you very much. Oh my Dave, God! Paul, Paul, Dave, Dave, King, Brunel. Right. Whatever you say. Now, uh, right. I, I since I brought the bottle up here, and I'm not a raging alcoholic. For one hundred dollars, I'll do a shot. I'm joking. Do not send me a hundred fucking dollars. So, thank you very much, Lord Shio Gara, for that. Mm. Now I just hold up, back hold, to up hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Steve Beeb. Steve Beeb hits out. I don't drink alcohol. Is is not my friend. 
I have reduced significantly how much I, uh, I drink. I used to, I used to be an alcoholic. No, I do have addictive tendencies though. Uh, however, I am not ready to uh, let it go. Uh, namely because I'll get done with work. I'll end up finishing a stream like this and having one or two will absolutely take the edge off. However, um, I don't, uh, I don't push through like half bottles, full bottles anymore. I don't, I, I used to do that quite a bit and I made some really poor decisions in doing that. So, uh, I stopped doing that. I recommend if you have a problem with alcohol, uh, Hey, be honest with yourself, talk to somebody about it, go get help if you need to. And Hey, if you need some help from me, fuck it, hit me up on the, on the interwebs. Uh, my, my DMS are open on Twitter. My Gmail is open as well. Fucking send me an email. I may not be able to help much cause I'm not a licensed medical professional, but fuck man. At least someone out here cares about you. With those. So we have... Uh, shit. Bull Jeff. re up his membership for nine months and says, take this support. I do take that support, and I appreciate that support. And I, I really, really, I bathe in the support. Thank you. Hey, man. good for you, <laughs> Steve Beef, man. Alien good Boy for 13 you. is in a super chat. Happy birthday, Phil. I wish you the best. Thank you, Alien Boy. Mixidious Glenfiddich is his uh, tipple of choice. Mine's McAllen. McAllen, uh, McAllen 12's my go-to mid-range. McAllen 15's my go-to expensive. Jared Walsh just did a super chat. He says, are you going to see Sonic 2? I didn't see Sonic 1. I, I get the feeling eventually I'll see these movies. I, I, I went from being a movie buff to completely not watching any movies anymore. Seriously. This yes, because you don't, don't get it. Your interest games. I don't no, they, your interests don't change. You can't get out of the fucking house because you're a fucking coward. I watch wrestling anymore. I barely watch movies. What are you going to do? But I, I swear I will probably eventually get to them. I hope. I think I will eventually get to them. Okay? Um, thank you for the super chat. Sean did a super chat. Never been a cognac drinker, Navy vet for life. I, I don't even know the taste of it. Super chat says, happy B-Day, Phil. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you all for your birthday wishes. You guys are freaking awesome. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. Thank you, Sean. All right, now we swing back. Hey, Aleander, that's great. And we've got dark... I had a fruit salad for dinner yesterday. Well, okay, it wasn't a fruit salad. It was grapes. It was... Okay, it wasn't grapes. It was... Well, it was smashed up grapes. It was smashed up grapes that aged... It was wine. I had wine for dinner. Side Chris... Who took me twenty dollars? Says Merry birthday, good sir. Merry, have a merry, merry on birthday to you. Actually, Greedy I piggy, I really, really need Christmas. that money. I really do. I need it. I need it to pay my bills, the uh, the electric bill, the internet bill. Another ten dollars. Thank you, Harry Butthole. He says regarding the age stats, I believe most of your fans are adults, but they keep in mind that most underage people say they're eighteen on YouTube anyway. At least uh, that's what I did when I was underage. Of course. Hey, Sean, if you're an adult fan, you're underage. I'm just saying. Do you, man? What, what you need benefit with you need help? Go get help. You need to talk. Talk. We good, man. They're to be young. No I'm judgment here. Saying. Says, well, you know, I think decent movies took a nosedive over the last several years. I, I guess so. I would know because I didn't really see many of them. Hey, Feral Gaming, Nico, whiskey. That's, that's my thing as well. Phil, thank you for the great content. You're welcome, Nico, and thank you for the support and the kind words. Big Papa Pump, me $2. Says, you've impacted a lot of people's lives over the years. You yeah, you've impacted a lot of people's lives. You've impacted their lives like a colon gets impacted. Daspo shit? Did I say Daspo shit or did he say Daspo shit? I don't know what he said, actually. Can you imagine not learning how to write a... What? He didn't learn to... Did I miss that? Did he not learn to ride a bike? Because of cow... Oh, I got a... Okay, what? What? 30 seconds? So Somebody somebody, give me a range here. What am I missing? Oh, Dabo's... Dasbo shit is a long time dead. Okay, so he did. He did say that. Hey, Sean Gonzalez, man. Good for you. Every day's a great day. And, uh... Hey, man, I'm on your side. You know? Bikes are detractors. Uh... Proud of you. Proud of you. Scotch and bourbon. Joshua, you're my boy. I'm going to back it up about 30 seconds. Underage, I'm just saying. What, like, what benefit would there be to be young on YouTube exactly? Let me but keep I, going back here. Harry Butthole took another $10. Thank you, Harry Butthole. He says, regarding the age stats, I believe most of your fans are adults, but they keep in mind that most underage people say they're 18 on YouTube anyway. At least uh, that's what I did when I was underage. Of course. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to say that you're underage. I'm just saying. What, like, what benefit would there Wait, be to be young on YouTube? That, is, that, is that an arc? A kid got beat up in his neighborhood for his bike, so he never wanted to learn? He's too scared it would be stolen from it. That's an arc. He actually confessed that to some. <sighs> Dos Bosch says, well, you know, I think decent movies took a nosedive over the last several years. I, I guess so. I would know because I didn't really see many of them. Uh, uh, Nico. Just yeah, Luis, uh, Luis Garcia. Hey, hey, to everybody. If you got a glass, if it's water, well, you're not supposed to toast with water, so go put a drop of food coloring in it or something. But if you got a soda, you got an energy drink, you got a bourbon, you got a vodka, you got a beer, cheers to all of you. Glasses up. I love you all. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Let's keep going. Just to be $2. Just happy birthday, Phil. Thank you for the great content. You're welcome, Nico, and thank you for the support and the kind words. 
Big Papa Pump did me $2. Says, you've impacted a lot of people's lives over the years. You actually helped me and others get through COVID lockdowns. I can't thank you enough. You know what? This is so awesome. Here's why. That is so, that's bait. That was a bait message. There is no way that that was actually somebody who, who actually wrote that without, without being prompted. Again, you guys don't understand how special this is because I'm sitting here with you guys, hundreds of people on the internet on my 40th birthday. And I have people telling me that what I've done in, my, in the last decade has been meaningful. That is something special. It makes me feel really good. Hey, uh, nobody has told me my content is meaningful because I know full well that my content is just fucking garbage by, in terms of like, it doesn't, it doesn't create anything. It doesn't, I mean, it, it, okay, it's maybe entertaining to some of y'all for all the 80 of you or 76 of you that are here. Uh, but it, it's throwaway content, man. It's. And so is Phil's. Phil's is throwaway content. It does. He's not. He's not fucking battling world hunger. He's not curing cancer. He doesn't even donate to charities. How the fuck is his content meaningful? Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, like I said, unlike most people who have forty, like, oh, that's it, over the hill. For me, I'm like, nah, this is the beginning. Yeah, JP. Just the one JP guy. What I said about don't toast to water. He says is the food coloring making a beverage and not water. I know how I'm saving money at next dinner party. I don't know, man. I I riff on the fly here. Sometimes I fuck up. I fucked up there. What can I say? This is the beginning of the rest of my life that's going to be awesome. Seriously, this is the beginning of all the awesome stuff yet to come. You know, I can't wait to see the games we're going to play, the, the fun we're going to have interacting, the shows, the discussions. The di as he bangs, when he's 41 years old, as he pounds his hand into his brand new $300 joystick screaming, my inputs aren't coming out. This is this is meaningful content. Pause game on point. Different stuff that we're going to do. This is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Jesus. It still continues. You guys realize you have to order food, right? Wolf's Paradox just did a super chat. It says, happy day of birth. Hope you and your family enjoy. Thank you. Like I said, I pretty much had my day of enjoyment yesterday with, with Kat. And that was a really nice day to spend with her. I'm glad that I got to celebrate yesterday with her and today with you. Uh, <sighs> you know what? I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Just for the amount that he gets, there's a little bit of jealousy. But then I know how he gets the money, and it's by preying on very, very weak-minded people. And, uh, uh, what was it, Snort Hogan? One of them. I watched a video of his that he put out, like, a year ago, maybe two years. No, it was like three years ago, and it says, Meet a Dent. And it's one of the guys that donates to, to Phil. It is by far one of the most depressing things I have ever seen. Because the guy that's donating to Phil just seems like... He's obviously has, has a, a condition, right? He's, he, he has a mental condition, but he's talking about how excited he is. I think for either Pokemon or Elden Ring and it's, he's just being a pure guy. Uh, there's nothing, he's not doing anything wrong. He's not, he's not a fucking plague on society or something like that. He's not being evil. He's not, not nothing. He's just a, a poor guy who doesn't know that Phil is just garbage and a piece of shit. And he, he constantly gives Phil money and Phil's okay with it. And so it, if you told me you too could get K styles donating you a hundred dollars or some dude donating you 60, but all you, but the people that are going to be doing it, they're mentally deficient in some way, shape or form. And you have to be okay with that. Not a chance in hell, not a chance in hell. Fuck that. Okay. Um, and fuck Phil for, like for Pikachu doing that. The Pikachu hat, no, it's by 1%. It's going back and forth between Pikachu and Cowboy with a 1% differential. I'll let it keep going, Jesus. All right, now in the meantime, we need to order food. And like I said, we're doing Hawaiian barbecue. Let's do this. Let's get this done. So Aleander, you need to be posting full-ass fucking recipes in here. That sounds fucking amazing. So here's the thing. I'll tell you right now. Absolutely, positively, one of the things that I want to do from Hawaiian barbecue, I want to try something with spam. I know it sounds... Of course he does. Weird as shit that they have a cuisine that's considered gourmet cuisine and has spam in it. But I absolutely want it. So they have, they have I think they have two variations of it. Hold on. I gotta find it. Oh, so Aleander, because you're talking about food shit. Uh, yeah, he'd, he'd take a tip from... Uh, oh, by the way, so I am actually reading um, a book. I, we went to the National Holocaust Museum last year? Last year, around December. Uh, not Not last December, but the December prior to that. And we got to go see the Holocaust Museum, and I'm reading the Nazi doctors, and it's it's how how they normalized euthanasia uh, against the mentally handicapped, uh, as well as the physically deficient uh, or the psychologically deficient, and how that breached into or how that bred into uh, the gas chambers and the, the whole nine yards, and how the medical professionals justified it. Like the guy actually interviewed surviving. Uh, 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 
I've already said the word so fuck it. If I get demonetized, I get demonetized. Uh, actually interviewed Nazi doctors. And thus far, it's been a really interesting read. And again, it's that it's that very subtle. It's that we'll start with just this little thing. You dehumanize them this much. You dehumanize them that much. And it just grew from there. But on happier stuff, Oleander Rainbow, I was going to tell you. Uh, my girlfriend hooked me up in the last two days. She cooked uh, uh, two things of, um, oh my God, for Rubens. What's it called? That they The meat that they put on a Reuben. Um, anyway, she, she home cooked two of those. Um, got some provolone cheese and some rye bread, some sauerkraut, some Thousand Island dressing. And holy fucking shit, do I love this woman. Because, no, no, it's not pastrami. It's, um fucking hell no 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 the reuben style of meat reuben meat reuben meat uh, corned beef corned beef that's it corned beef and oh my god buttered the outer side of the bread put it in a panini press i mean just fucking it was crack cocaine it was so fucking good by comparison to mr let's get some doordash is it called Spam Musubi? Is that what it's called? I'm I'm not even looking that one up. I'm just going to let him mispronounce it, unless he actually got it yeah, right this time. Yeah, they have two variations. Time. They have Spam Musubi, and they also have Spam Musubi with egg. Now, I don't know how egg would come into play in this dish. I know that spam, it would be a slice of Spam, and they put all these toppings and things on it to basically make it taste good. And they also grill it, I think. So I'm going to try that. Hey, Jer sure. Jerry okay. D, Jerry D, I am straight up poor. I eat lunch meat sandwiches. You know, one of my favorite go-to dinners, if I can't think of anything, is I will uh, uh, I'll get some some ham, um, you know, like like lunch meat ham, and uh, uh, then get uh, two things of ramen, chicken ramen, dump that in, three eggs, scramble them up, pour it in the fucking uh, 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 ramen, so it you know scrambles up and all that. Throw the ham in there. That's fucking dinner, baby. That's dinner, and that's like. The, the 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 ramen is less than two dollars, the the meat is five bucks a pack, and you can do God knows how much, and then the eggs, right? And you can get how many out of eggs? It's like it's it's like less than three bucks in total to make. It's fucking delicious. fried bologna sandwich. Fuck yes, fried grilled cheese. You get grilled cheese, and then you put the bologna in it, and then you fry it up. That's good too. I mean, it's terrible for you, but it's so fucking good. Should I get some regular spam with with eggs? I don't know how the egg comes into play and if it changes it or not. You know. Should I get it with the egg? Try the original first without egg. Everyone's, okay. Let's, okay, we're gonna add that. I'm definitely gonna get that. That sounds good. Now, I want something that's like unique. Now, I know their barbecue is incredibly unique. Let's take a look. Let me, just to give you some examples of the food they have here. All right? So. Dude. Here's their most popular items. Broke food can be the most gourmet food on the fucking planet. I don't care what anybody says. Hey, as a matter of fact, let me help you all out. I here it is. This is this is this is your this is what you get. This is what you got for all the fucking super chats and the gifted memberships and 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 the fucking all that shit. Here is your gift. Here is your gift. I'm gonna fucking break your brain if you don't know it. All right. Y'all know what a grilled cheese sandwich maker is. Of course you do, because who the fuck wouldn't? You take two pieces of bread. You butter the outsides of them. This is the one that's gonna go on the you know actual heat element itself. After you do that, hit it with sugar and brown sugar as well, lightly topped with it, okay? Why would you do such a thing? It's a grilled cheese maker. That's right. After you do that, you're going to fill the sandwich with pie filling. Then you're going to make your sandwich. We called these pudgy pies when we camped. It was uh, You would have something very similar. You would stick it over the fire. Uh, but basically, it is your homemade fucking store fucking pies and a, a tin of like apple pie filling is like 80 fucking cents yeah you're fucking welcome if y'all are stoners out there congratulations i just made your whole fucking weekend like i said broke food can't be the best gourmet food of course loco moco now can i be honest with all of you here loco moco i'm gonna read what it says Two homemade hamburger patties served over rice topped with two eggs and smothered in gravy, loco style. Does it sound interesting? Yes. Does it sound, like, good? <laughs> they do other stuff. They do other stuff that I think may actually be more authentic. From what some people have told me, the loco moco thing authentic. is kind of like a touristy thing. Um, while if you actually get their slow-cooked barbecue meats, more like a luau, that's more authentic to what they actually eat there. <clears throat> um, let me keep going. So they have uh, katsu loco. 
They actually have a slow cooked pork. And I forget what, oh, they call it Kalua pork. Oh yeah, Nevis is the red. Pork dish. Paji pies are, are fucking meat, awesome. I didn't even know that yakisoba was Hawaiian, but I guess they have that. Um, then again, chicken katsu is Japanese style, but they do it there in Hawaii. They're so, twist on it. So Loco Moco is authentic Hawaiian, and he doesn't think it is Heather. Hey, this is this is Heather P. This is this is the fucking this is the fucking admin for uh 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 uh, uh King Jad. This is a detractor celebrity. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, sweetness? Right. Let, let me go through. So for beef dishes, they have loco moco, aloha te- uh, terry beef, kalbi ribs. So they actually do slow cooker ribs too, and a hamburger steak. Now we've seen hamburger steak in Japanese games I've played. Right. Oh, like, like Jerry D. That sounds Yama awesome. Get hamburger steak when you're going around. Ch- chicken, terry chicken, which I think is like their version of teriyaki slow cooker chicken. Katsu loco, which is just chicken katsu with loco. Heather P., people who don't blush are detractors, okay? Now, either you blush or you just get the fuck out of my chat. I'm, I'm joking, of course. ...style, which is the, the, the egg and the gravy. Um, spicy terry chicken. They have katsu curry, chicken katsu with curry, but I've had that at other places. Moshiko chicken, which is chicken thighs, marinated with a special sauce, deep fried, a popular Hawaiian dish, it says. Pineapple orange chicken. I don't know if that seems too authentic, right? Wait, what spaghetti video? There's a spaghetti video? Work it. This is going to be bonus content because, like I said, I've got Italian blood in me. There's a there's a spaghetti vehicle or vehicle. There's a spaghetti. Apparently, I've already had too much, uh, and that is uh, half a glass of whiskey. Uh, there's a, sp- a spaghetti vehicle. Vehicle. Do I want to go driving or something? Is that what I'm saying? Vehicle for video. There's a spaghetti video. Him and Panda making sauce and meat, but there is. Oh, that is it. Is it that bad? So let's see. Uh, DSP. Uh, Phil Panda Spaghetti Marinara. Phil Howard Chef Murray Cheesy. So- uh, okay, so that doesn't didn't do it. Let's see DSP. If somebody's got the link, fucking get it to me. DSP Penne Pasta with homemade meat sauce. DSP reacts. Uh, one minute, seven second video. Is that the one that I'm looking at? Meal vlog, August 14th, 2014. It's a minute and four seconds. That's not the right one. Okay. Do you see? Panda Lee reacts to DSP being broke. That sounds fun. DSP cooks it. Homemade Italian sauce. Add the paste and stir. Uh, five minute, 45 second video. Let's see. Hey, hey, my shit got, got, got advertised. I see me. I recently turned 40. Let's see how DSP acted when he turned 40. I got advertised for myself. Isn't that wonderful? DSP reacts to Mr. Ludacris. No. Okay. Well, uh, Heather, if you can't, for some reason, if it blocks you from posting links in here, uh, at Broside Phil is my ex or Twitter. You can hit me up on there. Um, uh, or you can just send an email, brosidephil at gmail.com. Uh, excuse me, I need to call for a second, so mute. Okay, sorry about that. Thank y'all. Uh, we'll keep going. Garlic chicken, orange chicken, veggie curry. Okay. Pork. Okay, so their pork is called Kalua pork. And what it is, it's a slow-smoked Kalua pork, and then I they have different uh, presentations. Sometimes you get it with cabbage. I you fucking hate this, man. Style, where they, top, they serve it over rice, top it with two eggs, and they smother it in gravy. Okay. Hey, but at least he hasn't said reaccumulated this time. That sounds pretty good. Karen says the Kalua pork would be Hawaiian barbecue. Lomi, Lomi salmon. I don't know if they have that. I'll look. There is seafood coming up. Huli, Huli chicken. Teriyaki ribs. Halpi. Okay. I, all right. I'm absolutely getting the pork. 100%. I want to try the pork. If that's the, one of the more authentic things, I absolutely need to try the pork. That sounds good. How do you fuck up cup of noodles, Graymorn? I'm imagining the gravy with a coffee aftertaste to it. What the fuck? How do you, how do you fuck up cup of noodles? It's good to me. How I get it, I don't know. Because they have pork and cabbage, just the pork, pork loco style. I think they have combination plates coming up too. Maybe I'll do that. Um, so here's their seafood. Garlic style shrimp, a tuna poke bowl, or shrimp curry. Sadly, I don't think they have salmon. I don't think they have that. Oh my god. I'm taking a look here. Yeah, here's... See, they have... No, I haven't seen a cup of noodles video. I, I, I got into the detractor sphere about two years ago when I was selling my first house. I was watching It's a Gundam. And... Oh, he did correct himself on it? He, he understands what reacclimation is now. I put it into a tweet and added me. Hey, my girl. World's Biggest Loser. This is the playlist. Didn't realize he broke it up into such short... But yeah, they, yeah, that's the one. That's the one I was finding. Okay, okay. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta... So it's a playlist? 
you said? This is the playlist. Okay, let me... Uh, you might hear some... There we go. Uh, oh my god. It's so long. Cat never said. Uh, is that fucking hot dogs in the sauce? Or are those meatballs? Fuck it. This is something we're doing after it. We're doing it afterwards. The ultimate bonus content, fuckers. Terry B. Well, bonus content if we hit... Again, by the way, thank you. I wanted to update you. We, we hit the tier 93 goal... Uh, again, I said if we hit the tier 94 goal, something would happen. But unfortunately, we have to move the sticks. We now need to hit the tier 612 goal. So uh, if we hit the tier 612 goal, then we'll go ahead and, and do the DSP cooks it. So hope you got fingers crossed we hit that goal, you know, because I got to pay them bills. Colby Ribs and Terry. For those of you who weren't here when I made that joke earlier, there is no fucking tier 90 goal, tier 600 goal. It's. I'm explaining the joke. I'm being Phil. Oh my god. Moving on. Chicken. But it doesn't have the pork. Oh, I want one that has the pork, actually. Yeah, I want one that has the pork. It took him tw it took him twenty five minutes to make two cup of noodles. They have different combos. They have one that's just it's pork and chicken together. Maybe I'll get the pork and chicken combo. Oh, they also have pork and beef combo. Hmm. I don't I don't even know what to fucking say about this. They have pork and katsu. I don't want the chicken katsu. I've had chicken katsu a lot recently, too, like in the last year or two, as we started ordering stuff. What's the W... Azadi... Japanese places. Azadi, what's the... D what's the WPIG desperate measure? What's that? Just, I'm going to stay away from that because I kind of know what it is. I definitely want the pork. That sounds unique to me. So i got to get something with the pork, for sure. Aleander, you don't know that I don't look like Timothy McVeigh. You only know what my cartoon avatar looks like. Yes, bros Blaine Phil. Yes, that is me. Hmm... Oh man, this sounds so. This food sounds so good, dude. <laughs> this it sounds so good. Oh, by the way, it looks like the Pikachu hat one. At this point, yeah, we're just gonna go with the Pikachu hat to start. Keep in mind, guys, there will be a second. Karen, Karen says Logomogo isn't considered Hawaiian barbecue, but if you're just doing Hawaiian food and not specifically barbecue, it is one of the most delicious foods that we make. Do they like Pikachu in Hawaii? He measured his dick. Uh. Okay. I'll throw that in there. We have to hit the tier 1,000 goal, though. <laughs> is Pikachu part of uh, traditional Hawaiian culture? I'm just curious. Not a children's entertainer. Silly. Um, by the way, I saw more tips coming. Actually, by, in terms of domestic terrorists, I pretty much fit the norm. I'm white and male. I mean, I will shout those out. Uh, let me order first, and then we'll, I'll shout those out. Um, oh, by the way. Well, now hold on. How, oh, shit. How old is, or how long is uh, the the Alton Steve listening to Phil measure his dick segment? How long is that? Because if it's a, if it's about equal, I'll put it up to a vote. But if it's not equal, I'll do that. I'll do that first. No, 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 wait, 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 Let me back this up. Let me back this up. When I said Bill is a children's entertainer wearing the Pikachu hat, you have to understand, there is a difference between Phil wearing something and a woman wearing something, or even a dude who's ripped as fuck, depending on your sexual preference. Really don't care one way or the other. If you fit my desired body uh, shape and you were wearing the Pikachu hat, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and tell you, she's not, my girlfriend is not this way, but she knows that I I would love to see this one someday. Oh, fuck it. I know it's going to sound sexist, but you you know what? I have half a whiskey in me, so I don't care. If you're a big titty goth chick and you were wearing the Pikachu hat, I'm yours. Like, full stop. You own me. Okay? It's Phil that's in it. Okay? That, uh, Heather P says, in a Pikachu hat and nothing else. First of all, now I want pictures. I'm joking. I am fucking joking. But absolutely, preferably with the black lipstick and heavy amounts of eyeliner. Uh, yes, please. Um, you you own me. Uh, <laughs> King Cobra G, God damn it. Anyway, it's it's the fact that it's Phil that's wearing it, right? What video game characters did I dress up for my 40th birthday? So, I did not dress up as a video game character um, for my 40th birthday. However, a few Halloweens ago, I went as Khal Drogo uh, from Game of Thrones. So... Uh, and I actually rocked it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica Nigra as Pikachu is chef's kiss. Well, now I'm going to have to look that up, and then I'm probably going to have to turn on my camera in May 1st. I screwed it up. Desperate measure in 6.5 hours long. Hey, guess what we're not doing today? I'll give you a hint. It's that. Unless, you know, unless we actually hit the tier 10,000 goal. 
I'm joking. I don't have time for six and a half hours as much as I would want to. Maybe, just maybe, we could do it as a full stream at some point. Which apparel is birthday best? Would it be a vest or a jersey? You guys vote first on a vest or a jersey, and then depending on what wins, then you vote on the color. But you got to vote on vest or jersey first. Okay. I have found, I, I've just thought of my, my, my happy birthday to me gift at some point in a stream. Y'all are familiar with the water boy. The movie, Adam Sandler, uh, Henry, uh, uh, whatever his name is, the guy who was Fonzie from Happy Days. Yes, I know I'm aging myself there. Y'all are familiar with that. There's a scene, Henry Winkler, I think is his name. That's him. Yep, Henry Winkler. There's a scene where Bobby Boucher is talking with Coach, and Coach has a baseball or something in his hand. And he's talking, and he says, I cried, I cried, I cried like a six-year-old girl, and he throws the ball out the window. And it's a hard cut scene that I about pissed myself laughing to in the theater that hits the Colonel Sanders uh, professor and he just and he fucking just takes it, just dives. I want that to happen live to Phil. Just he's midstream, you know, guys. Oh, uh, there's a twenty seven dollar tip. Thwack. Ah, that's that. That would be the birthday gift to me. OK, there's a surfing Pikachu. Oh, cool. There is, isn't it? Doesn't write you, sir. The Alola region or whatever. I was joking, but apparently, okay. Anyway, um, man. So we're definitely getting this fan musubi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, Baymax. Okay. We're definitely getting some kind of pork. But I'm curious, should I get the pork in a combo plate? And if I get... Jerry D says the 40-year-old man in a Pikachu hat looks predator-ish. No, no, no. He looks straight predator. He got that molestache on him. You can either get it with the Terry beef, or you can get it with the Terry chicken. I'll be honest. I've had, the, I've had beef before from a, a barbecue place. It's absolutely outstanding. I have not had the chicken. So if I get the combo of the Kahlua pork and Terry chicken... Oleander, I require evidence of this. That is, I think, more authentic, right? Than the... Well, not authentic, more original, because I never had the chicken before. Yeah. There's a special surfing Pikachu card. Cool. <laughs> Mama said Phil Henry, because he got on in video and no 401k. Jerry D, you fucking savage. Okay. I think <laughs> God I'm damn. Combo. That's pork and chicken together. That sounds good to me. So let's see. How could he? So there's Tiri Aki, T Rai Yak A. Um, I'm trying to think of all the ways to mispronounce Teriyaki. So, so far we got a spam musubi, and we got this combo plate that comes with the, the, the pork, chicken, and I think it has some sides like rice and some macaroni salad. Okay. Maybe I'll get one more thing, but not super expensive. I can't get something else really expensive. I mean, come on. Yeah, he guys, well, let's make sure that the play button goes away here. Oh, it's not going to go away, is it? Well, I, I but you can't, if you can see it, great, you can see it. He can't get something super expensive. He just got $340 in tips. He can't get something super expensive. And by the way, uh, Cat wants to try, I can find it, where the hell did it go? Feral Gaming, I am happy to be your motivation to get through cleaning the house, being the disaster stream. I am, I am, I am happy. I'm being facetious, but at the same time, I am 100% serious. Whenever I hear somebody say, I've got you on in the background, I'm lifting, I'm fucking doing homework, I'm doing whatever. That just tickles me pink, because for some reason, y'all like hearing my voice, and I swear to God, nobody in my household does. So it's weird for me. Wants to try. If I can find, where the hell did it go? I know it's on here, I just saw it. Here it is. Cat wants to try the poke bowl with tuna. She's never had a poke bowl before in her life, and she's dying to try one. She's always wanted to try one. I said, well, here's an opportunity, right? Why not? So she's going to get a poke bowl. Heather P., stop making me blush. All right. So, so far, i got a spam musubi. We're going to try the pork. We're going to try the chicken, and we're going to have some uh, macaroni salad. Okay? Hey, Aleander, you and me both, girl. Let me see. So, oh, man. I think we, we had this conversation. Yeah, we did. You are... Yeah, you're female. Cat, uh, I always go back to the bass video where she's like rocking out the bass. Um, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'd chat her up. If she was looking back in the day, the way she, if she looked now, the way she looked back in the day, I would chat her up if she was single and I was single. Call me a fucking horse lover if you would. I don't see the long face, really, but I get the joke, I guess. What he did to her is a travesty. It's a fucking war crime, right? 
Because she could be, if she actually put her mind to it back when she had the hair the way it was, her skin was the cut that was like the, the, the consistency it was, all that just she could be a fitness influencer. She just needed to put in some fucking weight classes, spin classes, whatever. She could have been fucking ripped. And she has that, she kind of has them, uh, I know this is going to sound terrible. She has that, uh, the, the frame, the birthing hip type frame that you put on some fucking like them, uh, them, uh, watermelon th- crush thighs. She'd be a celebrity in the fitness community. Hands down. Hands down. Like I hate what Phil did to her with a passion. I did not see Rebsy's video on cat on the cat reveal. I will have to, uh, I'll have to look it up. I will have to look that one up. I, think it's everything, I don't want to add another thing that I'm not going to eat or finish, and it's expensive. You know what I mean? Let me look up here. Hold on. Uh, the, lo- the local moco is expensive. Hey, speaking of things that never finish, and since we're talking about cat, ayo, I'm saying she never has an orgasm. It is. It's, it's funny because they treat it like it's a huge entree. Two homemade hamburger patties served over rice top with eggs smothered in gravy. But it's expensive. expensive. You think, oh, two... Darwinning, that is both savage as fuck and at the same time, I'm laughing. Does anyone else get the vibe that he's approved because he's insanely je- because she's insanely jealous, though? I see her not letting Phil play Stellar Blade, but Phil may also be recently prudish to hold that over her head. Yeah, their, their dynamic is really weird, Jerry. I, I don't... I, Feral Gaming, I'd put her on a treadmill and save her. My man. Um... Their dynamic is really weird. Um, either, either it's like you're saying, like they kind of hold things over each other. There's a, there's a secret dynamic I've mentioned, I think back in a stream once before that I think they have. And that is, oh yeah, baby, I will take care of you that he shows on stream. And then she goes full Dom in the bedroom. Like he is on his knees, handcuffed and you know, whatever. And she just has his, or her way with him, uh, to include, uh, Well, we'll just say she goes by the name of Peg, probably, at some point. My wife isn't even losing weight, Meline Wheat. I didn't even watch the stream where they were playing Dendoko Island, so I don't know anything about Kat's personality, except that she was reading chat and getting filled to ban people for no reason. Yeah. Linda Deranged has a similar joke where my wife is physically abused. We all know Kat has a magic wand. Hey, Joshua! You fucked up, man. Come on now. The real question is whether the orcas accept her as one as their own. Okay, I'm done now. Darwin, goddammit. Stellar yams. When Phil bitches about it. Stellar yams. I see the eyes of Anita Sarkeesian where Phil's eyes should be. All yonder, what the fuck? Subaru says, man, she says she's a nutter. Okay, so Mixidious. Uh, all right, we're going to go into vulgarity slightly here. I apologize if there are any sensitive ears uh, on the channel. You know, earmuffs, whatever you want to say, the way that Phil says it. Subaru Man says she's a nutter as in she's crazy. Or Subaru Man says she's a nutter in that she is, um... Ex- liquidus expelliarmus. Okay, crazy. Okay. Because, uh, there's... You know that there's a soda brand called Squirt, right? Okay, now, now now that I've said that, let's continue. Hamburger patties and eggs, that's like cheap. It's not. Do not get Loco Moco. That's great. Do not get Loco Moco. Someone's yelling at me. Don't do that. Uh, Ma- macaroni salad. Heather P., I, I agree um, on both fronts. I'm just, I'm going to leave that out there. Let's continue. I love macaroni salad, so I hope that their macaroni salad is good. Can't eat it a lot. Macaroni salad, oh my God, it's so high in fat and calories, but I love it. It's delicious. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be just what we go with. That's, I mean, that's going to be way more than enough food. The spam, the spam is going to be... Ant- Feral Gaming, you are lying. I do not believe you. Feral Gaming says, I'd be happy with both. There is an energy drink in Great Britain called Pussy. And, oh, I, fuck. Actually, he's not lying. I, I happen to know that that drink exists. Look, I'm not saying that there is a sex shop nearby my house that me and my significant other uh, occasionally visit and that they sell that brand of soda uh, or uh, energy drink. However, what I am saying is exactly what I just said I was not saying. Um, It exists. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. It's not bad, but it's not as good as the real thing. 
and trying the pork and trying the chicken and trying the macaroni salad, I really feel like that's enough. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I'm going to want any more food than that. Navy Bat, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You need to send me a DM later. If you've got Twitter, at BrosideFill. If you need to send me an email, at bro, you know, BrosideFill at gmail.com. And this goes to all 76 of you. That's how you get in contact with me. It may take me some time, especially if you hit up my email, because I don't get live alerts on my phone on that. I try to separate away from it. But legit, if I can help, or you need to fucking want to, if you want to say, hey, I want you to react to something, or I want you to this, I want you to that, consider me your friend, man. My significant other, yes, my significant business partner. If by business partner, you, you consider fucking business. Yes, my significant business partner. You set it up here for delivery for later today. Schedule. Hey, King B. Cruel's in here? Where, where would I miss him? Where'd I miss him? Where'd I miss him? I'm looking through the fucking chat right now. I missed King B. Cruel? Darwinian, Lucky Bracky, all yonder. And I've got the live chat up. I don't see him, but King B. Cruel, if you hear. Hey, there he is. Welcome, my dude. The time. King B. Cruel, another uh, Phil celebrity, if you guys are not in the tractor sphere. King B. Cruel. Broke the pygnosis after he was absolutely verbally berated by Phil. Got himself a gifted membership. Bought himself, I think, a Jim Rat, uh, not Jim Rat Tractor, but maybe a Jim Newbie or a Jim Neophyte membership after that. He's my boy. I like him. You should like him too. Welcome to the chat, my man. Like I told you guys, we're going to aim to have that arrive between 4 and 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. Okay? King B. Cruel's meeting Heather P. for the first time. We are fucking introducing people. Okay. Mr. Wee Wee Woo Woo, I agree. Div team divorce has to happen. Like, I'm, I'm going to, look, I've been completely ignoring what the fuck he's been saying for I don't know how long, just because y'all are fucking just great. I fucking love the chat right now. Y'all have been doing great. Tattoo Jesus, welcome. It With Panda, she got, she got a job, she got outside influence, and boom, she was gone, right? Are we watching something else after this? Fuck yeah, we're watching something else after this. We've got uh, either the pasta to look at, or if you guys got something else that you want out on top of it, let's fucking go. But all it's going to take is if they go to church, if she gets a job, if, and he, this is why he wants the tips so hard, so she doesn't have to go get a job. I, I heard she quit after the whole tire fiasco, but maybe I'm wrong. But all it's going to take is her going to a book club meeting, to a, a fucking a Bible study group, to a, am I doing membership? Am I doing membership, what's it, Toya? Of course I have memberships. You should join if you would like. Dollar for a very basic $2.99 or $3.99 for mid and then $4.99 for my ultimate. But uh, yeah, I've got them. But all it's going to take is for her to, to be reintroduced to the fact that Phil is not normal. And they're going to be like, wait a minute, he doesn't let you do this? You guys don't do that? Have you? When was the last time you went and saw a movie? When was the last time he, he bought you flowers? When was the last time this, that, and the other thing? She's gone. Jerry D, Subaru Man comes back, she's dust. You are absolutely right. Aliander, Cat deserves to get back on her feet and get the fuck away from Phil. You are not wrong. She's not normal, but she's not, she, I am Clyde Frog, I am Clyde Frog, South Park reference, my boy, I am Clyde Frog, I don't think she's normal either, she's not normal, she, there is something, unfortunately, either trauma derived or mentally deficient derived, take your pick, and again, I'm an amateur, I'm not a doctor, and I have no medical experience, this is an opinion and an opinion only, there is something wrong, but she there she could get out she can get out but she has to be given the incentive to get out uh sheer king it is clear they barely talked in the fa in the five years that they lived together you're not wrong uh according to her sister she is on the spectrum i see it as well being on the spectrum myself um she was a fan but there's a difference between being a fan and then learning about them king be cruel i know we just met but <laughs> okay Navy vet for life. Oh my God. She could have gotten out sadly. Phil shifted from a horse to a cow, sadly. Yeah, and, and it is. That is that is very sad, cat. And I, I agree. They that I did not know, DJ McFlinty. They don't sleep in the same room. There's 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 actual documentation on this. Uh Darwin can be quoted. Oh, it's an anime reference. Okay, I missed that one, my dude. 
Uh, Cat deserves a movie marathon, but watching all the new movies, I want Cat to watch a bullet train. Apparently, wow, wow, that's, that's, wow. Feral Gaming retires in 2027. Hey, Feral Gaming, if I can make a recommendation, um, like I said, I was in law enforcement for a number of years. I got to see a number of former LEO retire. They, they retired out. They didn't have anything to do after retiring. Find yourself a fucking hobby, my dude. Find yourself something you love that you can fucking pursue. Riding motorcycles, traveling around the world, whatever, because... Of the ones that made it, they had a hobby. Of the ones that did not have a hobby, they died within three years of retiring. So, find something you love, my dude. You know, do you. Let's continue. You, y'all are fucking crazy today in terms of All the right. fucking chat, we're and I'm loving it. Uh, we're good to go on the food end, guys. Thank you for helping me select there. I actually appreciate it. Was it Karen? Who basically was telling me what was more, more legitimately, uh, you know, traditional for barbecue. I appreciate that help. Okay. Um, more shout outs. Jesus, this preaching will never end. More shout outs. Um, Alice Telemont gave me $5. And you know what's mind blowing? My son was three when I started watching. Hold the fuck up. Jerry D. Jerry D. Jerry D. Yeah, uh, Lacky Bracky, sometimes my chat does freeze. I do not know why. Um, I apologize. Um, it just, uh, it just bursts in and I apologize. But Jerry D says, I retired at 35 and the hobby is the key. Uh, Bruh, whose who's dick do I have to suck to learn how the fuck you retired at 35? Or were you just that driven at the age of four? Because that is impressive as fuck. Oh, I don't have to ask if my chat is frozen. No, I do. I totally have to ask sometimes if it's frozen, because sometimes it does. <laughs> you sold a family business. Okay. Uh, Spanrax says, do I like UFC? So I like watching it. I don't know a lot about the fighters themselves. Um, it's, it's kind of one of those things that I'm sure it's what I am to several people. I'll put it on, on a, on a week, on a weekend, just to kind of see, you know, people go at it and be like, Hey, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah, you was lucky. Hey, good to be. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Chad is active, unlike Phil's. He often asks for... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I caught that. I just... I didn't read it initially. Sometimes I, I skim. King Be Cruel says, I've been out of the snore text for a while, but I can't believe Phil fucking doubled down on the he's like me for riff bro after beating like a bag. This man is insane and a bigger lol cow. King Be Cruel, like, I'm glad you broke the fucking uh, pig gnosis because you got it. Crocheting, to be specific, says Feral Gaming. Fur, fur, fur. <laughs> Fighter 4. Now he's almost 16. He's, and watch him play Elden Ring. He played you online in Super Turbo. Process that, yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? Hey, listen, when I was growing up, no one knew that you would ever have an ability to share your life with people over the internet. Hey, right? hey, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Prophet of Ovan, working on career change myself, going into agriculture tech for map making and database. still got a ways to go before retirement. War. Still worth it so far. Dude, agriculture's big money. Big, big money. Gee, Woody, when I turned 40, my friends threw a big party for me and we had a band play. Quick question, quick question, quick question. Because I know y'all are fucking internet fucking weebs like I am. Is anybody, X in the chat, X in the chat if you are. Doesn't have to be the official, you know, bro side Phil X. But X in the chat if you are. How many Cowboy Bebop fans do we have in my chat? Just out of curiosity. Oh. My children. My children. Guess what my 40th birthday present was. Fuck it. Let's, uh, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll wait until some people get some fucking from throws out there. A woman that could kick my ass. Oh my God. If I got Faye Valentine for my birthday or Julia, I would not be here. I'd be fucking their brains out. Just letting you know. Girlfriend dressed as Faye. Oh, mm, she could pull it off too. She really could. But the purple hair box set. No, I already own it. I got an IWI Jericho 941. Full steel. The correct model. And if you are not a super fan like I am, or like I am, or a lot of us are, an IWI Jericho 941 is Spike's pistol. And it is fucking perfect. Oh, fuck, no, it is not Airsoft, G. Woody. I live in the Midwest. I can own guns. It was, you know, what a crazy thing. 
how, how life has turned out. You never would have thought, thought any of this stuff coming. Eternal Napalm, $25, happy birthday, 40 is a big milestone. No, 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 no. It ain't no replica, King B. Cruel. It is an IWI Jericho. Donut, I hope you have a fun day. Thank you, Eternal Napalm. Appreciate that. It's good to see you here today. And Big Papa Pump to be $1.50 says 200 likes during the free stream podcast. It'll be a great day. Did we? I have not even looked nor talked about it. I no, man. It is full steel, 9 millimeter. It is sexy as fuck. I've not even given it a single glance. We are currently at 207 likes and climbing here on the free stream podcast, guys. Thank you for all your support. And now, oh my God. Oh, oh now I got to compare. He says he's at 207 likes. Uh, I got to see if y'all are fucking, you know, maintaining or not. See, we only got 55 likes according to my fucking chat. So, y'all are fucking scrubs, and I hate all of you now. Uh, fuck all of you. No, I'm joking. I don't hate all of you. I love all of you. There's more YouTube contributions. Um, I... Hmm, will this get me in trouble? With, well, pictures of guns get you in trouble on YouTube, doesn't it? I think it I'm thinking it does. Kevin Bernstein is talking about the podcast being on Spotify. I've never uploaded anything to Spotify. I don't even, even visit Spotify. So, if there's anything there that's, that's it's mine, it's, it's a lie. It's totally yes, like... So, like, zero. Lacky Bracky is correct. You are all lazy for not super chatting me and gifting more memberships. I hate all of you. Uh, uh, and King B. Cruel is obviously King B. Bitch. Uh, so, I'm joking. Faze the Queen B, not into hentai, what, but would smash. Jerry D, um, uh, you can call me the Incredible Hulk. Did a 10 year old super chat saying your stream was like a bond? Uh, Kat, I was, I was actually going to show the two that are mounted behind my right shoulder. Fire. In a hostile online world, we could all sit down around it, feel safe, and have a moment of respite. Happy birthday, and thank you for the good times. That was a nice thing to say. Seriously, my podcast, my streams, are the bonfire in the middle of a From Software game where we can all relax together. That I, His stream is the bonfire that we can sit in front of a FromSoft game. I would lay on my own sword if Phil was the fire that is in a FromSoft game. It's awesome that you said that. I actually really appreciate that. By the way, this podcast is almost two hours long. I just noticed the camera's crooked. That's my high level of professionalism. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, FN57, of the, the only fucking pistol that runs a fucking rifle around. I, yep, they, and they ain't cheap either. Uh, for all my gun fucking porn nuts out there, back when I was on SWAT, my issued rifle was a MP5 SD full auto. Gentlemen, the vote for a vest or a jersey is hot and heated. Is 1%, no, 2% towards vest. All right. So last chance, if anyone has a last minute question, something else that they want to chat about, now's your chance because we're going to end the pre-stream in just a minute here and actually jump into the conclusion of Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, I'm going to... Oleander Rainbow says, that. admittedly, Spike is kind of cute. No lie. Uh, I'd go I'd go buy for Spike. Reiterate the order of events today. Ghostwire Tokyo will conclude. Probably only going to take about 90 minutes. Then we're going to do some Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Then it's time for the food, Feasting with the King. Then it's Elden Ring. And then end tonight, it's Kirby. FPS, bro side Phil. FPS, bro, first person shooter, bro. I suck at first person shooters. Kirby. That's the order I'm playing the games. I will change the stream appropriately to say what game I'm playing. I will tweet out when I begin playing each game so people will know when to join the stream. Okay? Okay. There's, what was the name of the, the Hawaiian restaurant? I'm not going to say Derek. I'm not, you have to understand something. There's a million people who fucking are assholes out there. I'm, what is the uh, restaurant, the Hawaiian restaurant? Well, this. let's see if we can't do this. Let's see. DSP Renton address. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I better type in the full dark side fill. Dark side fill. Renton address. DSP Gaming Renton, Washington. There we go. Uh, okay, so we copy out the 17505 110 Lane Southeast 30. Copy. We paste. And then we say Hawaiian restaurants near. Hawaiian restaurants near. And we get. He's either at Aloha Grill, Simon says, L&L Hawaii. He went to L&L Hawaiian Barbecue, hands down. Just because it says Hawaiian Barbecue on it, that's where he went. I guarantee it. See how hard that was, children? I'm not going to say shit about shit. If I do, then, then problems begin. All right? I'm not doing that. I'm not exposing information. Whoa, whoa, whoa. SDs are the dog's bollocks. You don't like you don't like integrally suppressed, Mixidious? Uh, thank you. Pro Tooth himself. He says, happy birthday. I hope for another uh, 40. Guts is here today. He says, happy birthday. Hope you treat yourself well. I mean, treat myself. We'll be eating food and chilling with you guys on stream today. That's the treating of myself today. <sighs> oh, a, a reference to FPS Kyle. Uh, FPS Kyle. I know FPS Russia, and I know he can't do that shit no more. I don't know who FPS Kyle is. Oh, FPS. Okay, so it wasn't FPS Russia. Uh, have a nice day. Ooh, excuse yeah. Me. Nim Duo says, Big Ups, I'll see you for Kirby tonight. Sounds good. And I will tweet when we go live with Kirby later tonight so you guys know. All right. Big Papa Pump just hit me a dollar fifty. 
He says, oh, podcast, you mentioned you don't drink while gaming anymore. Will you still do the drinking Christmas event? Oh, FPS Kyle is FPS Russia. And don't tell the trolls what restaurant. Exactly. Um, no, I, I do still do drink only during the Christmas event. But I still don't get drunk. I drink. He drinks but doesn't get drunk. Uh, X to doubt. You know. So, uh, eggnog, I listed, I had, what was it, that cinnamon apple whiskey or whatever. But no, I don't, uh, I'm not going to be drinking until I get sick. Uh, Aleandro Rambo says there's only one Guts, and he has a big-ass sword. Aleandro, you need to fucking marry me. Uh, you know who fucking Guts is. You be, mm. Heather, you and Aleander can be part of my, ne you know what, never mind, that's going too far. That's going too far. It's or whatever, but yeah, Christmas is the exception. Yep. I know it was a character. I know it was a character. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. That's what people told me. So we're not doing the boss tonight. In fact, I would purposely say even if we get to the boss, that's where we'll end tonight's stream. Okay? When did I move from Twitch to YouTube? Last year in April, they basically kicked me out of the partner program with zero justification. They tried to... Hateful slurs. Hello, Jew. Half ass an explanation. And I said, that's great. Can you give me evidence of what you're accusing me of? And they never responded ever again because they knew legally they had nothing. They were assholes. Are you serious? Legally, they had nothing. Legally, they had nothing. Legally, they had nothing. Are you fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. He's drinking wheelchair donations. They, they kicked me out. They kicked Wings of Redemption out. They kicked a ton of content creators out last year with no actual legal justification for some odd reason. I don't know what it was. Maybe there was some... Oh, he's retconned it back to harmful language now, huh? Sponsor or something they were bringing in, and they felt that people who had high trolling rates basically were like bringing down the site. Who knows? But I did nothing wrong, and they punished me for it. So I said, "Fuck them," and I left, and I came back over here to YouTube, and I've been streaming here ever since. I think it was—I want to say it was late April, but it might have been early May when I started. I think it was early May when I full time started streaming. Bruh, Jewish men grow better mustaches than whatever is on Phil's uh, face. L read the book *A Man's Search for Meaning*. It's about a uh, a Jewish man who uh, a philosopher, psychologist, psychologist that made it through uh, the Holocaust. He made it through the camps, right? Oh my God! You read that book, and then you hear Phil whine about how the internet is mean to me. I, I, I know that the trope Thanos was right is you know cringe, but when it comes to Phil, Thanos was right. Me here for good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Skis TV says they pick and choose who to ban on regardless of their policy. Oh my yeah, god, he's way, drinking policy, sperm! If they, they accuse me of something that they could not provide any evidence of, yet they still withheld, they still upheld their decision, which is illegal. You can't do it. Bruh. It's illegal? Like there should be criminal charges filed? You want to put that in front of a lawyer? You want to put that in front of a, a detective? And actually say that to their face and then cry as you get laughed out of the office? So I could sue them if I want. I'm not going to because I don't have the time or means. I'd rather just put out positive content over here on YouTube and focus on the future rather than suing those who have done me wrong in the past. So. Oh, gee, Woody, I know that that's what he does. I know that he's going to fucking retcon everything that happens to him because, yeah, that's just how it works. It's when you know somebody has grown beyond the teenage, early 20 mindset is when somebody says, hey, do you remember the time that you were, and they insert cringe item here, or they insert where you were a piece of shit here, or they insert where you did the wrong thing here. When the person responds with, yep, I did that. They are a different caliber. They've owned it. There's not, yep, I did that, but... There's not, yep, I did that. And my justification is, is, yep, I did that. And typically followed by an, uh, and I've apologized or I do apologize. I should have never, I was wrong. Typically is a good indicator as well. The second there is deflection, they're 18 year olds. They're 18 years old again. They can, you know, do whatever they want with their site. I want nothing to do with it. <clears throat> really? Your mom made homemade sushi? That's awesome, Darren. No, I never had, never had homemade sushi before, but I do like sushi in general. Yeah, Richard Williams. I'm different now than three minutes ago. No, Eternal Leapop, that's something else. He said, didn't they ban you and admit they banned you wrongly? Yes, that was another time. So they kicked me out of the partner program, and then they said I'd done something wrong. I said, okay, show me evidence of what you're saying, because I didn't do it. And then they never provided any evidence and never responded ever again, because they knew they had no evidence. That's what you do. You ghost someone when you basically did something wrong, right? Then a month later, they outright banned me from the site, claiming, well, not banned, but suspended, claiming I said a racist word that I never said, and then I completely... Except you totally did. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am getting ready to potentially collaborate with somebody... And we're getting, we're looking up what to collaborate with or what to collaborate on. Returnal is one of them. And, uh, oh, that's where he, he, he drops a hard R in there. Uh, I'm not spoiling it. It's somebody I said, but, uh, I don't want to spoil it. 
complained and they unbanned me immediately and I said, I'm out of here. Why am I going to stick around? I'm not in the partner program anymore. They obviously have no professionalism. G. Woody says, oh yeah. He sees being told he's wrong as being accused, like it's a state of victimhood. If I were a psych major writing my grad dissertation, it would be on DSP. I have said he should be studied in the collegiate community. He should be a doctoral thesis. Like, it's, yeah. Richard Williams, when it happened, he said they had no responsibility to tell him why now it's illegal. Magically. Magically, of course. Yeah. Bill had an anti-Semitic hissy fit over dead space. You don't get to have the moral high ground. Exactly. Exactly. Their fucking business, they can go to hell. And I left. No scrupulous, as I said earlier, or actually, uh, scrupulous. As I said earlier on this podcast, as you get older, you don't care about presents anymore. You just care about experiences. I had a really nice day yesterday with my wife. I'm planning on having a really good day here today with you guys. That's my birthday present. That's all I care about. Experiences. What experiences has he, has, has he had? He, ha he doesn't travel. He doesn't go see concerts. He doesn't, he doesn't experience anything. I... <laughs> oh, let's see here. Uh, Big Papa Pump gave me $1.50 and says... Twitch is corrupt. They don't investigate. They just use automated systems. They don't have the honor to hone up and apologize. I mean, again, if, if really what they had said was true and said, Phil, you had done something wrong. Okay, just show me the evidence. Seriously, cite an example of something I did wrong and I'll say, all right, whatever. They didn't, they never responded. They don't care. They, they, they literally just do whatever they want and feel like they can get away with it. Of course, then they got sued by Dr. Disrespect and lost a ton of money in a settlement because they were wrong doing it to him. So now I... Okay, so but you and Dr. Dick Disrespect are not the same person, nor are you the same caliber. It, it, it just isn't, that's just not the way. I guarantee you there's probably a pipeline of people suing the fuck out of them. So good luck with that. But Experiences of receiving tips, Michael A. Before e. Yeah, that would be... Hey, look, I'll... Like I said, if I could... Uh, if I could find the way to do it that it wasn't exploiting... Um, mentally deficient people, fuck. If I was making Phil's kind of money, I'd quit my job. I'm not going to be a part of that crap. Okay, can we stop talking about the bullshit drama? I really don't care about it at Twitch anymore. Who gives a fuck about that site? It's a fucking piece of shit. <clears throat> No, it's not. They make millions, if not billions of dollars no, a year. Thank you, Darius. Happy 40th birthday. I love you got to make your birthday cake yesterday. Me too. For two zones, if members go for reaction video falls short, but you get like 390 out of 400, will you extend the deadline? What's the point? The point of a goal is to hit the goal within the criteria. Right now we're at 361. If people really want to see me react to that video like they told me they did for five fucking years since it came out. If you want my honest take on it, my opinions, more information about the things discussed in that video, if that's what you want, become a member. If not, don't. And if we don't hit the goal, there's no demand for it and I can move on and say, well, I tried. I guess it was a vocal minority of people who were screaming all these years and it wasn't actually something people wanted. What a piece of fucking shit. Uh, Woodford Reserve, Joshua. I, I, I love the fact you heard the cork go and the liquid pour because I did not mute my, my mic for that reason alone. Snake guy, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. And I'm going to back it up. I want to get the context of what I was thinking before I got distracted. AD, ADD, people. Since it came out. If you want my honest take on There it is. There it is. If you want this, if you want that, you'll notice my community page is filled with, unless you're a member, sometimes I try to do member stuff only, but most of the time it's, it's out to everybody, which is, what do you guys want me to do? What do you want me to see? What do you or want me to see? Want me to comment on for you to see, right? And it's, I like I said, there was the one day I got the the. It was a total with the members and every of seventy three dollars. I was doing backflips. Uh, Nor Scout has hit me with like a fucking twenty. I've got a couple fivers, a couple twos, a couple ones. I'm fucking ecstatic about this fucking stream. I've been above like seventy fucking viewers the whole fucking time. This is this is just fucking monumental for me. My my bit is. What brings you back, right? Not, not what can I make money on? What, what can you tell me you want to see by spending money? No, 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 no. I don't. You tell me. I'll do it. You get the majority to do it, which is why they're mostly open polls. Okay. Uh, people who just show up, they voted for this, and a whole bunch of members voted for the opposite. Well, unfortunately, members, everybody else voted for this. Maybe that sucks, but that's the way it works. Maybe it's a troll. I don't give a shit. But I'm not charging you. I'm not going to charge you for what do you want to see. And the, 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 the fact that he's like, oh, yeah, if you guys really want to see this. Like, imagine imagine really wanting to see him react to uh, Down the Rabbit Hole, right? And all the members want to see him react to Down the Rabbit Hole. And so all the members, all, what is it, what is it at this point? Hold I on. Opinions. More information about the things discussed in that video. That's 300, 361. 361 members say, we want React to down the rabbit hole. And he says, 
Well, I guess you better get to 400 members. Like, who the fuck does that? Who? Yeah, democracy, not in the Helldivers way. Who the fuck says, if you, if you, my 360 people, who pay me $3.99 a month to be my members, if you want to see that, you need to find more people who want to see that. Richard Williams, he did that this fucking post. He said, he said, I sent out a poll. If you weren't here for the beginning, Phil said, I sent out a poll. What type of food do you want to see me eat? And he said, do you want to see American barbecue? Do you want to see Hawaiian barbecue? He went to bed the night before he closed the poll and Hawaiian barbecue was at 60% versus 40%. He woke up the next day. Traditional barbecue was at 51%. Regular or and Hawaiian barbecue was at 49% or 50% or whatever. And he goes, well, that's obvious trolls. And so he went with Hawaiian barbecue. Like, how? Every, look, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I don't like me. I, I have watched my streams back and went, oh my God, it sounds like I'm begging like Phil. Or it sounds like I'm trying to sneak beg like Phil. Or it sounds like I'm trying to, to con somebody like Phil. And I don't, I, I don't like it. I don't know how to joke about it while not sounding like I'm actually asking for, I'm trying to figure out how to make it ironic yet not sound like it's actually genuine. I'm still failing. I'm sure I failed this time on this stream, but every time this is why I, I was, I, every time I've brought it up in a joking manner, I've said, nor scout, please don't do it. Cause nor scout has hit me with 20 bucks today. And that is fucking crazy because this stream is not worth 20 bucks. It's not. It's me talking to you people, 77 of you at this moment. A grand total, I think we got up to 1.85. That ain't worth 20 bucks. The fact that you guys subscribe memberships and all that jazz and do the super chats and all that is, Im it is humbling to me. It makes me feel bad because... I feel like I'm stealing from you. And when Phil comes out and says, well, I have, I have this thing that you guys want to see, but you have to fucking earn it with money. It, it's fucking disgusting to real push ups on my floor. I actually, Hey, I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it. Cause I can't aim the camera to, to look over there, but King Be Cruel re-upped for a month as a gym newbie. King Be Cruel, you are my boy. I love you. Uh, Feral Gaming, Broside Phil, shut up and take our money. Lackey Bracky, the fact you feel this way alone makes you feel infinitely better than feel. That audio killed me. Guys, I love you. G. Woody says, reminding people there is a way to contribute is way different than transferring responsibility for your financial situation to your audience. You don't come on and tell us we are obligated to pay. G. Woody, no jokes. Thank you. Just I did thank you. I real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. Jerry D. is now making me feel bad because not only did Jerry D. become a member, he became a member of the Gym Rat Tractor Squad. That is the top tier. And that was not the... That is not the point of moving on. Let's keep going because otherwise I'm going to fucking feel on, bad. Become a member. If not, don't. And if we don't hit the goal, there's no demand for it. And I can move on and say, well, I tried. Yes, I Aliander, just interact, share, and like the damn stream. Thank you. Big Papa Pump, just give me another dollar fifty. However, Jerry T, thank you so much. King B. Cruel, thank you so much. You start to ask to pay for your Pornhub premium subscription, we'll have to talk. Look, you don't understand, Michael, A before E. I get the real good porn from fucking King B. Cruel. Not the porn from King B. Cruel. I just, I get the good porn from Pornhub Premium. You should pay for that. But King B. Cruel with the $2. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. I, thank you. Snake guy with the fiver. Better than Phil. Been a big fan of you since I was around 100. You're going to make me fucking cry. 
And it's a gun to make me loathe this man and laugh my ass off. Snake guy, you have entered my new uh, realm of I hope you get the gifted membership next month when I give them out. Because I can only give out 10 a month. And I've already given out my 10 and... I, I need to stop drinking whiskey because now I'm getting emotional. Joshua, fuck you! You hit it! You hit it before I even said it. God fucking damn it. Yeah. Gee, Woody, God. I fucking love all of you. I love you guys so fucking much. Thank you. But I don't I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Snake Guy, your shit should come through shortly. Gee, Woody, your shit as well. I don't know why the delay, but thank Thank you. King Be Cruel, that is something I try and do. As a matter of fact, it probably gets me... Because I know there's a strategy... I've heard. I can't say there is. There is a strategy I have heard that... that I need the, that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. 17. Snake Guy donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Better than Phil. Been a big fan since you were around 100 subs. You and Eats and M make me loathe this man and laugh my ass off. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. 17, I... <sighs> oh, fuck. I do 25 foot push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's no way you could see it, because I can't aim the camera to, to look over. I'm sorry. I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it, because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it, because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I did 25 I'm sorry. push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, I'm but gonna, there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. I'm going to mute for a second, okay? I'm I did sorry. I 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill. The internet bill. Boncho donated $9.99 through Super Chat. Actual chill interaction and fun. Michael, a before he upgraded to Gym Rat Tractor Squad as well. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm on mute for a second. Okay, um, so fuck emotion, I am a man, and uh, of course, right after Snake Guy, it's mainly to be emotional, dude, it's okay, fuck you, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh. You know what, Bloodstone Fortress, if I'm sounding like real wings for now, I'm okay with sounding like wings for now. Um, you know what, it's, you ain't my therapist, y'all ain't my therapist, you don't need to know it, but at the same time, it's been a weird fucking like two or three weeks at lackey bracky i probably full-on phil whimpered at this point and i'm okay with it i i really am um at god damn it michael michael i did 25 real push-ups on my floor i actually did I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But Yeah, I'm pattern mashing the emotions. I am exploiting all of you. I want you to know that. That is exactly what I am doing. I am exploiting all of you. Uh, this is by design. I don't know what design because I'm a fucking retard. But, you know, 
Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Michael. Oh, I see. Big ups. Says, <laughs> God damn it. Michael A before E. Fuck it, man. Let's make, make happy, happy shit and rage filled moments. That's why you're here. Right. And you like the Hawaii. I do like that. I hope I don't. Azadi. I... Oh my God. I'm. I am so sorry. I, uh, I'm, I lost my mom back in July and, um, yeah, man, if, uh, or gal, I actually don't know, but if you, uh, if you need to, uh, talk at all, man, I don't know how much help I could be, but, um, Jesus Christ, my condolences. Thank you for being here. Like, and thank you for trusting us enough to tell us about that. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to respond to the last five minutes. Um, I love all of you. I, you know, Atlas comes in here. He's, he's bombed me a couple times. His community is fucking fire. This community is fucking fire. And I sometimes I feel like it's it's I, I've been critiqued before for it being too because uh, I, I was making jokes about to uh, like that being said, I'd said stuff like, hey, bring me on your podcast as a joke when I was very early on in my 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 you know, December, January spiel. So I was like 400, 500 subs or whatever. And Jerry D. Skullman sent me. Skullman, I love, I love Atlas, man. He's younger than me, much younger than me and much smarter than me, I feel in many ways. But, um, I've been, I've been told that sometimes I, I come across as too fillish almost, almost like I am begging. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. And I don't, I don't mean for that to happen. And just the, give the doggos a good hug, says McSidious. God fucking damn it. And, I did 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. God damn it, Navy. Why does, I, I believe Navy vet was a, was a gym neophyte. That's three ninety nine or two ninety nine, I think. And to just jump it from neophyte to gym rat tractor squad is two dollars. It's two bucks. Why the fuck is this hitting it, hitting me? This uh, whatever. I'm. We need to keep watching shit because this is fucking embarrassing. The Hawaiian too. It's all stuff I've never, like literally everything I just ordered I never had. So I'm excited. Hopefully it's really good. No six seventy two. We haven't decided between WWE or Star Wars yet. We're getting it. Okay. So right now, guys, the vest is, is leading the poll, so let's just go ahead and do it. Let's do now a poll for the type of vest. Aleandra, you're not wrong. I, Feral Gaming, I don't... I wear glasses by default. I don't have gunner glasses. I have my regular glasses. <laughs> we will do the original beige, the red, the gold, and denim. No, we're not doing platinum. It's hot today. It's actually warmer temperatures. The sun is beating on the office wall. I'm going to be in here all day long. I'm not wearing the heavy vest and sweating my balls off. I see, and that's how you know okay. he's a bitch because I, right, as you so, can tell from my from my profile, not my profile, my avatars, I am wearing the platinum vest already. That's right. It's time to end the pre-stream. It's one of the longest pre-streams I've ever done, but we have a lot to talk about, obviously. Thank you for your overwhelming support during this pre-stream. I'm going to take a brief break to take a leak, and we're going to jump into Ghostwire Tokyo and finish the game. I'm going to update the stream. I'm going to tweet it out so you guys know. All right? Um... And go from there. All right, guys? Fair enough. Thank you. Let's end the pre-stream and let's get going. Sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, that is his fucking 40th birthday. And I don't care he had $300. I don't care that he got all the fucking shit that he did. Whatever. I love all of you. Um, and... The art style of my gifted style avatar makes the vest look like DBZ's trunks to co tiny coat thing. That is correct. Um, it actually what now to be fair, it wasn't gifted because I would not accept it just as a gift. I paid for this um, because I wanted to increase. I wanted to improve my content. So I actually bought it. Now, 
the next item on the agenda, because y'all have been absolutely bonkers fucking insane, is um, the, the, the pasta, which... Uh, let's see here. Pop. No, that's a pop out. Hey, house. Thank you for subscribing. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Um, there it is. DSP cooks it. That's what I'm looking for. DSP cooks it is up next. We're going to watch him uh, make fucking pasta. Right. And I'm going to have to make some adjustments here real quick. But after I make the adjustments, I do. I, I, I hope you guys don't mind. I would like to collect myself. I'm fucking muted. I've been muted this whole fucking time <sighs> because I said alt when I, when I'm adjusting my fucking shit, God damn it. When I'm adjusting my shit, I use alt alt is also my mute key. Uh, I should really think about this before I fucking do it. Uh, and I don't because I'm an absolute fucking moron and, uh, yeah, being a moron. It, yeah. I apologize. In any case, what I was saying was I am going to take a break for just a moment to use the restroom and collect myself because um, this has kind of been fucking weird for me in terms of, um, well, any of it really. What the fuck? Now this shit's fucking broken. I apologize because now I'm having to hit alt again, which mutes me. So hold That should be it. That should be, yes, that should be absolutely everything. Yes, I'm holding the stream hostage. That is correct. Um, look, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. And, uh, it's like most of us broken. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am holding the stream hostage. No more content. Let you, let me, I don't even have to poop. I just have to piss real quick. I promise. And, um, Oh, I was scared. Thought it was me. The stream has no sound yet. No, I, I, I saw. It. I'm sorry. Um, I yeah, I paywalled you. I paywalled you until I get more fucking <laughs> members and super chats. I'm not coming back. No, uh, literally, I just have to take a piss real quick. Uh, less than two minutes. I promise. I'm gonna. I am gonna mute while I'm gone because my dogs like to be assholes sometimes. Uh, the midstream shit coming in nicely, tubes. That is correct. Not a shit. I promise. Just a piss. But I will be right back. Then we will go through how terrible of an Italian uh, Mr. Mr. Filbert is. And we'll go from there. Before I, before I do go, um, one more time. Uh, thank you all so much. And I love you. I will be right back. Thank you so much. Be right back.
All right, so I am composed and masculine again. Um, I do apologize for being MS, uh, you know, being feminine there for a minute because I am, I am bro side Phil. God damn it! Fuck, gotta shut my door real quick. Hold on. All right, so I have returned, and I was actually thinking in the four and a half seconds that it took uh, to me for me to piss. Um. So I was thinking, what would happen if Phil did the whole being, actually, he's done it before, hasn't he? Where he's been genuine and like, oh, I feel bad or I this or I that. And he's broken down or whatever. Nobody, I didn't believe why he broke down, but he's broken down before. I'm wondering how long it would take him before he did another breakdown like that. Didn't get as much support from the previous breakdown and was like, I don't know what you guys want from me. I broke down. Okay. I broke down and I didn't get any tips and I didn't get any super chats. And I got, I don't know what you guys want. I'm crying like you want me to. And anyway, so yeah, post breakdown rage bag. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, broside style scorn clip. Oh, fuck. Don't. don't Lacky bracky. That's, that hurts. Ha, oh, sissy by side, Phil. It makes sissy in the name of you to change bro to sis. Hey, whatever. That's good. Use, using pity to attract currency. That is correct. Ack, ack, ack. All right. DSP cooks it. Uh, I don't remember who recommended this, but whatever. It is a fucking series. Let's fucking go. All right, everyone. So this Ooh, is that's a loud. big day. Today, I'm going to attempt to make... Is that better? ...a pot of my famous family recipe. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, because that was super loud for me. Uh, I'm let, I'm asking just real quick, is that... I, I dropped it down to quite a bit down. Is that better, quieter, or is it better where it was? Handed down through the generations, Italian homemade sauce. That eye roll, though. Oh, my God. Back it up. Back it up. After he says sauce. Down through the generations, Italian homemade sauce. Yes. Oh, my God. And stuff out here. Water out here. Why the fuck does he have all this shit? How much sauce is he making? <laughs> Trying to clean up the countertops a little bit. So I have as much room as possible. I'm surrounded by ingredients. I surrounded by ingredients. Fuck, dude. Make the goddamn sauce. I really am. I'm surrounded by different things that we're going to be using <clears throat> to make the sauce, including a giant pot, various herbs and spices. Oh, my God. Different spoons and such. Bruh, you are not KFC. And, of course, over here... All kinds of ingredients that we're going to use to whip up not only sauce, but some homemade meatballs as well. Dude, how about you take these nuts in your mouth? My God. I... So, God damn it. Wrong, wrong move. I'm... Disaster stream. Disaster stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there we go. That's what I was wanting to do. Want to make this just a little bit bigger. That's what she said. Uh, here we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically prepare some of the ingredients uh, that you need to get and, and uh, toss into... Okay, before he goes through this whole fucking thing, which I see is like a fucking hour long, here's, here's how my gal makes hers, okay? You take one pound of turkey meat, you take one pound of very hot Italian sausage. You brown them, you get the, you know, broken up, whatever. After that, you add in the veggies, which is a green bell pepper, an onion, and a, and uh, you actually saute mushrooms on a, in a different pan until they are, like, buttery. You saute them in butter. Once the vegetables are cooked, the uh, green pepper and the... Oh, uh, also, she throws in serrano peppers and uh, sometimes habaneros to smack the bitch out of you. After you do that, you take... Uh, 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 marinara, typically a spicy type of marinara, two of those, you dump that in on top, you let that marinate, you add in the, the, the mushrooms. It takes all of about 30 minutes to do. And that's the sauce that does like a pound and a half or two pounds of spaghetti. That's it. Better than anything I have ever had. Fucking amazing. Feral Gaming is telling me to hit the alt key. Fuck you, I'm not hitting the alt key, I'm not gonna mute, eat my ass. <laughs> Let's keep going. To this pot. 
in order to get a base, which basically the goal is going to be to coat the bottom of the pot with certain ingredients before you start actually adding the vegetable. What the fuck was that? I, I'm not even, I'm not moving. I'm not moving until I hear that. Veg, okay, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I did hear it. We're backing it up. We're hearing it again. Certain ingredients before you start actually adding the vegetable. What the? F this man is an alien. Components that are going to be the meat of your sauce, so to speak. Okay. Yeah, th this is obviously before uh, Steadicam existed. So I actually have right here, this is a notebook that is... Oh, it's a notebook. Is that what it is? Because I thought it was a goddamn camera. Over a decade old. Is it though? And I, I love Panda. I love Panda right now, who is on her, on her, is that a, it's a DS. She's on her DS going, I give absolutely zero fucks about what this man is saying. It's a notebook that... Feral gave me do it again at half speed. Not this time. Back when I was moving out of my parents' house... For the very first time, I believe it was like 2004, uh, that I wrote down the actual... Why is he wearing gloves? ...actual recipe on how to make the homemade Italian sauce. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you the whole recipe. And the goal of this video, or these videos, that because there is definitely going to be several videos, is not to show you step by step okay so he's got panda in his house she is of age at this point is she not if she is of age the question becomes how is she not on her back with her legs touching her ears i shouldn't have said that i should not have said that let's keep going how to make it because let's face it cooking is not exactly an exact science even though there may be a recipe everyone's going to turn a recipe into their own creation dependent on their own personal tastes and how things turn out. No, no, no. That is not the whiskey talking snake guy. That is not the whiskey talking. We are far away from you. You got a little bit of emotion out of me from the whiskey talking. That ain't the whiskey talking. Not, not this time. In this particular case, Gray Fox. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because the hotel video, she was actually begging. It looked like. I can't say for sure because I can't express, you know, the consent that she would want to have. But just... Put... Moving on. I'm going to get in trouble. I am going to... Somebody, if I ever run for politics, somebody is going to bring this video up. To add a couple elements to the sauce that is not in this recipe. And in fact, I remember the last time that I made the recipe, there were one or two things that I, I didn't like about it that I'm going to try to adjust on the... Oh, uh, Graymore, I am... I... I know, but I can't say that for sure because there's no way to consent unless you actually state that there is consent and smash cat, <laughs> smash like, like you would smash panda. That's that. There you go. Smash cat like the like button. Fly today as I make the sauce. So the way that it works is that you basically prep everything. You're going to have to get. Yep. Polar ring. You're not wrong. Again, you're not wrong. Chop. And again, the proud Italian heritage, you know, Rocky Balboa had part of the proud Italian heritage, which was the Italian stallion, right? That's supposed to be the Italian heritage. Fucking studs, right? And uh, Jerry D, you're right. I, I think it's the TISM or the OCD because I would, I actually lay my, my utensils out for a preparatory like that. I do. Veggies chopped salt pork all different th we have lost the entire uh, female watch base of this video based on like the last four minutes alone if if, if heather or fucking unirage or oleander is still here i am just sorry for us in general things toss it into the pot get the pot base going then as that's going then you make the meat in this mixing bowl to make the meatballs you set the meatballs aside and then we're and actually going to let's let's right, ladies and gentlemen, hand grate tomatoes. That's how you really make sauce. Hand grate to bro. That's like, do, do tell me that is iced tea in that glass because I'm borderline alcoholic and I'm looking at that glass going, Jesus Christ, that's a heavy pour. You don't buy the shit from the store. Heather P and Aleander, you guys are the fucking you guys are fucking ballers. I love you. Or 
right? Most people say, oh, I'm going to make sauce, and then they just, you know, they base some tomato paste or whatever. Okay, yeah, I did, did I not see tomato paste on the fucking countertop? Where are the tomatoes? Whatever. And they'll, they'll, you know, toss a few herbs and spices into it. That's not sauce. You need to hand grate the tomatoes in order for it to be real and genuine. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then, of course, adding all that to the pot. Um, and then it basically once Oleander, you have your exactly. sauce together and you've added the meat to the sauce in the pot, the pot needs to simmer all day long. It is a four to four and a half hour long process. You, you would think that this man is describing the cure for cancer the way he is describing this. And, you know, a lot of people don't have the patience for it. Four to four and a half hours of, you know... Oh, uh, life hack, Aleander. If you don't have ice, uh, like I don't I don't have it upstairs. I would have to go downstairs to get ice, but I have poured uh, one since I, I uh, started up. When my ice ran out, what did I do? I have a hydro flask filled with water. Uh, I put a massive base of water in there because it's cold water, but I put a massive base of water and it's Woodford Reserve. This ain't fucking a, you know, 12 and 15 year old scotch. Cooking versus going out and buying it in a can or whatever, making a, a cheaper alternative, like I said, without the real tomatoes or whatever. And what the fuck is with the, like, are we on the X, Y axis with it? Thank you, Jerry D. Look at the rocking. What What is going on? Are we dancing? And um, no, that's how you really do it. And it's funny because what I'm, I've actually done is I've spaced out today so that I'm going to be doing something for work where I've... Re oh my God. Zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, pan up, pan down, pan left, pan right, pan down, pan down, pan right, pan... <sighs> Maybe 20 to 30 minutes I could take a break, come down here and stir the pot because that's what you need to do as it... Bitch, I will stir the pot all day long as long as it pisses you off. Simmers all day. You come down here every 20, 30 minutes, open it up, take a wooden spoon, stir it up, taste it. How does it taste? Does it need anything added? 1047. He got up four minutes ago. Does it taste too salty? Does it taste too, you know, too much of one thing or another? Adjust it on the fly, add some components as you cook it, and then continue to cook it. You know what? This is this is, should be mandatory viewing for anybody who's going to be on a flight for the first time. How well, how, how well do you do with motion sickness? So that's how it's going to work today. We're going to set it up. It takes about an hour initially to set it up and to get all the components ready for it or into it. And then we're actually going to go ahead and have it start simmering. Cruci Heather P. Holy shit. I'm going to back it up. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Now, is he on land or is he on a ship? I add some components as you cook it and then continue to cook it. So that's how it's going to work today. We're going to set it up. It takes about an hour initially to set it up and to get all the components ready for it or into it. And then we're actually going to go ahead and have it start simmering. So. Oh my God, that face she made. First things first. I'm going to start reading, get started here with what it says to do. Prepare the things for the bottom of the pot and go from there. Alrighty then. Oh my. No, no Italian music. I can't really do the stereotyped Italian music. There you go. Back that up for one second. Look, I have greasy hair. I know that. I actually use, um, what do you, what do you call it? Pomades or pomades or gels or waxes or fucking bases that try to not make my hair look waxy. He has half a vat of Crisco in that bitch. Heather P, hair helmet. That looks like it came off a Lego action figure. That is what that looks like. Now, now we know Panda has the camera. Let's see how the sway is. Italian music, I can't really do the stereotyped Italian music. There you go. <laughs> is he cutting with, I thought that was a butter knife at first. Further along the process of making the sauce, my sweetie. Is he, is he cutting with a fucking steak knife? has chopped all the garlic and started with the onion and we have put some yummy delicious salt pork in this pot once it starts coating it then we add the garlic and all the goodness no, just straight up she is more entertaining than phil has been his entire streaming career very mm -hmm. very eye-watering in here 
It's about to be because now I'm cutting the onion and you're going to really start to be affected in the eyes. Trust me. <laughs> I used to be bad. Like I used to. When I... Oh, All God right, damn so it. Mixing up our... Press the wrong goddamn button. Starts coating it. Onion services industry. All through... What did he? Oh no 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 no! We ain't missing that. He's he's apparently a chef in the service industry now. Onion, and you're gonna really start to be affected in the eyes. Trust me. <sighs> Sounds so to bored. Be bad. Like I used to, when I used to work in the food services industry. He worked in the food services industry. Somebody explain. What did he do in the food services industry? All through high school and even into college. And I used to do all this stuff with with food. Onions always got me, no matter. My God, that fucking head, though. No matter what. And my boss used to come to the back, and he used to say, "What yeah, is he doing?" It's okay. You don't have to cry. Tell me about what's going on. I'd be like, "You dick! I'm cutting onions. What do you think's going on?" Say, this did not happen. I don't. And yes, by the way, for anybody who's curious, my chat has frozen. You're going to get a bombardment of fucking incoming when it fucking catches up. I... <laughs> the slowest dicing of onions ever. ever. Michael uh, Kitchen. Yes, that is correct. 100% he worked at McDonald's, says Polar Brain. <laughs> Mr. Pika fan, Broside Phil, how do we know, because of the helmet hair, that Phil might really be a Lego man? He's stiff, a plastic personality, and is only used for one thing, entertaining his man-child fan base. There's the burst. That's not how you cut. That is not how you chop onions. I use a knife that uh, I guess it would be considered a butcher's knife. I don't know about cutlery, right? I don't, I'm not a chef. I don't know about that shit, but it's, uh, I guess, a butcher's knife, right? It's the big fucking one that I use. And is there a, this is how you don't cook. Apparently there should be. And, and you know what? White onions might make you cry more, but something tells me that if you if you were going to cut onions for this long, you were actually cutting like eight to ten onions, not one. Like, <sighs> dude. And G. Woody, Phil said he worked at a restaurant, and that's how we cut onions. When I cut onions at a fucking pizza place, you know what I did? I chopped it in half. I put it on a square slicer, which is basically a mash press. And then I slammed the fuck out of it and it cut the onion because it was much faster than halfway fucking, you know, chopping or halfway than, than just hand, hand chopping. Yeah, that's a, that's a paring knife. Even I know that I just didn't realize that it was a paring knife. I didn't know what it was called. I just, I knew it wasn't a fucking knife that you would, never mind. Gordon Ramsay would absolutely destroy him. Phil. Chef's knife. There you go. Chef's you knife. Could, please don't bring your personal problems to work. <laughs> You'd be a real dick about it. He was just, you know, he was joking, and yeah. I had a, I had thick skin, so I laughed too. But I'm sorry. He had thick skin. In what fucking universe did Phil have thick skin? Uh, that's funny. So yeah, we are preparing. Crying like a bitch. We are preparing many ingredients. Oh, she is. She was alpha in the bedroom. And I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of fucking hot. Right now. Oh god, it's hitting me. Oh many, god. Many ingredients for the sauce. Actually, this the onion I believe is actually for the meatballs. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Meatballs. The handmade meatballs. Dude, could she hint any fucking harder? Balls that we're gonna make. I have never had a handmade meatball before. Oh my. Phil, cut the camera. And dick her down. Really? Mm -mm. I'm not Italian, remember? Oh, yeah. We don't do meatballs. We do potatoes. Handmade potatoes? Yes, handmade potatoes. And more potatoes. Th Azadi, thank you. Thank you. That garlic. Onion. And that onion. Put that to the side. Let's see how our... Salt pork is doing. Okay, okay. I am vindicated from any sexual connotation whatsoever, like I'm a misogynist. Aliander Rainbow is reading the same thing I am reading, which is, would you please? You know what? I can't say that joke. It's That one's too offensive. It's just starting to warm up, so it hasn't done anything yet. I'm actually going to turn up the heat a little more just to get it initially warm. Mm -hmm. We need that salt, salt pork to coat, coat the bottom of the pot. Mm -hmm. Then we can start adding other ingredients. The snake guy, you got it. When the dicer broke, which is that thing I was telling you about, you just slam the thing down on it. 
slice and dice by hand. Cut the top stem, slice in half, quarter the slice, then you slice on the skin one side and chop away. Yep. Start our base. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Azadi, shut off the camera and go to the couch, moron, is what she's saying. I actually think she's saying, leave the camera on, I want to watch it later. Mmm, delicious sauce. Bruh! But right now, since we're waiting for that, which is perfect because you're supposed to wait for that, we're going to start making the meatballs. Which means we're going to get our chopped meat and or ground beef, which is really what it is. No, 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 no. She may hate that sauce. She wanted sauce. She wanted sauce. Of a certain type. Mix Idiot says, you know, she pegged him with a big one. Depending on her personality and depending on how, 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 uh, how many whiskeys I've had, you know what? That's an experience. I wouldn't say I'd enjoy the experience, but I might volunteer for it. And sausage pre-made, because that, no, I'm not going to make my own sausage. I mean, that's ridiculous. <sighs> Can you get an authentic Italian experience? <clears throat> the cream of some young guy, snake guy. In her own home. So. Mmm, too beef. Yeah, I need to figure out how to... Jesus fucking Christ. This is worse than Ubisoft games, or Ubisoft, or whatever the fuck he calls it. Like, highlighting the stairs, and being like, the stairs help you go up. Like, well, no shit the stairs help you go up. Why do you think I need that hint? That's, that's the level of hint that she's trying to give him. Never mind. Just never mind. Easily get these open, because I've never... There's no... Those are man titties. Way to easily get them open, at least from my experience. Scissors, maybe? I don't know. Knife's not gonna do it. Have to sterilize the scissors afterwards. Sterilize the scissor. <sighs> At one point in my life, I am sure I was this dense, and I apologize for whoever I was with at that time. Mm hmm. Yep. Mmm, tube meat. Really? They really gotta come up with more appealing packaging. Well, it just looks. Normally, I would get the one that's in the styrofoam with yeah. the plastic, but they didn't have it. Yeah, we were limited. We were limited in our selections of. The proper ratio of meat to fat. Mm -hmm. When you're actually making handmade meatballs, you actually need fatty meat. Because if you get one that's lean, you may think, oh. I did notice, however, that the, the camera is not swaying. Oh, it's healthy? Goodness. God damn it. <laughs> you know. I'm sorry. I fucking suck. I am a terrible human being. Yeah, we've gotten that part. But here we go. When you're actually making handmade meatballs, you actually need fatty meat because... Oh, I'm aware, Richard. That's, that's why I'm just letting it go at healthy. this point because... Yeah, but guess what? Your meatballs... Look, are... let me pause one more time, Mr. Williams. Here, Richard Williams. Uh, I didn't... I, there's no way I could have anticipated Panda being this horny. I did not know she was this level of fucking unsatisfied. Like... But I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. I'll just comment on top of it, I guess. We're going to turn rock hard. Mm -hmm. and that's not what you want. You want soft, tender meatballs, not rock hard meat. Oh, dear God. My grandmother tried making meatballs once. It was the worst thing I had ever tasted in my so life. So how much meat does the recipe call for? Turn the page. I thought she was going to mention about rock hard meat. 1.5 ounces. I'm sorry, 1.5 pounds, and this is... A pound? 16, so I'm only going to use half of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm going to rinse off my hand quick. His oh, stream has started and he looks like shit. He couldn't get his Cento tomatoes. We had to go, we usually go to Fred Meyer for our groceries, and we got most of the stuff except for the salt pork and I think one or two other things. 
But then we went to Safeway and they had everything we needed, including my sweetie Cento tomatoes. You need Italian tomato. Oh, is there a product? Take a listen, honey. Ooh. We you, got it. You need Italian tomatoes? What the fuck are Italian tomatoes? Finally, it's hitting the right temperature. You know what it kind of looks like? Kind of looks like little ham cubes. So what we're going to want to do. Only it's fat. As you can see, look at the fat coming off of it. See that? Starting to coat the pot. Ooh. You want to move it around until the bottom is completely coated. It's not yet. As you mm -hmm. can see, probably you know another what? minute this or two. This is my fault. I don't know if that fat will start to reduce. I feel better in there. now. And start coating. Mm. So not yet. Close, yeah, not yet. Not some of spices. All right, so there's another half thing of meat i got to take out here. It's too tight that side, this side, I guess. Ryan Camaro, Italian tomatoes are far superior to northeastern tomatoes. Right, that's about there, right? Mm -hmm. About, give or take. Ew. Meat. I'm surprised they aren't using metal in there on a fucking nonstick. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're mixing up our meat ball concoction here. Okay, mm -hmm. it looks like unfortunately I may have put a little bit too much of something because it looks a little dry. I think maybe the recipe thought that the eggs would be a little bit bigger, so I may have to add in one additional egg here because they are look, looking a little dry. But this is onion, the the uh, ground beef, bre Italian breadcrumbs, Parmesan and grated Romano cheese, and uh, deliciousness. Some eggs, maybe one or two other things. Yeah, you know what, honey, we need one more egg. Mm. We do. This is uh, too dry. Is that Sobe? Of course he has Eglin's best. Because it has the word best in it. What does this have? Yep. Mmm. Now let's check back on that salt pork. Mmm. Smells really good. Smells be different too. Why are the garlic chunks so big? Aren't you supposed to like sliver them to like release the flavor? Mm -hmm. Once it starts to actually simmer and coat the pan, you can see. Here, coat the pan, coat the pot. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. We just gotta be careful we don't want it to burn. That's why we reduce the heat so much to low. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got our extra egg. This should definitely make it a better mixture now. Mm hmm. Yes, I've never so he's made, wearing, made meatballs before. He's he's wearing gloves and not fucking hand massaging the meat. Yeah, my grandmother uh, did not know how to make meatballs. She tried one time. Mm -hmm. That was like the worst experience <laughs> of my life. I will never forget how horrible it was. I don't think anyone in my family like even had the had like the gall to take a second bite. It was horrible. No, but so I'm not saying you're supposed to sliver them like to a razor thin or anything like that, but you're supposed to chop them down. Like if you were to bite into it, you would not go, holy fuck, that's a big hit of garlic. So this is almost ready to start forming the balls. There you go. I'm just trying to make sure that's evenly distributed that egg. I don't want Yeah, no raw egg in the meatballs. That is uh, very bad. Alright, good. Okay, so So now Jerry D, he says uh, he wore a glove and didn't hand massage Panda Lee, too. Now, all I have is a mental image of Fight Club. When Tyler Durden comes out to talk to the narrator and he asks, do you want to finish her off? And he has a full-on fucking Master Shake dishwashing glove on his hand. You put my hands in anyway, so I'm not going to do that. You need to roll the balls in your hand. Size is completely up to you. You need to roll the balls in your hand. Okay. Do you like them super big, small, medium? I don't like huge meatballs. Me neither. I don't know if you make huge ones. They don't cook through as mm -hmm. well. They make it a little bit more of a raw center. And also, for making, for example, the subs, the uh, Italian... Hip no totes, not a chance. He said, today. do you think you wore gloves mm -hmm. for the incident? No. They want to be small enough so they fit on the bread. So maybe, maybe even a little smaller than that. Hmm, that's a good size, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like giant meatballs. I've been to a few places where they make them huge and it's ugh. Don't like them that size. Then again, I'm not much of a meatball person myself. God damn it, but there's... that's blasphemy to you. <laughs> there's so many jokes here. Not well. <laughs> Let's check back on that salt pork. Mmm. That quick. Turn around. 
Necroverse, he's winded because he's a former bodybuilder, don't you know? There we go. Yummy. All right, so this is going to be pretty boring, just making the meatballs. The next step is actually cooking the meatballs, mm -hmm. which will be a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. We'll be back uh, to that one. Uh-huh. Wait. Mm -hmm. So now we're adding no, our meatballs. Well, wait, the wait. The has been prepped properly. They... They pulled the garlic and the pork fat out, and they think that the oil and the gar... Okay, I'm I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Is that is that is that hand of God truth? Is does now the taste change because they had simmered pork fat and garlic on the bottom? Does that does that now change the taste? Because I would think it would not overly change the taste. It might add a hint. It might be like a, a fucking what is it? Those those. Uh, 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 La Croix, yeah, La Croix, where it's like a, a can of, of sparkling water sat next to a strawberry, right? That's what I would think it would actually season the meatballs with. Aren't you supposed to leave it in there with the meatballs, or you're supposed to, like, simmer the pot with it and then throw it into the meatball mix? And that, I don't know. This is fucking retarded, though. Mm -hmm, with the salt pork and garlic base. Correct. Man, just okay, for the so it's supposed to be too. sliced so thin it melts. Okay. So what you do, you toss them in. Mm -hmm. We already increased the heat because mm -hmm. we want them to cook through. And what we're going to do is for about 20 to 25 minutes, so if you could set that timer to 20 minutes, honey. Mm. Honey. There you go. <laughs> you got to let these cook in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And what you do, now I'm actually done. I don't need this stuff anymore. Take this off and actually use my hands. Is we are going to rotate the meatballs with tongs. Okay. Tongs. Yep. As they cook. Oh no, 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 no. That's so bad. That's that's hard steel. That's hard steel. That's a non-stick pot. Oh, god damn it. Rotate the meatballs with tongs. When these are done, you don't want them to look pink at all. You want them to look pink. They're golden brown. When these are done, you don't want them to look Because we are going to rotate the meatballs with tongs. Okay. Yep. As they cook. To make sure that they're golden brown. When these are done, you don't want them to look Who doesn't like eating Teflon with their meatballs? Pink at all. You want them to look pink. Because if they're pink, brown. they're raw. That's right. You also don't want them to look dark brown. That means you overcook them. Mm -hmm. oh, I think okay. that's what happened with my grandmother because they were... <laughs> so what we're going to do here is you just literally cook these for, like I said, the 20 minutes to 25, depending. You know, it all depends on your heat and whatever, because I'm eating high, so it looks like it's cooking quickly. Once they're done, wait, then you're going to make your sauce. Sugar, sugar to a sauce. So you take a can of, if you had a can of fucking Prego, you were like, hey, I want to make it more Italian. Isn't it like a fucking teaspoon? Maybe a, no, not a teaspoon, tablespoon? Tablespoon of sugar for a whole can of sauce, right? Or a whole jar of sauce. That's what you're supposed to do is about a tablespoon, Right. Or am I, am I completely off base? So we actually have 20 minutes of cook time here before we can actually make the sauce. Mm. And the sauce is actually made in the pot. You don't make it outside and mm. toss it in the cook area. No, it's all made fresh in the pot, right over the so stove. So you take the meatballs out and you put the sauce stuff in. Oh, uh, yes. So it's basically like a mostly one pot thing. Mmm. Shake me. Uh-huh. So we need to figure out what we put the meatballs in when they're done. They're going to ruin this <laughs> pot. In a bowl or on a plate. See, I agree. Necroverse, I've heard, I've always heard that, oh, if you're true Italian, you got to add sugar to the sauce. If you have a little bit of sugar, I've been like, okay, it doesn't really add anything for me. But then there are people who like dump sugar in it. And I'm like, why the fuck is my sauce sweet? I don't want my sauce sweet. The large plate might be, you might have to stack like two or three of them, but. Yeah, the, the garlic seems way too fucking big. And onion as well. Yep, mind the plate so it doesn't have any grease and fat. Because you don't want to eat all that, because Look, you all tell me, are you telling me this motherfucker takes a pound of fucking sugar and just like unloads it in the fucking pot? I don't believe you. See that? They're cooking. Ooh. Yes, they are. They are cooking. Of course, you gotta be incredibly careful because you do not want to destroy the shape of your meatball when you're doing it. Yeah, because if you put too much pork, yep. you squish it. It's still in Play-Doh state. Right, it's not oh, hard shit. yet. Sorry, my it bad. It takes a while to solidify. Sorry, I'm trying to... Now, but it's in a... God damn it, there we go. Mm -hmm. See the technique I'm using? Mm-hmm. 
very gently lift and then release, it'll naturally roll into a new position. Uh-huh. That one did not do it. No. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yummy. I'm doing this with every meatball. I cannot wait to try these meatballs. And Polar the sauce, brain, I've no. I've never had either of them for me before. I don't want to. Be, I had to oh, I had to wait. I had to. Are you hearing that tink tink against the fucking Teflon with the metal fucking? My teeth had to make sure that I was uh, going to stick around long enough and that I would not just take his recipe and run off. <laughs> so as they cook, they will solidify more, and that's what you want. Mm -hmm. you They'll want get that, that outer crust that's right. needed to hold them together. No. Mm. No. no. Well, that came out, but that's okay. That's all right. Because the, the thing is, it's fine as long as it's in the pot. Because all that flavor from the yeah, meatball, I mean, still going to go into it. Pot, it'll go right all that flavor. Into the meatball. Mm -hmm. It'll still add its delicious flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. So we got another about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, and I think it's going to be done by then. Mm -hmm. I, I think I made them small yeah. enough that rubber it'll be spatula. Rubber. 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 Slightly under, it doesn't matter because you're going to put those into the sauce later. Once the sauce is ready to simmer, you put the meat in, so it actually cooks further and further in the sauce over hours of time. So you don't need to worry about that. Oh, okay, there's a pattern on his shirt. I thought he was sweating. And motion for cooking yes. meatballs? Yes. Hmm, I'm learning. He fat. I new things every day. Mmm, yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. God. No, 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 no. With that, with that, what, is, what did he say it was? 80-20? You gotta fucking drain that. Party. <laughs> Yep. So we're finishing up the meatballs. Unfortunately, a few of them burnt because uh, I was chopping veggies. And I didn't have a chance to rotate it one last time before now. They're about to be done, so they're actually going to get taken out, and then we're going to start making the sauce. It just sucks that a few of them burnt, but that's the way the that's the way the meatball falls apart, I guess. All right? That's the way the meatball bounces. You a fake Italian fuck. This one fell apart right here. See? Just split. Yep. Oh well. It's okay, sweetie. I'm I gonna, still love you. I'm going to turn it down to low heat right now because it needs to be low heat to start making the sauce. You. And all these spices are gonna go into the sauce? Yep. We got leaves, we got salts, we got peppers. Mm, it's gonna be good. Yeah, they are definitely burnt. God damn it. Well. Blacky Bracky, why do you fucking hate me? Hopefully it'll tenderize it a little bit once it's in the sauce simmering for several hours. Uh -huh. They will come out like rocks, but we made them big enough that I think that they'll have some tenderness to them. Yeah, it might just not be the immediate outside. Right. Sometimes you get you eat one, and it's like got that hard crust, but the inside's soft. Man tits, my holly before e. Timer. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start taking these out. Well, you're taking them out. I thought they were supposed to. Oh god. You need to get that excess grease off of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Made me balls. Uh, yeah, meatballs never do look pretty. No matter how you make them or where you get them from, they never do have a pretty appearance. Not a Wrong. They're factory made. Ew. Because I've seen factory made meatballs that look perfectly round. You're like, you know that no human touched that. You know that they put it like in a ball <laughs> mold and squeeze it. Ugh, gross. Yeah, these are overcooked. I'm just hoping it's just the outside there that's overcooked. I think it's the just inside. the outside. It's tough because this is the, the recipe. Like I said, it's not exact science. It's a medium high heat. Mm -hmm. I added on medium high, exactly on medium high the whole time. I wish I wish I could put a camera on me because the horrified look I have on my face. And it cooks faster than the recipe calls for. That's the thing. Everyone's stove works differently too. Mm -hmm. No, it, these are perfect. Like that one right there. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. It, it, it's gorgeous, huh? It doesn't actually. The stoves don't work differently. The heat works differently. Um, and you're you're running on an electric, so it should be. Fairly consistent. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Wow. If that's gorgeous, I feel so confident in my looks. <laughs> this one fell apart. This is the belly. Dude, she is begging you for validation. Aww. It fell apart in the pan. It didn't cook for in the pot. It didn't cook properly. It is cooked through, as you can see. Mm -hmm. so but that's fine. Wrong. We're still going to toss it in. You know, we're not going to waste it. We're still going to toss it in. It's going to give the, the, the sauce more flavor. All right, so this is on low. Now what we actually need to do is start making the sauce. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, God. So we're going to do uh. we're gonna these cans of peeled tomatoes. We're going to open them. Cento brand. These are Italian peeled tomatoes. If you can't get Italian, your sauce won't taste right. And now B bullshit. That was the problem we had at first. We could not find us Italian peeled tomatoes. We were nervous. Well, I was oh, nervous. Yeah, you were nervous. I had no it idea. It wasn't gonna taste right, but now, then we found them afterwards. And so. it's not just it's not just a, a nationality uh, pride thing. They're no, they're actually different. Yeah. See. Look, well, you can't really see it there. Yeah. <laughs> they're longer. They're longer, and they have a different flavor than regular tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all tomatoes taste different. You wouldn't substitute a beef steak. So now we're taking our food a, mill for a cherry tomato. All right. Mm -hmm. You add the food mill. To the pot. There you go. It's on low now, by the way. Mm -hmm. You take the tomatoes. Oh my god, they're not going to drain the fucking fat. Very carefully, dump them into the food mill. Okay. It cleans out a little bit. You gotta. You keep the can, you're going to use it. All right. And now you grind the tomatoes. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Catch oh, it up. Go back a little bit. And you go forward more. 
I'm sorry, did he say grind the tomatoes as if they're not already in a fucking paste? Oh, God damn it. Fucking piece of shit. I, it's me. It's all me. Yeah. There we go. It's strange out a little, but you gotta eat the can because you're gonna use it. Alright? And now you grind the tomatoes. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Catches up and go back a little bit. And you go forward more. Forward more. Forward oh, more. okay. So they are. Catch, go back a little bit. Okay, so it is just canned tomatoes. That's how you hand strain tomatoes. Now, what I'm gonna need to do is grab a fork. Because you actually need a fork while you're doing this. To push the chunks down in front of the actual. In front of the actual milling. Milling. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're rotating a blade in there. There mm -hmm. you go. That's a great angle, sort of. You just do that until it's almost all completely pushed. Yep, you're not going to get all of it through. Look, Navy, stuff aren't gonna yes, go through. Are very... Navy, if you got to go, I don't blame you because I don't, at this point, I don't want to be okay. here. Try to mush it up a little bit. Mm, they smell good. Yeah, gee, Woody, exactly. They bought it that day. You'll notice everything was fucking shiny and, and clean. How many cans are we using for this? We're supposed to use 70 ounces. I have no idea what that is in the metric system. Uh, a lot of people who I know who are probably interested. Yeah, over in the over. So we only got they only have 28 ounce cans, so we're gonna do two and a half cans of this. So there you go. You have a, a can of Santo tomatoes, two and a half. Mm -hmm. If you have the 28 ounce cans, there are bigger cans, but we're not in this area. Mm. I'm pushing the thing off the, off the burner a little. What there the you go. fuck? <laughs> Now, one thing you can do, and this is totally up to you, as you can see, we got all these big chunks of skin and everything. Mm -hmm. If you like chunkier sauce, mm. after you're milling this, if you can't get it to mill through, you can just put it right into the sauce afterwards, and that's your for totally more, your choice. Uh, rustic country taste to it. Right, if you're not looking just for, for liquidy, but you're looking for... Yeah, you know. it's, it's a preference. Who the fuck told me to watch this because uh, you are dead to me? Some people, what's your preference? I like a mix. Like, I'll probably put some of this in there, but not all of it. Yeah. Yeah, I like when it's chunkier, too. I mean, it depends on what pasta and other things I'd be having with. I think for, like, meatballs, I'd want chunkier, but sometimes you just want it smooth. Can you see the juices and stuff that are coming out of the bottom as I do this? See that? Ooh, yes. It's a hand-ground tomato. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I hate to tell you this. If you told me, go get Italian fucking canned tomatoes or go get fresh, I'm getting fresh. Good old traditions of food milling your tomatoes. How long is the cup of noodle video there, Lacky Bracky? Ah, we finally got all the skin squished down. I have, before we keep going, y'all have made me run the gambit of emotions here. Like from laughing to horrified to breaking down crying in support to horrified. Like... Okay, so now we're pretty much at the end. The more I mill, I'm not going to get that much left. No. So, I'll put a little bit, not too much, a little bit, right? There you go. Just to get it in, some chunks in there. You'll get some tomato chunks in your sauce. Mm, I like tomato chunks. They add flavor. I'm not going to put all of it, because that would overload it. It would be way too chunky, especially if I were doing two more cans. Well, mm -hmm. another can and a half. All right? So now I believe you're supposed to clean this up. Hold on. Fill a empty can halfway with hot water and pour through the food mill and turn it to try to clean up. You need a paper towel to clean up the leftovers and do the same thing with the other two cans. Mm -hmm. So, hot water. And these are instructions provided by your mom, who also provided us with things like the food mill and stuff that we don't have. So, mama bought the food mill. What a surprise. Mom supports Phil. The proper sauce equipment. Mm -hmm. This is my mother's family recipe. Storm, if I keep having to watch uh, Phil do this without consequence, um, no, I don't think I'll make it to 50, or my channel won't make it to 50. I'll have to cut out and be like, you know what, Phil wins. Because mm -hmm. your mom is the Italian one. Italian and Polish? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was her father who was almost 100% Italian. Wow. That taught her this stuff. Okay, so he's just... I don't know where they're from, anyway. Uh... So my grandmother was either 100 or 50%. I can't remember which, which means my mother was either 50 or 25. If my mother was 50, I'm a quarter. If she was a quarter, I'm 12.5% Italian. It is my dominant heritage. That's all I know. My, my father was a mutt. But I don't consider myself Italian. Uh, it might be... It starts with an F. <laughs> You know if it's north or south. Maybe F Foggia, F-O-G-G-I-A. I think that's what it was. Hmm. I'll have to ask your, your parents someday. I'm like, Mom, your dad wouldn't know. Mm. All right, so that's it. Here, I'm going to be doing this for two more cans. You don't really need to see that, but that's what mm -hmm. we're going to be doing until the next step. Mm -hmm. All right, so we strained. Well, we oh, so now we're, now, and now we're doing tomato tomatoes. paste. And now what we're doing is we're adding three cans of tomato paste. To thicken it up? To thicken the sauce. Yes, that because is correct. Because the tomatoes would make it too liquidy. That's right. See, I know something about sauce. 
We're using Hunt Simpu because that's all they have at our local stores. But that is not the one you would normally use. With a fucking wooden no, spoon! Oh my god! That's the Italian name. As he slams a wooden spoon, or not a wooden, a metal spoon down onto the Teflon. I <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I guess they probably do in some areas, depending on where you are. Oh. And unless that's the Walmart special, that's a good $60 pot. So then what you're supposed to do, supposedly, okay, I think this will be interesting to try to get this to work. You're supposed to take two of the cans, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, hot water. Oh no. That's hot. You fill up one can. You're supposed to pour it between the two. To try to get some of that paste that's stuck in there unstuck. It makes sense that the hot water would loosen it. It's already starting to work. You're supposed to do this for all three cans. Hmm. To get the most out of your canned tomato paste. This is cringe. Okay. Sauce. Or you could just get a spatula. By the way, this is the final. You you could just get a spatula, like Teflon, and just put. Mm. Yeah. After this, you just add all the ingredients to the sauce. They just toss right in. Mm, the done. onions and garlic. All kinds of stuff. You'll see. And the spices. At Michael A before eat, all she was asking for was a bit of love, physical love. Mmm, does smell good already. We haven't even added spices. But we're gonna do something a little different from the traditional recipe. We're adding pepper this we're time. We're gonna add a few things that's a little different from the traditional mm. recipe. I don't recall if I've ever had like a, a pot like, well, this isn't technically just a pasta sauce, but I don't recall having a sauce that has red pepper, but it might have just been small amounts. I'm curious to see how this will come out. Terribly. It's going to come out terribly. It's been advertised, homemade sauce. There you go. Mm -hmm. One more, the final one. I, uh, mm, that's uh, a nice red color. As opposed to what it's to me. You can do a lot of things with this sauce. You can make it in a big batch, save it for a month, have pastas <sighs> and grinders, and I don't know if other things that require that sauce. <laughs> chicken farm, yeah, farm, farm, any kind of an Italian dish. I'm not as into chicken farm, but I know you love the different farms. I don't think I've had the farm. All right. Why so now, all the water? The tomato ingredients. Now we move on to the things that are going to make the sauce unique. Okay. The spices and veggies. Yeah. It is storm. This is straight up him not knowing what the fuck to do and just yeah, chaining yeah. the Stir fake it till you stone. make it. And you see all oh my god! It's, it's a water. The paste is now diluting. See the paste there? Mm -hmm. You got to dilute it with this lighted spoon. It's water. Nice thickness to your pasta sauce. It's water. making this right. It's have that that perfect spooning. It's 100% water. Breaking down, that's good. Notice I'm using a plastic spoon. That is so it does not destroy the edges of your, your pot. Every <sighs> Please note, I'm using a plastic spoon as to not destroy the edges of my pot. As I javelined a metal spoon 40 seconds earlier into the bottom of my pot, I will take ragu. I will take prego. I will take. I will take. Always save best value, marinara over what the fuck this is. Everything today, you buy, almost everything you buy is non-stick unless you buy something that looks like it's stainless steel on the inside. Mm -hmm. Everything has that non-stick coating, and this will prevent it from scraping the non-stick coating off of your pot and or. And As you fucking javelin a fucking me never mind, never mind. I'm gonna. I will blow your eardrums out. That's preserving use. the overall shelf life of your pots and pans. Because after a while, if it gets too scratched up, it's pretty much useless. All right, we're almost done here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add all the ingredients to finish it off and start it simmering. So. Mm. Mm. All right, so the final stirring. Mm -hmm. All done, right? Look at that. See that? You get a little bit of chunkiness to it. Uh. It's rich. 
You get all kinds of pieces of the tomato and stuff in there. Mm, I love tomatoes. And keep in mind, as this simmers, it'll actually cook mm -hmm. all those little pieces of tomato are in there. And it'll reduce the liquidy aspect somewhat. All right. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to add all of the seasonings. Mm. All Starting of with oregano. 25 shakes. Mm, I like oregano. Garlic salt. I am so... Two shakes, oh. yes. Now we have both garlic and onion salt, mm -hmm. so... I'm actually going to do four shakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Onion salt. Someone make four it shakes. stop. Four, three shakes. Oh, Someone three. make it Red stop. Pepper, which was not in the original recipe, but I wanted to have a little bit of kick. The sauce. So I'm going to give it one, two, three, four, five shakes. That's a little bit of kick. Mm -hmm. Bitch, my fucking girl puts... Four habaneros in her sauce. Four habaneros! Four hab- I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let him cook. Literally, I'm gonna let him cook. Hmm, that seems like a good amount. Not Keep in mind, for the whole pot, and it's very big sh uh, chips, so probably didn't come out. The recipe calls that you can add a bay leaf if you want. I'm gonna add two bay leaves, mm. if not three. That's what I used when I made the brine for our barbecue chicken. I used four. This has taken One, over two hours. Two. Ooh. Three. I'm going to add four. Okay. Four bay leaves for the whole thing, the whole pot. Mm. Now you can really start to smell the spices. Oh my god, yeah, I love oregano. Really and he somehow let Panda go. Oregano um, and cilantro. Now, this is one important change I made. Last time I made this, the recipe calls for a cup of sugar. I put a cup of sugar in there, and I thought that was too sweet. Mm. You put a cup of sugar. You put a cup of sugar. I tasted the sauce. I was like, "Why does it taste so sweet?" Doesn't my mom's sauce doesn't taste that sweet? So is that powdered sugar? I'm not going to put that much. Hmm. Maybe half of it or three quarters. I can get the fucking box over there. We go. Box? Box of what? Oh! That's just under three quarters of a cup. That's what I'm. Oh! Mm -hmm. I got sugar all over the countertop. Not oh! Care of that. No, 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 no! Now what does the sugar do in the sauce? Adds sweetness as a contrast. If you don't, it's all going to be tartness and you won't have any kind of sweetness It's going to be acidity from tomatoes. Sauce. Right, and then tart, tart and acid and nothing else. Throw all that in, and then we add our final ingredients, and then the meat. So let me get the slide spoon again. Oh, mm -mm. oh man, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love. Start it. to smell it now. Mm, I love oregano, sweetie. So good. You know, I when I was growing up, we never had oregano in the house. Never. No oregano in nope. the house. It's not. It's not a spice we traditionally used. I want to stop. I want to stop. Keep in mind, every European country used different spices for most of their meals. Oregano is more common in Italians than, you know, my family. Okay. We used a lot of dill. I know that. Next. Onion and garlic, both chopped up. It's not pre -si You didn't cook it? You... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. And then stir it up. And then, nope, finally your meat. And then ah. you stir it, and then you're done. I'll just double check. I'm almost positive that's it. Uh -huh. yes. Oh, yeah, the meat. Mm -hmm. So add the meatballs. Doink. Oh, they float. And, and guess what else we're going to add? What? Sausage. <gasps> Italian sausage. <gasps> what? What? When did you oh, cook sausage. Italian sausage? I have had many varieties of both Italian and non-Italian. I, I'm pissed at these burnt. I really am. Oh, that's okay. They shouldn't have burnt. It's, you know, new pot. It's different stove. <laughs> new pot, different stove. So you just suck. Different everything. You, know, you don't know what temperature to turn it. Gee, <laughs> Woody. I need though, that money. I really hey. do. I need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill. Oh, shit. The internet bill. 
Michael, A before E, DoorDash is making more sense now. Yes, yes, it is. You know I'm engaged if I miss the fucking super chat prior to... Uh, uh, oh my god. Let, <sighs> You know what? 40 is going to go over here now. That's where it's going because it blocked the fucking super chat last time. I... Well, we know now for next time. And it could just be the outside. Huh? And thank you, Michael A before E. Not so good. The inside could still be good. Hold on, I was thinking. Give you something. Mm, look at that. Sorry, G. Woody, uh, you had a great joke I missed. I didn't men uh, say it. it. says, you guys know what the difference is between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? I wouldn't pay to have a garbanzo bean on my chest. ba -dum. You probably are little, but... Pre -co you don't know if you're supposed to pre -co It's raw? The, the Italian... So we can make the sausage uh, another day, and then we'll put the sauce with it. We could. We could fry the sausage off and make, like, sausage and peppers or something. Mmm, I like sausage mm -hmm. and peppers. All right, so now we got to lower the heat. Now that everything's in, okay? Mm -hmm. Lower it out there. Just to simmer all day. Low setting. And then you come back and stir it every half hour or so. Look at all those ingredients in there. Mmm. Oh my it does God. look a little chunky so far. Look at all of those ingredients in there. That is like saying... Dude, I could have crackers, Snickers bars, Skittles, M&M's, fucking Starbursts, and then, you know, green peppers, onions, and, and, and fucking habaneros in a pot. Look at all of those ingredients in there. That sounds fucking terrible. Just because you have ingredients doesn't mean it's good... <sighs> I'm going to lose my fucking mind before the day's Our over. Butt. Not too chunky. The thing that's chunky is the onions, because I'm not good at chopping onions. I'm not. I can't cut them small. You know, I'm not a professional chef. So It would help if you had a knife that wasn't, you know, a paring knife. So I can cut onions the good small. thing is, what we're seeing now is going to cook over the course of four and a half hours, and you will not see those chunks. They're all going to caramelize. They're going to be a clear kind of onion, and they're going to be reddish, and you're not going to really taste them that much. No, no, no. You're supposed to have caramelized them before you put them in the fucking sauce, you dunce. Hmm. But the onion does be. add a bit of flavor. Oh, yeah. Or the onion salt cannot because onion salt is not a substitute for eight onion. hours if something takes uh, eight hours to make it better be ribs and the bone and, and the meat better fall off the fucking bone actually I take that back ribs take 12 or can take 12 maybe it's brisket i'm thinking of doesn't matter so now the lid mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you set the timer how do you do this? Time up. We'll set it for 22 minutes for now. And what you do is you wait about every 20 to 25 minutes. You come in here, you stir it with a wooden spoon, or you could use that slotted spoon too, but we'll use a wooden spoon. Does the wooden spoon add anything mm -hmm. other than authentic Italian no. experience? <laughs> so, and that's it. You just let it simmer all day, right? Okay, I was going to ask that. He was like, you stir it with a wooden spoon. I'm like, what the fuck does it matter if it's a wooden spoon or if it's a fucking plastic spoon? Right now it's 1230. Well, that's actually wrong. It was 12 at 20, 20. Yeah, that was a fast by like 10, 15 minutes. So... You know, it's going to cook for about four to four and a half hours. So you figure 4.30 by or 5-ish at the latest, mm -hmm. it'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. At that point, you can use it for anything. Like I said, pasta, meat dishes, you can make a... We were going to do meatball subs, but I don't know how we're going to now because those meatballs look really overcooked. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they're going to taste. We'll have to see once it's once it's simmered, will they... Well, we got that sausage and we got all. that uh, pasta, just in case it's a backup. Mm -hmm. got two options. I just, I so have no have words for this. basic of how to do it. Mm -hmm. And because, uh, you know, what I set up today to do for... Options. So there you have it. That is the basic Wrong button. of how to do it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And because, uh, you know, what I set up today to do for work... I'm going to be coming back down here, you know, every half an hour or so. And I'll be coming down too, I'm sure, to so stir when you're... Soft. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, who was it? Ryan Camaro says it best. Uh, and remember, guys, while this simmers and we do nothing and we're off camera, uh, make sure that the, you uh, super chat or give a gifted membership and not those Argentinian ones. That would be uh, immensely helped. Uh, I would really, really appreciate Thank you so much. Yeah, when you're mid-flight. Whatever, you know. And uh, really, that's it. That, it's it's complicated. complicated. It's a lot of steps. But this is it's not an exact recipe. Every recipe is it's complicated. Simmer meat, separate veggies, or reduce veggies into different form. Cook, simmer, end. That's not complicated. That different. 
Yeah, anyone can make There's tons of ways to do sauce. It's mm -hmm. just, this is the so it's more my, personal yeah, preference. Well, Michael A. Before E, this is before he was on Twitch or YouTube, apparently, right? Pepper flakes and stuff and less sugar. Based off of the last time that I made it, when it just tasted, it tasted too overwhelmingly sweet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Soul Blade Hero says, prepare to, prepare to freeze frame on Panda's face when she tastes the food. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Now we tweak it some more, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it won't be horrible. It's just that you have personal tastes. <laughs> At least you're confident it won't be horrible. Yeah, no, there's no way. It's going to be decent, you know, no matter what. Oh, it's going to be decent. Be yeah. In there, of course, it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. so. It already does smell good. All right, that is it for. <laughs> No light, no light, no light, no light. Gee, Woody, I firmly believe he did not clean this, and if he tried to clean it, he was like, oh, well, it's, it's cooked on there. We just got to throw it away. Italian sauce. Family recipe Italian sauce. It's going to simmer in there now for a while. And we'll see it in four to four and a half hours. Yes, we will. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, she is cute. Gentlemen, we finally have a result, something that I have cooked, ladies and gentlemen, that is right, and the result of my long day laboring over a pot of sauce and meat. What the fuck is meatball. that? You have marinara sauce and meatballs. You did not make fucking spaghetti. Are you fucking kid? Subs, which Liam is about to dig into. Now, the, the meatballs themselves, unfortunately, got a little bit... Oh, my <laughs> God. Subs, which Liam is about to dig into. Oh. Um. Now, the, the meatballs themselves, unfortunately, got... <laughs> devour, devour. A little bit. Oh my <laughs> This is the face of what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> oh. From happy to sad to happy. It was, is that metal? I, this tastes suspiciously like Teflon. <laughs> oh, I hate all of you. Singed on the outside. When we actually put them in here, the, the meat looks perfectly cooked. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. My homemade meatball sub. <laughs> Subs, what do you think? <laughs> Could you give me a better? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Look, look straight up. Are you fucking kidding me? Like she went, she went, she went from kindergarten teacher to Frederick Nietzsche in two seconds. Just, I have sunshine and sparkles and rainbows too. Life has no meaning. I, <laughs> there you go, Michael. Mike, Mike, Michael Kitchen from sunshine and sparkles and rainbows too. God is dead. Just. <laughs> I will now become a raging alcoholic. For what I have just experienced. You'll notice her hands are nowhere near the sandwich again. She's not like, oh my god, I can't wait to have another bite. She's just... Okay, okay let's continue. It is the most sexual meatball sub I've ever had. Really? Most sexual? I've never had one before. But never had a meatball sub? Wow. Hello, not Italian. I guess that's true. So, yeah, what we, I did, mm. you know, you take the meatballs out, you put it right onto the sub, and they're already covered in the sauce from simmering all day, and you put a little bit more sauce, you sprinkle mozzarella cheese, mm. and I actually give it a sprinkling of Italian seasonings on top, as you can see. Two homemade meatballs. <laughs> Michael A. before E, whatever she was in the mood for before the best, he'll get us an unenthusiastic hand chop. All subs for dinner. <laughs> one, if she's hungry enough, she'll have a second. We'll have to see. So oh, yeah, let me tell you, that face is just, oh, yeah, I'm all, I'm all about having a second sandwich. Oh, my God. Is it good? You like it? Mm. Great, and that's... That is the fruit of four and a half hours of hard labor, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this poor woman. All right, everyone. So what I want to show you is the final product and just how much sauce you can make with that one pot. That sauce. So right here in the fridge, we've got two of these containers. Let me show you. Pull it out here. I got 10 bucks says that that never got eaten. Two of these containers, it's full of sauce. It's heavy. This is enough for one meal each, pretty much. And what we did is we separated them up. Some of them have meatballs in them, and some of them don't, okay? Some of them are just sauce. So, for example, later this week, we're going to have pasta. Whatever pasta we have, I like the meatballs, so I'll have it with it. Leanna might not want the meatballs, so she just gets the plain sauce. You can keep two of these in the fridge, and they last about a week. 
But what we also did. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. God damn it. Fucking go back. Hello, everybody. And well. All right. So, for example, later this week, we're going to have pasta. Whatever pasta we have. All right. Whatever pasta we have, right? All right. Whatever pasta we have. I like the meatballs. I like the meatballs. Why is that a statement? Why is that a statement? Why is I like the meatballs a statement? Like, just slow the brain up for two tenths of a second. You have two people in the household on camera. We have this container over here. I like the meatballs. Followed by... I'll have it with it. Liana might not want the meatballs. Liana might not? Liana might not like the meatballs? She might not? Also, she just gets the plain sauce. You can keep two of these in the fridge and they last about a week. But what we also did, of course, is we are freezing... Where is it? We're freezing four more. And yes, oh my down. god. Two more have meatballs in it, two more don't. Yeah, nice half and half. So, there you have it. That's pretty much, you know, six meals. Plus the two that we had today. So really, it's about eight meals overall that you get Jesus. out of that one pot. And we just found out today we had this drawer. Well, yeah, we didn't know we had this back drawer in the fridge, which is kind of funny. It's perfect that these things fit there. Mm. So, there you have it. We got a pasta dinner already. You know, all we got to do is make pasta later. What the fuck? Hold, hold on, hold on. Back that up. So, there you have it. We got a pasta dinner already. They need a narrow bookcase, apparently. Why do they need a narrow bookcase? Also, quick question. Who the fuck writes K like that? That is a V with a penis. That is, that is not a K. That is a V with a penis. Or a cancerous growth. Already, you know, all we got to do is make pasta later this week, pour the sauce, and nuke the sauce in the microwave, put it right on. We've got other dinners lined up. We want to do something with Italian sausage. If you want to do chicken parm, veal parm, it doesn't even have to be right. so like, I just put a fucking bookcase. We've got plenty of sauce. And that is the cool thing about making a pot of sauce. It's not just one thing. It lasts you a long time. You know it's a lot of work. As you can see, we finally cleaned up, of, we cleaned up the kitchen. You get a ton of meals out of it, and so it's definitely worth it. Hey, look at that. The pot's in the sink. Who would have called that? Which is yeah. more than the meals I've been making. Those are one meal, unless you make a big portion, right. which we don't. So... Yeah, moving forward, we're probably going to end up doing that at least once a month. Maybe every three weeks, we'll have to see. Yeah, depending. And the best time to do it is on Sunday when I'm playing Street Fighter, and you have the little intervals of time where you can come down and stir the sauce and get right back to, to the work, so. We could even maybe do it on Saturday. And of course, what are we right back to? We are back to I motion sick, because Phil has the fucking camera. And freeze it ahead of time. Yeah. We shall see. Uh, 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 zoom in, zoom out. Now let's rock. Back and forth. And now we're turned. And now we'll go left. Now we'll go right. Homemade style Italian sauce. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you learned anything, you think you may try it out yourself. Keep in mind, it's not an exact science, which is why a lot of times we didn't even give you the exact measurements. You can do it yourself to your own liking. Is she take what? What was she? What was that on the counter? Hold on. Yourself. Keep in mind, it's not an exact science, which is why a lot of style Italian sauce. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you learned anything, you think you may try it out yourself. Keep what is she taking? Are those? I was about ready to say, are those vitamin gummies? Like, I'm going to die unless I take one of these. Keep in mind, it's not an exact science, which is why a lot of times we didn't even give you the exact measurements. You can do it yourself to your own liking. Uh, I... I need to know why y'all hate me and love me at the same time. Like, I, straight, uh, I've got... Oh my God. Jesus Christ. It's 2 PM. Um, my time. That means I've been going five hours. Y'all, I love you. I really do. But after five hours, even I have to take a fucking break. Holy shit. Maybe these wild, wild turkey is your bourbon. That is my normal bourbon, but Woodford Reserve was on sale. Psychoactive gummies. Yes. Yes. More painful than the stairs after leg day. I uh, yet yeah, you gotta know the classics. Y'all feed me the other classics because <laughs> she had AIDS after eating that. Oh my god. Y'all, um first of all, before before y'all check out, I know the numbers are gonna dwindle now that I'm saying, hey, I'm gonna sign off here. Um I can't I cannot express enough gratitude for it I did I, I reacted to shit. Um, I'm just, I'm glad you guys like hanging out with me. Uh, I like, I'm, I'm glad you guys like, uh, uh, just chilling and talking chat or otherwise, uh, Graham Morton, don't worry. Show up when you can show up when you can, bud.
I love you too, bud. Fuck off. Fuck off yourself, Mixidious. Come on now. Uh, Navy for Life, always good to see you. Michael A. before E. Lackey Bracky, same. Uh, Mixidious, we're wholesome pussycats. Goddamn right. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it next week. Schedule is likely to go absolutely but, uh, batshit bonkers. I know I have five installs uh, coming up soon. I don't know what that'll what that'll mean for me streaming wise, but uh, for a quote unquote fortieth birthday celebration, y'all have made it just the absolute best. Um, I can't you fucker, <sighs> snake guy. Thank you so much with the dollar ninety nine one for the road. Um. A toxified stream it was indeed. Um, I'll try to remember to DM me on, later on Twitter. Yes, please do. Please DM me later with all the good shit because it may come up later on. Again, uh, I may not have a stream next week. Someone else may have a stream and I may be on it. Uh, once we know for sure, I'll be sure to advertise it. But you may not be here next week. You may be on someone else's stream. I'll let the speculation go from there. But, um, lift heavy and eat a cup of sugar. Fuck you, Jerry. Fuck you. <laughs> Isn't fuck Jerry a media company? Fuck Jerry. No. Um, but from the bottom of my heart, uh, memberships, the fucking super chats, even the, the be becoming the gym newbies, which is the dollars. Like I, it doesn't matter if it's $10 or $1 or anything like that. I love all of you. I need and the, thank you money. so I much. Really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill. The internet bill. Snake guy, again, thank you. I will put sugar in my egg protein drink. I will drink powdered sugar. I will drink whey protein laced with powdered sugar and cocaine. Heather P., great of you to come uh, today. And meet King Be Cruel, I might add. I'm glad you two were able to sync up. Uh, if I ever need a mod, I may ask Heather P., because I know she's a good mod for King Jad. Um, but as of yet, I haven't needed a single fucking mod. So, yay for that. Anyway. Christ, orange and bourbon drink is called Backcountry Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. Love it. Well, y'all, I've got to get something to eat as well as drink a whole bunch of water because I had to deal with I don't know how much fucking whiskey to get through uh, Mr. Filbert's both present and past streams. But somebody... Tell me about the fucking golf shoes. What? No. But in any case, I love y'all. I hope to see you next time. If I get some videos out, I hope to see y'all's comments on my videos because I read every single one of them. I love you all. And until next time, swallow is the goal for a troll. Lift heavy and eat fucking clean. And by eat fucking clean, I do not mean eat spaghetti with a pound and a half of fucking sugar in it. Because We got to go. We got to go. I love y'all. Take it easy.